three now after oh. using that window. Yeah, maybe just thinking the, the survivability of the character might help <coughs> a lot. Hello, Chaz, you're yeah, filing on in, though. Left side going back I'll, to I'll talk to you guys Why about uh, coming, what's up after the first door. round. Because uh, it was literally starting as I, you know, started. I gave you a water too, and, you know. Why is the O1 next to Shump Mungus? Was that their first round? Uh, no, no, no. So the O1 is their record so far. So they made top 16. Right? So they played matches Friday. And... No, Friday? What day was it? Tonight, Sunday? Yeah, so Friday. They played Friday, and they lost. So the other team also played one at some point and lost. So they're both 0-1. But this series is 0 0. It just started. Hello, YouTube, you're following on in. And then we'll seven's getting up to this rush. They really want to get this one up so then they can run down for the die. Sometimes getting a sound barrier super early there. Smungus is going to copy that one. In so there's the rush from ML7. Almost gets speared out of it. But it's back. It's the first one to fall. But ML7 going down to a kunai. The point is being flipped. SK is going to plant itself on the point. But can they actually follow this up with kills? Zoro has managed to take him down Zergi and the point does flip, so Super Shy are gonna win, at least not just yet. Ooh. As Rashu just are backing off, they know they have yeah, I'll, 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 I'll just I'll just everything check. I'll just everything. The team now. Dueling off onto the side here. Be Astro, can they beat Sonic? Doesn't look like it. Let's Zorro start your stream with some Super love. Oh, thank you for the bits. Appreciate it, buddy. Point. Thanks so much. Watch all, dude. Okay. Alright. Hang on. on the first round. Between rounds, let me just make sure everything's good. Um, okay. I get water, too. Alright, I'll get water after this. But yeah, so normally yeah. I start shooting talk to you guys a little bit before we go over and 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 into anything, but uh, yeah, this game was literally starting, so whoops. Still I think in three months. Three months from months. Hello, hello. Uh, hello. Uh, so what are these teams? Are they from orgs? Do they have... No, they don't have skins or anything. This is this is OWCS. It's way different now. Yo, Duran, they're gonna find gifties. Appreciate it. I mean, the team on the top left, Shmungus, that's actually Boger, that's actually SK, that's actually ML. You know? It's just a team that they threw together. And we're gonna see something different. What do we got? We got Widowmaker, Alari, Kiriko. So yeah, they, they qualified uh, for top 16. I think they were literally the 16th seed. So Super Shy are gonna need to be the ones who do something. They're gonna need to get in their face, otherwise they're just gonna take too much damage. Oh, Rashi's super scared there. Missed the headshot, so I had to back off. Very quick wow. rotation. Oh, nice. What? Okay, nice coup. Oh. So he also ends up going down. Schmuck is playing rather split, Scott, it seems. Yeah, they definitely are a little bit out of sorts. I wonder why they're playing the Widow May. Although, to be fair, after watching their last stuff, they're kind of just running around in circles, you know? Oh, we need to start seeing some people click some heads. ML7 plays Ana, so oh, you got rolled by the bot, you type too often. Uh, yeah, listen, I don't mean to, I don't mean this in, in the nicest way with love, but it's very funny. Looking fresh. Yeah, thanks, Ren. Appreciate it, dude. Um, yeah, thanks for the time. Much love, dude. Uh, you can really tell the difference between like hyper casual Overwatch people and like people that are actually like are a little bit more in touch. Uh, because like that is such a hilarious sentence to me. Uh, because. <laughs> How do, I put, how do I put this for you? Uh, wow. It's, it's not like a one trick. So nice head. You know? I want to get 15 months. I appreciate it. You're going to play what's best, and what's best is. Wow. Almost already a whole year. Have a fantastic day, Flat. Thanks a lot, months. Appreciate it. Heal up the rest of his front line and Sobek just isolating Rashu yet again. ML7 well, I mean, like, rush of their zone. normally the better ultimate, uh, the later ultimate ends up winning here. Well, isn't, is isn't uh, Bulger the Life Weaver player? Why, why, why is he playing from, why is he playing Malga? And is that my internet or? I hope that's not my internet. Are you guys still there? Okay, we're good. Through the blizzard, Reiner eventually forced the Smungus find the cap. Seventy-five percent and counting. As this overclock might just be the nail in the coffin for Smungus. 
as the point is flipped. Only 10% gain from Schmungus there. As, uh, yeah, we, uh, we'll start the DLC for Horizon Zero Dawn today. Be a good time. Oh, oh wow. Okay, Sobek finally put to rest. They're getting lots of picks here as well. It's two. Oh, Jack, I'm gonna say it. I've seen enough. I need more silly maxing. When they silly max, they they go to the moon. So I I need I need yeah. more silly heroes. I need a, a life weaver. I need all these kind of things. Is they're finally gonna get the flip over and get some percentage on the board. OT though for super shy. I mean, they do kind of two win a lot when they silly max, but uh, still. Is my point. Yeah. You know? Anything gets sillier. Right, yeah, if you haven't, if you haven't seen, uh, I went back and spectated Boger's POV uh, from the games the other day. They lost, but it was wild. It looks like Tekuno did see the widow. They know exactly where he is right now, and Soro still hits the peak. Okay, okay. And Bogus like, I'm coming to save you. I, uh, don't worry. I, I'm here to save you. I know Pack is like incoming with Sobek. Okay. A spawn camp. I mean, surely they know. Yes, they do. That was so close. Sound barrier used by Sobek there. As uh, Super Shy do end up making their way to point. Holy shit. So, like, booping, SK up Wait, they're actually the making a huge comeback right now. Of all of the damage incoming. Pack not quite so lucky though. Taking a lot of damage from uh, their own pulse bomb. Why do you not work? You're working on Sunday. Yeah, that's tough. Back and forth going going I always hate working on weekends. Oh, ML gets caught there. Oh, no heals. ML7 just dying on the pillar there. Just so rough. I mean, Boga uh, dropped down the cage for. Yeah, that's actually really tough. Unfortunately, it is super shy. That takes okay. that round two and oh. Chat, I gotta go get my water. I haven't got my water yet. Sorry, this start of this stream was so scuffed in such a rush. Uh wait, are they gonna play DMCA stuff? You think? It feels right. It feels right, exactly. They do need we do need the super show. Chat, have you guys been watching the last few days? Has they uh have they done like the the DMCA trailers or no? It was like maybe she would, I don't know. You could do Orisa as the Easter Bunny. I'm just saying that seems like a very easy slam. Dunk. No, that sounds horrifying. Yeah. Actually, because like you what know, you it's mean? one of those things where the, the Easter Bunny would be so big because Orisa is so big that it's. Kind I'm of just like gonna. Orisa. I'm gonna have faith. I'm gonna have faith that they're not gonna do it. Orisa skin scary. Yes, bro. I, I was playing with someone recently, and that's a that's a cursed skin. It's not that bad. It's, it's okay, pretty. It's, it's pretty cool bright skin. and colorful. Like it's, it's not scary. A, it's, it's got, got a little bit of curse it. undertones. I, 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 Pull it up, production. I, I need to. I need <laughs> no, the, no, the no, don't, no, I need don't the skin. We need to have. We, we need to. Uh, we need to settle this once a brawl. But Super Shy do win the first map. Schwungus, you know, pulling out some interesting plays, but for the most part, Super Shy seem to have their number. Yeah, right now uh, they do. But this is an elimination match as well, worth keeping in mind. So the loser here will end up getting knocked out of the group. We are going to Hollywood next. This is a, a map that Schmungus ended up. Taking uh, SSG fairly far on, to be fair. It was a, a very fun game to watch, like I mentioned. Worth watching uh, the replays for that one. Uh, but Hollywood for Super Shy, what do you think? Is, I say, what do you think? They're probably just going to run the Arista again if I had to guess. And there's no roster changes either, no substitutions to be seen. So as we load on in, this was a schmungus map pick too. So maybe filling with co field of confidence after taking uh, Space Station Gaming a couple of the points away from them. This just reminds me of the Schmungus law. Holy shit, they're already in a the map too? Did you know that they Dude, that was like no time at all. So they don't fuck around. Hard trolled and hard memed in their final match. They're like, oh, we're already knocked okay. out. We'll play for fun. So they memed the entire time. But then when they won, they realized that they could actually qualify. So they memed in their final <laughs> match and no then way. qualified anyway. Uh, so, you know, maybe this is oh, their thanks, home. This, this is their territory time, where they're going to feel, uh, feel at their best. And you can see it once again. That is, that is oh, the, here we I go. Mean, They're is, doing it again. This is exactly what they did against uh, Space Station Gaming. We'll have a quick listen in, though. We'll see what the plans are this time around. Oh. I like music. Oh, sorry. Oh, um, my bad. Um, my bad. Let me just. Okay, guys, get ready. Get ready. Okay, here we go. Two, one. Shoot the right side. I hit them with Winston. Oh, uh, it was lucky. Yeah, it was Winston. No. no. Okay, I'll, I'll hold around. So if you missed it the other day, okay, I'm a, I'm a they did that against another I'm team, and they all just shot the right door and just deleted oh, somebody. Go guys, I'm shooting you behind them. Top right behind them. Top right behind them. Top, 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 top. I'm behind them. I'm behind them. I'm walking. I'm walking. Surge, maybe? 
Play like this for yeah, red side. They might spawn here. Winston, Winston, Winston. We can't draw, by the way. We need to push out. Second. This is how I can push out. Let's go. I'm seeing. Here is on me. I'm going to search. Oh, Chris Lurie, Chris Lurie, Chris Lurie. I don't see not any help. Kirin, no, Kirin, no TP. This is all. Wait, they include comms now? Yo, if I'm gonna completely keep it a buck with you, I think they're confident in keeping comms when it's the streamer team. Because uh, you're never gonna worry about streamer team saying anything, uh, you know? Absolutely. Someone dies, they're like, oh, okay. Although, to be fair, everyone's kind of starting to stream their POVs now, so that could start to change. But I understand why they're a little bit hesitant, because they used to have an Overwatch League every once in a while. You gotta do it. You gotta stop uh, the monkey getting into the back lines. But unfortunately, not to be. Five minutes uh, on the clock for Super Shy as they take point A. You know, why can't I get Zara's the tracers in my games so to push cart, huh? Zara's just being hidden pick up to pick. Why, why, like why I always gotta be the one to push cart in, in, in ranked? Like that, well, 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 yeah, well, they should be doing it. QRX, you, they would just absolutely uh, rip their head Let Shmungus win? Honestly, Shmungus even can, like, what's the word? Qualifying for this is incredibly cool. Winning, I don't, I don't know about that one. Sticking on the Kirika. A lot of times these teams have been so practicing and playing together for like this, uh, years, you know, or like from just getting free push here. at least a few of their players. Zergi has theirs as well. There is the push. Boga taking down Sobek. That rush on the high ground. Yeah, really hard to deal with actually. Um, kind of across the bridge, kind of frustrating. Takuno also falling. Okay, good hold from Shmunga so far. Reiner is out of there. Pack not quite there just yet. Uh, finding people on the retreats and uh, slips past him. Yeah, it, it is cool that they're using the well, spark skins. Focus one HP too. And they're gonna chase SK. SK is just getting booped around right now. Oh, the Suzu is nice. Keeping SK up. Can SK get away? One HP. Yes, there come the cards. Boga as well healed up in the meantime. Oh. Reiner is super low, but they do have the high. I didn't know Reiner still played. To go. So well, this, uh, that's not totally score. true, but at least competitively. Well, I mean, I, I'm watching. We can see they're trying to retake the high ground. Boga has the primal rage, so they can play. Oh, thanks, Davis. Going to try and Appreciate disengage it. from the overclock. Pulse bomb goes wide. There's the sound barrier. Oh, a very easy disengage, though. Speaking of monkey boops, there was one. Boga. It is not Super Reiner. Oh, even though he's just someone using. Okay, case, that makes more sense then. By Zor uh, Zorro. And Boga with no more health, no more leaps, and. Oh, 360 from Sorry. No, oh, almost. Almost. <laughs> And now it's Rakshu's time to try and uh, do some damage with uh, that overclock, but they're just getting hounded. Three minutes to go now. This uh, oh. payload is slowly moving back, but it is in firm control of Super Shy. They're so coordinated. Rush, but don't think Smungus is going to be able to touch it. It's going to be a reset on third. Yeah, that was an expensive fight for Smungus to lose as well. ML7 coming up to a rush of their own. They won the team fight last time with that one. You can see Raxu switch over to the Cassidy, Boga over to the Arisa. I like this switch, I think. There's not as many high grounds, you don't really need to play the Winston. This such a way. Wait, did you say nice Raxu? That's not Raxu. Okay, track ball gone. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wait, you, uh, let, let me see my crit? No, no, it's not. That's what I'm saying. Like, watch some of it. Uh, watch some of his aim. Spam it's, this it's fungus to help yeah, Team Schmungus. <laughs> <looks so>, uh, <laughs> I gotta see a video of this. Zergi, I, I need a video of this. He's got a million videos of it, bro. Oh, really? He's got a And he plays with hand cam on stream. Oh, the track. Appa yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Apparently, nice. Zergi chat uh, uses a trackball. Uh, put on the point, but Boating's gonna disengage. QRX does get. Doesn't use a mouse. Uses a trackball. By Reiner, and now all of a sudden they can't get any more staggers. They need to be really careful about losing more and more people here. Yeah. Seven's in danger, bro. I don't think there's a Suzu to his name. No, there you go. Dropped on top of the bubble. SK monkey pooped successfully, but unfortunately the primal rage a little bit too strong. A hello and a goodbye from Reiner there. Three and a half minutes to go for Super Shy, and they've got. Come on, Schmuck. Come on, Shmungus, pull this out. They got the tools to finish. And ML7 over to the Baptiste as well. Zoro's being deadly so far on this Sojourn. Shmungus have to find a way to mitigate this value from the overclock. Oh, good lamp though from ML7. Just saw that pulse one from finding any effectiveness, but now they have to deal with Zoro. Everybody's lining up for him almost. Does her body shot escape? Ryan just ended up falling down, so we a tank battle here, but Sorrow is pretty immortal now with that sound barrier, and that should just about do it. Trackball god down. Dude, they're fucking so good. Seconds Super for show. Super Shy. 
as they cap that super, super shy, sorry. Oh, yeah. Super shy, mm. just putting on a clinic right now. Did you guys notice that Boger you know, stepped out, Facebook used his cooldowns, and then immediately right, exploded? Uh, uh, in this tournament, when they went to map five with Exo, this is a very strong team. As much as they don't have as much name value as some of these other rosters, uh, at the higher end of EMEA, self proclaimed free thinkers when chat spams on, right? this fungus. I'm sure super shy Robots. feels exactly the same way about hey, uh, you know what? Beak feels where it's like I'd spam it too. To yeah, sort of now what? In the what do you get to say? One of these teams in the NBA. You huh? know, you don't want to be dropping maps early, and you know, I don't see now Super what? Shy trying to troll as much as we saw from SSG now what? Uh, in the last matchup with Shmungus. Yeah, I mean, I think SSG are in the realm of their own right now, to be fair. I think they're definitely oh. the best team in the EU. On, um, is it time? It, right? I mean, Twisted Minds took uh, the main Is it time to troll? Uh, last stage. But Twisted Minds, uh, it feels like SSG have a chip on their shoulder about that, because everybody rated them, like, rank one. <laughs> they were the best team, so... Yeah, it feels like uh, they could take it a little bit easier, but Super Shy wanting to prove exactly why they're in this uh, stage. They did qualify as ninth, Scott, just under Ex Oblivione, and uh, just ahead of a one-man army. Wait, they're not bad. All the right, other team was it. predicted to be number yellow. one. My streamer. My streamer, my honor player. My honor player? All right, what do we got? Okay, Boga, oh. that's not my streamer. Now that guy in chat is <laughs> like, wait, no, it is ML. My streamer. My streamer. Familiar. Boga would rather play the hog than the Orisa. A, a hot take. He's just going for the hook. Yeah, that was... Uh, no TP back? Oh, okay, Zergi. Okay, here we go. This one. All right, we're going full silly. We're, okay. we're, we've decided that it's, now is the time. Oh, this is silly. Oh. My streamer, no. <laughs> Let's have a look at some... What is this? Goals. Does it work? I mean, I don't do any damage from here. <laughs> okay, never mind. Something's about, something's about. Watch out, here's Rail. He's off. We see one, we see one in that corner. Lucky right side. Watch out. Winston, Winston, Winston. Get on point, boys. There's a Q. Switch is low, switch is low. Force point, force point. I bet if you went to the other comms, they're like super intense, like, like, okay, 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 we could pedal the cast over the high ground and then Raichu was like, like I, I do no damage. damage. <laughs> I, I'm at range, I can't do anything. It's kinda, if you get an Ash up there, maybe it goes crazy. I don't know, like Widow or something. But um, yeah, it's kind of sad that you're a little bit uh, out of range uh, for the cast to do damage. SK with okay. the tree though. She can just yeah, pop the tree, tree on the point. Moment coming. Mm. Uh, Boger is doing nothing as, uh, unfortunately, as the... Um, Would D.Va work Malga. well here? It's just so different. Uh, I mean, I, I think more wins than I think would want us to be fresh. Oh, no. He wanted to be on the low ground. <laughs> on the ground using his charge? I don't know. Well, there's the pool saving Boga's life. Tree up in the cafe. So it's going to stop a lot of that, uh, those sight lines, I suppose. Well, hey. ultimate I feel like this this is a great example of when people are, myself included, I'm like, it's a very different, big difference between being like a really good ranked streamer and being a pro player. And like, hey, they capped it there, which is fucking huge. Uh, but <laughs> you can tell, like, in the more rehearsed, like, stuff that, like, they're good at, it's a little bit tough, but they're, they're not as good at dealing with the just... That's so sad. Bullshit oh, shenanigans, oh, you know? He's literally one HP. Nice, uh, little body shot there from ML7 just finishes off the Winston. And <laughs> Pack was like, well, we're gonna die here, so I'm gonna die on point. Hmm. This is like, yeah, Did I miss anything good yesterday, by the way, chap? Is that anything? What I didn't stream yesterday. Hey, Flats. Thanks you know, for being I'm, so wholesome. Really enjoy your content. The, uh, you this is too much, so I appreciate it. Um, so you kind of like... Wasn't me. Throwing darts at yeah, I took yesterday off. For the best. I had a lot of stuff I had to do. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think this is like almost be M80. Oh. I'll say it. Is the new meta for the... Play this in your rank games? <laughs> yeah, yeah, play it against oh, me. There he is! <laughs> oh my god! god roll out! He's been practicing! <laughs> Wait, hello? Oh, not like this, dude. Not like this. <laughs> Oh my word. What's up, handsome? Thank you two gifties. Appreciate it. Uh, Storm sings so, a thousand yeah. bits. Appreciate it as well. How do we get the angle? And then the thing is, you yeah, we saw the other one. Out of danger. I'm yeah. back too earlier. Oh my god, what a shot. 
Number seven didn't stand a chance there. Oh, okay, it is just them. Okay. Oh, good spear. Thought it was me, my internet for a sec. Yeah. HC is like around. Unlucky. All good though. Still three minutes. Not a not a bad push on second, but with the high ground control, it's going to be pretty easy, I'd imagine, for Super Shy to hold, especially with the Hanzo. Oh, Cass is dead. Rex, was in a bad spot. Yeah, it's going to be a stagger as well. Poker's got cage. Tough. Oh, How about this? There's also a team this? called Cage Tree. The cage Dill Ducks. Tree. Yeah, that's it. That's you what they played against Toronto yesterday. They also oh. can't kill you. I like yeah. it. Oh. You're cooking. How do you get everyone Interesting. into the cage tree? Oh, thanks, Cactus. What's up, dude? Oh my god! Zergi! Zergi's not even gonna have an afterlife after this. I, oh, that's... It looked cool, though. Next time. I think cage tree will work next time. And they use cage four. tree. So, uh, and, oh, M07 used the um, Alario as well. A little rough, but they are gonna change. Is that it is the oh, old? Not oh, damn. QRXU is just getting getting speared all over the place. Ooh. Yeah, a little rough. These spears have been pretty accurate from Reiner, I must say. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good at the Orisa, the Orisa character. Yeah, this one is a little, little rough. All right, now we have we have the uh, Torvjorn ultimate. So the floor is lava, is, is going to be in full effect. So that would have been a better combo. Hit me out. Cage oh, that's and then Cage core. floor is lava. Cage yeah. core. Beef core. Just... What did you say? Cage core, molten core. Cage core. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. At least Cage beef core. core. And I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Beef Where is the big break patch? What? what are you talking about? I guess Mag is beefy. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what April I think you were going. Boga, you got this. Well, this if is... they don't realize... Boga took a double headshot. Competitive play, oh, and that's gone now. M07 took another headshot. I don't think it's winnable. This is this is oh, tough. Yeah. Poor Schmungus. All right, one minute to go. Schmungus, what do you got for us? Okay, Zergi's on the tracer now. So tracer. This is a bad matchup for Schmungus or something. Other team, I think, is just really good. Yeah. Now, now. I now, think they're just really it's good. It's an uphill battle, but if QRXU kills three, there's a chance. I like his three headshots. On the Arisa. <laughs> And Arisa doesn't right. die, because she has one Now someone's gonna peek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what we're watching, yeah. Oh, Zergi ends up going down, unfortunately, to uh, Sobek there. Can Rax shoot? Uh, I mean, this is almost inevitable, I think. Oh, oh yes. Send in the they, tree. Oh, not quite. Yeah, the Terra Surge. Unfortunately, that tree was a little... Can't even peek? No, they really can't. Not SK's fault either. That was mainly just on the uh, spear spin there from Reiner. Yeah, how do you stop this Orisa from just running at you? Oh, <laughs> this so is, I think, to, a perfect example of why I don't really Sorry, enjoy so trying to do oh, like super, super huge. sweaty pro play second, stuff, so like tournaments and stuff anymore. Yeah, you know, because like, I know I'm just not good enough right, super shy. And for it. You know what I mean? And it's like in a game like this, you have so much pressure. There's probably there's so much pressure on them, even though they're just fucking trying to have a good time. You know, handling the the silliness from Schmung is pretty well, obviously first point you know they did manage to cap it you're gonna get caught off guard every now and then but honestly you know you start to see the Still got one more map, of some though. of these heroes and why they're not played in the overwatch league uh sorry in the wcs as yeah. much uh old habits die hunt uh but I, I i like the idea you know you got the cage you got the tree we're starting to cook we're experimenting jack Did, yeah, anything cool. else that you you thought you could take away into you your do face league right though now? different tiers yeah, you're not wrong, but that's that's uh, this, uh, is that's on. if I yeah. actually give a shit. <laughs> I, I don't give a shit. Like, cage would be kind of sick. I'm just thinking about it now. It's not a combo that I'm right about. Don't really care like right now. Could change next combo. season. You know the first like, combo is real the, talk. The flux real talk, chat. I think the anonymous changes, like the stream mode, actually might make a big difference. Real talk. I think that might make a big difference. I'm hoping it does, because nothing is always more annoying than that. Because, like, I mean, it didn't happen in rank that often, but I could, you could definitely tell, right? You could definitely tell when, like, you know, somebody was hunting. Um, or, you know, someone, someone's trying to make a name, right? And uh, that was always cringe and always annoying. And it's why most pros, like, play on alt accounts or, like, play on accounts that are not named, like, their main. Um, cause it happens all the time too. 
and yeah don't don't forget about the sniping like there's i can't tell you how many times i've walked out of a on a game and they're on the perfect counter comp for our entire team I'm like oh that's interesting and then we come on a completely different comp the next round and they come on the complete counter to that too and it's like huh and then they do that like multiple games in a row and it's like okay i guess you're just fucking clairvoyance you can just see the goddamn future you get if you're just getting you one know? shot it's just very so we'll see to deal with so we'll see so that might make it a little more interesting again Schmungus can pull out this is their final map of groups if they cannot win i'm this also one, uh, their last, uh their last match they will be also, uh, so I'm also leading in a weird spot where like chance. Dude, is, is tank just gonna be fucking terrible forever? Is that the is that the future? And if that is the future, do I want to deal with that? I don't know. You know, a lot of a lot of schmungus believers. I believe it. Yeah, about sixty percent. So not too surprising there. This group, this group is extremely hard, regardless. I think as well, like Exobliviony and Space Station Gaming. Yeah. Really tough games. As we roll out of the door, Boga is on the Rhine. No Lucio though. That looks respectable. Rindle. Yeah, that's honestly pretty pretty sick. Without Lucio, Boga might struggle, but honestly, it doesn't matter if you don't have Lucio because you have the grab. Wait, did they so actually yeah, do an agree? Right, did so they agree to a Ryan duel? Like, like actually? Because you can just be pulled out of it at any time. So let's see how Boga's gonna use the pinning into Narnia strategy. He's cooking with this one. Ooh. There's the pin. Oh, let's go. Go. He, dude, he just disappeared. Oh, Zoro was like, hello. Just fan the did any? Did you guys back. blink? I blinked and he's oh, gone. Oh, where are they going? Where the hell? Where is the? Where is SK right now? Yeah. <laughs> where is she in the skybox? <laughs> like the person's like grab me and they get grabbed and they go the opposite direction to where they thought they were gonna go. It's like why would you do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was the first thing I thought when I saw the grab from Life Weaver when when it first came out. I'm like, okay, this is gonna be a troll. This is gonna People be a are troll, going yeah. to troll. Speaking of troll, um. Not quite so troll. Boga tried to take high ground. Decides against it though, as a uh, super shy just stacked right now. Yeah, super shy just slowly holding this high ground now, knowing they don't really have to do anything. You can see, look at how slow Boga is. Never oh, mind. He has Burke into the verticality. Oh, oh, good. Back to the ball. Exactly where I wanted to be. <laughs> Are you going to wait on the next pedal and go again? By the looks of it. Or onto the oh, they get TP'd over to the next one. The bot, though, mind you. All right, all good. We TP straight back in, and it's actually packed the first of all. Yeah, life we were just so out. big. Boga just gonna get clicked down. Also ends up going down to sorrow. They're not taking any prisoners here. Oh, super shot. Does fall. So there should be somewhat of a reset of this team fight. You're gonna see them sitting. Poor Boger. I don't see them going too aggressive. You know what's here. funny is like neither so Ryan's have done anything. Yeah, They're just standing there. Oh, ML7. Oh, Takuno. Little differential there in ML7. A little one v one. There is a uh, dead eye available, and almost a tree. This checkpoint, it might just get taken for free. Oh. Okay, here it is. Oh, wait, is SK gonna SK's grab? Like on the paddle. Wait, SK's like, what team? <laughs> team, team, I team. have safety oh. pedal over here. No, Anyone Bogus gonna high ground? Pedal. Okay, here we go. Well, hey. <laughs> oh, wait, okay, maybe not. Wait. High noon from the back line. <laughs> what was the play? <laughs> I know they were going for a high noon pull, but oh man, that's tough. Inventing stuff mid game is a little wild. Super shy with a rider even. Oh my! Oh, you hate to see that one. It's the murder. Zergi turned into jam. Hello. That's just that's just unnecessary. Much Mad respect for that one. <laughs> Mad <laughs> respect. Mad to people. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right, Windows coming up here. Boga's is gonna get his own shot. Let's see if he can do something disrespectful as well. Window fire strike. Double fire strike. Here comes the sound barrier. They're gonna go straight. Boga with a not the best pin, but managed to just get out of there. Here comes the wall. A photon barrier and ML7 just caught off guard completely by uh, Sorrow again. Really has been his arch nemesis this entire game, it feels like. Sorrow. Bogo. Oh, big slam. Oh, One HP. Here's the big slam. Oh, Rhino with the pin, though. Knew exactly how much HP he had remaining. Just pinning in Super Shy with 90 plus meters, almost nearing 100. Oh, escape. Damn. Bye.
Just this reset. one's not yeah, looking reset. too good. Oh, just oh, wait, maybe they They're just trolling at this point. Just They've just been just trolling. They've been trolling. I mean, they kind of know though. You know, like team they're playing against is really good. Oh, the 180, and he died. <laughs> oh man, that's tough, dude. That's fucking tough. God, tank is so fucking bad, dude. It's not even worth going to their POVs when they hit a shatter. Like, it's legitimately that useless. Oh man, that's funny. Can she get the donk on the head? Oh, they'll have up healing as well. Straight back to 250 HP. Decent shots from SKR landing. Okay, here we go, here we go. Go back around the corner again. Respectful playing smart. The longest Lucio duel in history. Sobek or Boops SK. They must have missed the one with um. She's below. Funny Astro. Sobek right now. No, no, no! Go back! I don't want to see this POV. Go back! Go back! There we go. One of Lucio's will die eventually. We promise. Oh, good shots from Sobek. That's a quad headshot onto SK. What HP? SK's one. So oh, I guess moved off the map though. Oh no 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 no, it's all good. They'll switch over. SK with the chase though, hot on their tail. So Come so on! This is what decides it all! SK managed to Wait, they ran? So close to getting to the environmental. Stop running! Stop being a bitch! Nice shots landing from SK. Could this be I don't care about this! Get this is all get out of here! Go back! Go back! Okay. Tank might as well just be one buff DPS. Against each other, but then SK beats the rest of us. Okay, we're back to zero, ground zero again. We're no, that guy ran away like four times. That is more than fair. She's trying. Sobek going solo. No, this is the most entertaining part of this entire series. Go back! Nobody cares about this. Good job. Good job. We got them both solo. Sixty. SK has thirty HP. Hits the amp just in the perfect, perfect time. Sobek is one as well. SK needs this last shot, but Sobek smooth. SK wins. That's the only thing that mattered the entire time. That's the only thing that mattered. Let's go. True. Wait, the comeback now. They have the momentum. The Lucio dual momentum. That's mad facts. And they even built up sound barrier in the meantime. <laughs> that was so silly. They actually yeah, built 50% to another, another sound barrier. Down, another trophy claimed. Now the pushing the bot. Add to the belt. Yeah, exactly. The boy is being pushed. Back to normality. Okay, so Schmogus is actually going oh, to Oh, that's funny. Uh, during this time. They're, they're sitting on the high ground. The high ground is going to be really good. Oh, 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 double high noon. Wait, where's the one? Ooh. Ooh. Wait, did the Lucio 1v1s? Nice start. This should be a triple for the. Uh... Give momentum? Go. Okay, okay. Rhino there with a big shatter. Bogo with a repeat one. Surely Ryan's dead. Yes, sir. There we go. Spunders. A little bit of momentum, not gonna lie. Hey, still a chance. You know, still a chance. All right, all right, all right. Lots of ults used. Although, uh, I, I think ult tracking here is super shy. Does have a you lot know, of big ults. Just like who can you solo ult at this point of the fight? AK support ults, but Shmungus does too. But it depends on when they use them. Point, there's a chance. You can CP height. Twenty-four meters versus forty-eight. High ground control and a window. Wait, so where did everybody go? Hunting for where the fuck did they go? Oh, I don't know if he wants to get down. How the hell did they go over there. here? Ends up going down. Maybe embarrassed, maybe thinking about the Lucio 1v1 they the just lost. Exactly. There's the ball. Big beat and gauge. Clean up. Checkpoint here, Shmungus. All right, super shy. You got a minute and 30 to kind of contend with here. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Hey, all right, Lucio 1v1 kind of shifted Shmungus some momentum. Hey, in overtime, anything can happen. They're on a, they're on a pretty nice. good comp here as well. With the Mons, can you get that clip? I want to see it after. For this upcoming fight, so they should win the next one. Sobek is coming up to a sound barrier, but shouldn't have too much impact. We'll see. Is that a flank bat? Yeah. Good counter pin. <laughs> <Why not? laughs> no, or Boger's exploding. 
Nice B, just in time to save Ryder. That lamp as well. This high ground is so Hello? Are we still here though? Wait, what happened? What happened? What happened? I'm still locked in, bro. There's a sim under him. I must have beat. Nice. Reinhardt. 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 I'm pushing top. I'm pushing top. I'm pushing top. I'm going for him. Don't die. It's fine. Burger's got me. Nice. I got you. Wait. Oh my gosh. Well, we go in with. Is this before that fight happened? We cook him. Yep, yep. Yeah, this, okay, that was before the fight happened. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna rewatch that fight again. We didn't miss anything. Cool. <clears throat> oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, behind, yeah. fucking ball in. Yeah. Oh! Counterpin, counterpin, get him, get him. Rush us, rush us. Ryan, 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 Ryan. Ryan, Oh no. Ryan, Oh, oh. Huge? <laughs> Got him, bro. Shoot him, Lucio, Lucio. Oh no, I got boop. Oh. Oh no. Hey, yeah, that's not. Okay, yeah, that's something. It's not the worst. Yep. Oh, oh, wait, wait, you guys have to get out of there. We don't have spawns. Oh, kill the Lucio, kill Lucio. Oh, nice. We're good. Wait. I think it's bad one for I'm speeding. Huge. They're, yeah, they're gonna TP somewhere. I can sense it. I sense it. They're gonna TP each other, bro. Here comes the TP. <laughs> Turn around and block it. Run. I'm trying. I'm dead. TP, TP. I have touch. I have touch. I touched. Oh no. He missed shatter. I'm in there. I'm winning. I'm winning! <laughs> oh. Damn, guys. That was a nice run. Nah. GG's. GG's. Team Schmungus gave it our all, but in general. Team Schmungus, listen, all I'm saying is MTV. I hit two of GGS. two shutters on GGS. their run. GGS. GGS. <laughs> two of I, two. I beat their Lucio in the 1v1, and I beat Astro, so we basically won the whole thing. Yeah, it was fun, though. Okay, gonna go back <laughs> to the main fun. broadcast. And then when they realize they were like, you know what? Maybe our best bet is to get a little silly. Man. And you saw that on Hollywood, they had some value. This this Reinhard duel could have gone either way. You know, just a couple of team fights. So and you know, there was some disrespectful shatters. Here's the moment of truth though. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. I got my shatter. This gun is just so Bulger. wonky. Like it's the hardest you gun know, to use in the game. Am and I wrong to say player that has mastered that weapon? Because my word that watching both the tanks is like just watching two people in slow motion doing my, like nothing. Hang on, let's see this clip earlier. Yep. Okay. Yeah, they're playing the same. Wait, is it this one? Wait, that's Sorry, actually I have we're there, we're on the counter to sim. Pull me? Pull me? Pull me? Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, don't help uh, me, what, don't help what, me. What? I, um... <laughs> okay, let's see the other one. Hang on, what's this one? Don't help me, don't help me. No, 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 you got no, this, no. okay. Wait, hang on. Oh, no, that's good. They're breaking, they're breaking it. Did I help? No. I got this guy at some point. Got this. Oh! Yeah. We win this. Ooh, don't help me. Don't help me. Damn. Okay. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right, let's go back. To the main broadcast. Sick shot. Like, 
Yo, selfish thing to get you to Bulger. I appreciate it. Yo, GG's again, Bulger. I, uh, I hope you had fun. That that looked like it was a interesting one, to say the least. Like, yeah, you just carry this on the Exa, uh, Exa Oblivion game. Nah, they they might, have, uh, might have something to be scared of. It's going to be a good match, for sure. Yeah, I mean, again, the first time around, it was a very, very close series. Could have gone either way. So I'm interested yeah. to hear it from them uh, themselves as well. Uh, just maybe some thoughts on what went wrong in that first match and how they can turn it around in the second one. Now we're currently waiting for the interview to be set up, and then we hopefully get to chat with them. And if not... We just oh, they're interviewing Shmungus? Normally they never interview the losers, but probably because streamers. Be in fact, talking to the winners, Saro is uh, joining us here for a quick word. Saro, oh, never congratulations mind. On the never mind. Job. Okay, I, I was gonna say, wow, I've never heard them go to them. However, did losing you have team before. Like, protocols or rules into place uh, to not get dragged into all the clownery that people expected Schmungus to pull out of that. I mean, we always basically use as a rule to respect our enemies, so we don't really care who we're against. We always play to respect them, and so we don't like underestimate them, and they just get snowballed, and then... That's smart. Yeah, That's very smart. <laughs> How are you feeling against uh, about your matchup against Ex Oblivion again? Obviously, it was a, a map 5, but like, how do you feel about the volume. It's already... the first game? Oh, Is there anything you want to improve on? I think, I mean, now we know how they play against. But since, since we've never like scrimmed them or anything, um, we're like kind of a new team, right? Like uh, no one's ever heard of us before, so uh, we're like kind of getting into the pro scene. Uh, so now we, how we know, like when we know how they play and stuff, I think it can be much easier to They're new? play against. They're new, really. Them. Like now we can actually have a game plan. Well, I also don't think so SK I, I have a question, we actually just team you said something scrimmed similar, like, like at all. Is EXO a really good target for you guys as a team? As you said, you're a new up and coming team. To I think they warm up scrimmed, like, but that's hey, it. We're up and coming in the EMEA. Is this an important match for you guys to prove that, hey, we're better than this team? I think the extra match will be really important for us. Uh, it's like, I mean, they're, they're a really good team. Um, like, they have really good players, like people who've been Overwatch League and everything. So if we manage to get the win against them, it'll like actually get our name out there as well. Uh, and prove that we are better than people think we are. I, I have a follow-up question as well that has nothing to do with your answer just there. How did you feel <laughs> when Sobek lost the Lucio 1v1 to Asuka? <laughs> you know, are you looking for new Lucios? Oh, asking the asking real SK? questions. Um, I mean, it was disappointing. I, I really believed him. You know, I, I typed some inspirational messages in Shatter and everything, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it is what it is. Like. Uh, I, uh, I get out. Hope he works on the mechanics. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the entire team should get together and tape review the one we won and just yeah. get some insights yeah. so Sobek can, Probably you know, maybe not do that <laughs> next time around. Uh, well, we're gonna That's see tough. you and the squad going at it again in just a week's time against Ex Oblivioni. We're all very excited for that match, for that rematch, rather. So uh, thank you once more for joining us and best of luck in that game. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. What's up, Kiwi? That was Zoro. Awesome. I am also, I'm, I'm honestly very excited to see that rematch. And I do yeah. love that Ex Oblivion just turns out to be like the, the measurement. It's like the banana for scale of the <laughs> MEA. I, I really like that. That is such a good reference. <laughs> it works really well. The it does. what? It's like a very solid team in MEA. Obviously, their roster feels like it's going take a hit just recently. But like, <laughs> she just a say very what established organization that just... plays within the MEA region for a long time. And a lot of players not only nah, do no make their team feel better, it's like, a, it's like a pecking order kind of thing like ssg yeah. realistically is unattainable for a lot of those teams right now so it's like where can we start it and then build from there yeah exactly like exo they're not a team to be scoffed at but not, and i was like uh what they were saying uh zero was saying about their team it's like we're kind of new to this mm -hmm. pro scene and we're kind of new and we're trying to build our names up as individual players and as a team as well so like yeah i'm excited to see where they go from here yeah, maybe not Chat, what's the, the do you guys know like, the schedule hey, xmo verne is next on the sheet just got a bit one step at a time like boom 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 do you guys know the schedule at all or no you know we uh we do want to rub it in again though i know they won and we shouldn't hack on about it but i do want to rewatch that one we won lucio um because it now it's it's not just ex oblivioni you have to measure up against it's also sk's lucio and if you get to take down sk's lucio then you definitely deserve to be in this competition i'm making up rules <laughs> as we go but let's let's actually have a listen in even 
Turn left. I beat you guys. Huge. I'm still one. Bro. What's he's no one. He's no one, brother. Yeah, he's no longer one. I'm going mega. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Okay, so one more game. Hang on a second. Okay. This game's cooking though. Don't help me. Don't help me. I hate no, tank. No, 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 this no. Is me too, Boger. Hang on. Me too. Oh, no, actually, they're breaking. They're breaking it. Me too. I help now. Honestly, you guys kind of won though for this. Something. This right here. You got this. Oh. Yeah. Diff. We win this. Ooh, diff. Bro, I hit two slams. Boger. Boger. Do you know they cut away from you the second you did it? You went in, pinned, 180 shatter, and they p cut away from you right before you went in, and in between the cuts, you died. You were full HP, pinning, stopped. I saw the stop and then the 180 start, they cut. I saw the slam hit, and then you were dead. Pressure. I, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. Wait. I, oh. I even beat Funny Astro in the 1v1, so like, we're up there. Down ah, there's a problem. Two for two. Yeah. All right. SK, my goat. Uh, I have a question for you, real quick. So, obviously, you've yeah. taken down yeah. two, two of the best EU has to offer. If you were to take another name, <laughs> you want to put another notch on your belt, who do you want to oh, put 1v1 oh. against? Custa. I have. Oh, no, okay. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I want to see it. I see it. It's not going to be close, you know. I'm going to fall over. I'm going to fall off the wall. It's fair, by the way. Being in 26 months, I appreciate it. Hello, hello. We were oh, suggesting big... Chio. I said something in my head, but... Yeah, how do you feel about Chio? Oh, my God. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. I'm so down. That's so cool. Lock it in. Lock it in. We'll call, Ch we'll call Chio after the broadcast. Don't worry. <laughs> we're we're like, like, but, but, yeah, exactly. Yeah, don't even know we're in good connection. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, SK, I know you guys are eliminated, but how, how was the tournament for you? How was the group stage? Did you guys enjoy it? It looked like you were having fun with it. I had a blast. You know, there was not many expectations for Team Schmungus, but I believe that we exceeded them all. And we had fun during it. I got to play with my friends. Um, I'm happy. I couldn't be happier. Aww. Oh yeah, that's what it's all about. Just having fun. Like, yeah, you, you made it to the group stage, which is kind of crazy against all the, obviously the teams in the Swiss stage. Pretty sick stuff. Yeah, hopefully we see you again in the next group stage. Fingers crossed. Yes, yes. Hopefully we can have a very good Butchels next some stage as well. Our Butchels was amazing this stage, so that's why we got in. And what did I'm she say? Our what? What yeah. so are we? Because we got treated to some <laughs> top-notch clownery. SK, thank you so much for joining us, and best of luck in whatever is to come next for you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, my guy. <laughs> oh, much love awesome. to SK and Team Schmungus. Um, the winners of the hearts, for sure. I got my producer in my ear being like, we're going to make you play. Uh, yes. Wait a minute, hang on. Yo, Boger, hang on. I got you. I got I'm, I'm you. Oh, actually, never mind. Jaws, you need to learn Lucio because I need a practice partner on the Lucio door. I was gonna. Maybe we can 2v1 Lucio or her? <laughs> yeah, can I, yeah, can I own two. a friend? Oh my god, okay, that is okay. insane. SK oh, versus Lucio me and Jaws. Versus SK. <laughs> uh, I, my Lucio is horrible. It's my worst <laughs> so support by far. And no Boger interview. Sad. Kind of washed. Kind of washed side. I mean, they yeah. normally yeah. never do so interviews with the loser teams. Ganging up together, we you know? One mediocre like, I've, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen an interview with the team that lost, ever. But... <laughs> Probably because, content, uh, uh, you know, content, we'll streamer team, more of that content team, they're comfy on camera. Three, which will be fought out between... I'm scrolling, it's I'm fine. scrolling. Woman Army and Sheer Cold, there, I got there. <laughs> they will be going at it next in yet another elimination match of the EMEA, EMEA side of things. All of that happening after the break, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, I can't even believe it on the plan. I don't know. I kind of agree. I kind of agree.
<laughs> Holy shit. When I show you replay and fan. <laughs> oh man. You should be. I'd be scared. I'd be fucking terrified. I'd be fucking terrified. You, you know, you know the days of Ryan's outplaying the other Ryan to, to carry your team to victory are gone, right? At the, ah, uh, dude, you could, you could fucking diff him in next year. You're still going to lose. But the roll has no impact. I'm sorry. That's true. That's facts. There's nothing else to be said there. Yeah, that's just the world we live in. That's the world we live in. It was definitely a 4v5 though. I, dude, honestly, I thought you were kind of trolling at the beginning. I, I thought you guys were like, you know, like someone who visits his stream quite frequently and was just like an insider joke, but I, I'm starting to think you might be serious. And for so, you're an idiot. If you genuinely do believe that. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't know. I don't know if he, if he thinks it. Want to piss off Boger? Oh, so you're one of those people. Oh, yeah. Jokes aren't about pissing people off. That's not funny. That's just kind of weird. It's kind of It's actually kind of strange. That's like that's like some chronically online shit. You know, like when so you disagree with somebody on the internet and your entire thing is like, I'm just going to try to make them mad because then I win. It's like, it just doesn't speak to being very like smart, you know? So I'm going to give you a chance because I think you were tr you do believe you were trying to joke, but uh, that's the end of that. Sound good? Uh, Nighthawk, thanks for the three gifties. Appreciate it, dude. Uh, a tarny thing with a tier one for five Hello months. There. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, don't do that. That's cringe. Oh. What is your plan, Boger? Are you going to actually play Overwatch in the last couple days of season nine? Or uh, are you hanging it up until season 10? No, I don't blame you. I've been dodging Overwatch like the plague. Wait, are you gonna do a, uh, are you doing another, you know, unranked to GM venture? Are you, are you making video of said unranked to GM venture? Cause it sounds like content. <laughs> Red Eye thinks the six months. Hope you are having a good day. Depends of good content. I feel that. I feel that. See you later. The good ending, true. See, I don't, I don't, I don't care as much about super high quality Overwatch stuff at the moment. I'm uh, trying to be better with my variety stuff. Like the Siege video that went out today, I didn't get to see it beforehand, and I was a little sad because I wanted to have both of the streams combined into one because like it's a lot of like teaching car queue instead of like actual gameplay so I'm a little bit sad about that one but I didn't have time to talk to anybody because retro has been so busy so I missed it but I want to get better at it make little mistakes along the way and I, that's fine with me I don't mind making mistakes because if I make mistakes then I'll make it better in, in the long term because like now I was not going to do Horizon Zero Dawn as like a one one Space video system. thing, but now I'm thinking about I doing it again. I up to a two week session yeah. for saying top 500 troll challenge at our arm. Uh, yo, thanks for the five. I'm gonna I'm completely keep it a buck with you, Heroes, my friend. This is your game. There's no shot. That's true. Uh, there's no way you got banned for saying top 500 roll challenge or damn. There's just no way. Trash Pan links five gifties. Appreciate it. Uh, and the reason why I don't believe you 
uh, is because there's been people in the past that have lied about that very openly. And there was one guy on Reddit a long time ago who uh, basically edited his screenshots and was talking about how he got banned for saying garlic bread. Um, and the devs themselves went and looked into it and responded and said, that's not what you said at all, actually. We have the, the true logs, and this is what you said. And then they deleted the entire thread. And now, actually, one of the streamer mode uh, that comes out next week, one of the streamer mode generic gamer tags it's going to give you is garlic bread, which is fucking hilarious. Um, that being said, though, I do also slightly believe you, um, because I did see somebody who's an Overwatch player got banned uh, for saying fuck and shit in a ranked game. Um, and apparently can't play in collegiate now because of that. That's fucked up. That's bullshit. Um, if that's true. I mean, I didn't, I can't see the screenshots, obviously, but Blizzard CS responded and said, and I quote, they had the F word and the SH word. And at first, I went, oh, so he slurred. But no, it was fuck. Which is like, what? <laughs> I was like, wait, wait what? Um, yeah, so that, that's... As if you have a profanity filter on your game, that shouldn't happen. That's ridiculous. <sighs> but yeah. Uh, and I, I mean it with love. I just, I just don't believe you got banned for saying damn topic on a roll challenger. I'm sorry. I just don't believe it. There's always a little bit more to the story. I, I know him primarily as the Roadhog one trick that uh, well, used to be they have trick the pronouns of the players games, LMAO why is that weird to you you know, it's, you know it's every it's person on this planet they has they pronouns right and you've used them your entire life is, you're literally your entire guys, life and you've never even thought about it until it became political in the last three years you've never thought about it not once I think I think this roster I don't quote me on this. So people uh, want to be that's what I, they I think, want to be called. Yeah, I think that's fine. Roster, um, it's really not that tough. Together, but I don't think under the sheer cold banner. I think the sheer If you make a mistake, change, hey, I think different players. I as long as you're like, like someone's like, hey, like said, uh, actually I prefer players, this, and you're like, oh shit, my bad, and you move, and they correct yourself, you move on. Very difficult to keep track of all these things. Not that tough. But one thing that is worth noting about these two teams is they actually played in the Swiss. Yeah, so he's back. Uh, but so he did get laid off. Yeah, I don't know. I don't actually know the whole story behind it, but I think she's like a probably contractor now with Face It, which is which is good. Two dreams alive. Which is good, but yeah, shit cold. Like Zoe was saying too, had a pretty tough matchup in the Swiss. Like, lost every matchup against a. I mean, you don't know the players' gender from their name in game. Yeah. So they're really looking to kind of cement themselves so it's like, here. But it's really not that crazy. A, a tough up until battle against one man army. Like, especially after going off of a two. -oh really not that crazy. Well, I don't know why people get so weird about it. Before, a lot of revenge like, if, if, if it's something that you don't care about, so then just don't care about it. Just move on. Like you know, like um, you, 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 that. That just means like if you don't mind people calling you whatever. Then that's actually your preferred pronouns. It's just any then. Like there's an actual, like there's an actual thing for, for it. It's called any. Fairly, like, so if you don't care, Swiss that's so, yours. Any. You know, don't give a shit. All right, cool. If someone else wants to be called something, both of them, they wanna, like, get in the why not just tell them what they, they want to be called? Why not? It's not that tough. We'll have to wait and see how it rolls out, though. As uh, Roman, <clears throat> JQ is the pick. Thank you, sir. My bad. Go on with your day. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not that crazy. Pretty good for Roman. Yeah, I don't think no one's, no one's gonna witch hunt you for making a mistake. No, no one's gonna do that. No, that's not even what they're doing. They just, they just have it there, just so you know, they know what to call people. That's it. It's gonna be on Ollie as the Baptiste to stay. Not that crazy. Just, I think it's weirder to make it. Weird. You know. They need to be fast tempo to be able to punish the the survivability of one man army. Wow, they're actually playing the Junker Queen comp. I haven't seen anyone playing Queen since everyone discovered the cast is extremely good and Orissa's got buffed. Because Orissa and Queen kind of shit on, or I'm sorry, Orissa and Cast kind of shit on Queen. First cap, it seems to be going back and forth. Romani is anyone, still low. Alvaro gets taken anyone when the new season starts, is gold weapons going to be released? We mean released. You'll be able to buy them again, yeah. Exceptionally low. Exceptionally low. Romani loves Romani Queen. Oh, I didn't even notice it was Romani. Okay, that makes sense. Romani's really, really good on Queen. 
Also in at fours. Only with a nice couple of uh, kills at the very end there. I thought Romani was NA. You can see how much I mean, I guess like there is NA people playing like EU, but... Has and like how much, uh, Hello? Unfortunately, I'm a tank mate. It's nice to meet you. I went to the library to get a book on abdominal pain, but sadly, the appendix was ripped out. Alt. Yeah, and that's just, you know, Joker Queen's difficult. And if they are going to play the Queen, they need to play faster. Like, they just have to. Otherwise, it the works same for that one. Happen, they're just taking too much damage. They're never going to get in. Killer's one HP. And Romani's dead to nade. There's a reset. Reset angle, I think. Me thinks a reset angle. There we go. Yeah, that didn't even hmm. cost them an ultimate. Maybe a pulse bomb by the wayside, but for the most part, it's still uh, just like. Yo, Genko, I don't know if you're still here. Right. Sorry, I just saw that. In. What's up, dude? Myas, the Genji for Sheer Cold is 70% uh, towards that blade. Like you said, uh, or Shimura, sure. Prime. Go Appreciate fast, it. I love the man. team names. Steps up, spin. Well, there's like up, no orgs in Overwatch spin. League. Or Ronnie sorry, in OWCS up, anymore. Steps so, steps so like all these players just come up with their own names. You know? There's a couple, but not really many. surprised they didn't pull that. Glocks down, killer. There's the, uh, there's the sound bear on the high ground. Nat locks, not receiving the beat in time. As Avio does take him down and, uh, well, Killer has got something to say about this window. Just ignores it completely. There's the overclock. There's the damage we wanted to see from Sheer Cold. Not as big as we thought. That Terra Surge not getting all too much. But I really like the one. Yeah, like, Terra Surge isn't that good, so it's fine. They, they just pull the trigger. They go in with the Do you feel like after the first major uh, orgs, you're going to start buying speed, slash contracting teams? Do you want opponents. my... They okay. To keep doing that. I want the There's two options of opinions I could give you here. I can give you my optimistic opinion, or I can give you my realistic opinion. Which one do you want? Do you want my number one for optimistic, or number two for realistic? Go soul thing to Giffy. Appreciate it. There's the blade slashing at the high noon. You can't say bolt. Bolt's not fair. Okay, fine. I'll give you both. You guys are such bitches. I tried to give you two, one, two options, and you like said both. You greedy fucks. Okay. Optimistic is yes. Um, Overwatch is probably going to become the budget esports for a little bit because esports is fucking broke across the board. Nobody has any money. Um, but if you can find a way to pay literally basically poverty wages, we're talking like 500 bucks a month um, for an org and you're able to get value out of a team. Because there's literally no money floating around, you might be able to get the best players in the game for, like, borderline nothing. Um, so especially smaller orgs or orgs that don't have a giant budget right now, or hell, even orgs that used to be in Overwatch and think that there's potential, talking your, your NRGs type of things, right? Uh, just want to see how a year goes without the Overwatch League format. Like, can it still, does it still do well? How is DreamHack going to be, right? Is DreamHack Dallas going to be a success? Because, like, for example... CS does a lot of stuff at DreamHacks, right? Um, so I think a lot of people are kind of in wait and see mode. Uh, and in my own personal opinion, I think Overwatch is on the upswing. I think they're doing a lot of good things. I think tank is the only thing that's genuinely holding them back. Uh, the tank experience is so fucking terrible that if that wasn't a thing, like Overwatch genuinely would be in a really good spot. Um, but tank is so fucking bad that like people are still feel like there's problems, you know? Um, but a lot of it's waiting and seeing the, the, the industry's broke. Um, people are scared because like, you know, economies and... So you know, if there's a looming global forward, recession, you, you probably don't want to be spending money on video games, right? Because it's not hitting the same way as it did pre-pandemic because you don't have all the COVID money. But you have the potential for... Um, the tank problem is really good. Recommend a watch if you find the time. I think 25 months, maybe. Um... <clears throat> Uh, but yeah, basically Overwatch can become like a like a budget esport for a little bit. Um, the good thing about being a budget esport means it's super easy to get into, and if it performs well and continues to do well over the next couple of years, that opens it up as orgs get more money again, potentially, as economies do better. Uh, it has a chance to recover, right? I think it does. Surely, right? That's the optimistic take. 
That's really silly, but it was. Use, use it against the Cassidy, and then the Cassidy can't. Do you want the real, the realistic that, one? Take that, Cass. Nice um, it depends yeah, on how much cold really starting to find their footing and it felt like they were getting Saudi mon money is actually getting round, pumped one man army was just able to hold on the same power of the Baptiste like you can see every time they're putting up the window Romani just can't do <clears> anything <throat> like as soon as Romani peeks his head around he's taking too much damage so if Romani that's the realistic can answer the damage a little bit and they can almost go for more flanks and routing around to catch people off with one man army I think that should work better for them because if it ends up being a lot same stuff as shit called little comfort people will fall Skitzer doesn't have a trace Still early though. Because people did it with crypto. Don't forget about that. Uh, everybody knew crypto was not a great idea. Uh, you know, there's a lot of issues. And uh, that was what was keeping esports afloat for a long time. So you have that. It's going to pretty much come down to. Uh, Probably Gamba, like we're talking like your DraftKings, you're talking, you know, uh, ways for people to bet on games because the fastest growing industry in America right now is gambling, uh, especially sports gambling. Uh, so depending on sports gambling and Saudi money, uh, because you have the eSports World Cup that's coming up, uh, face it. Like, yes. No armor. All under the same umbrella. You require so much um, heat. You have a shell, which is only over and like the but WCS as well. well. Of, uh, so comes from the it depends. Game, which and also, you can see in other games. Like, Apex made an, had an announcement this week that right? Apex is being played in the Esports uh, World Cup. Uh, depending on how much money is it, orgs and teams yeah, will follow. For, uh, so, uh, realistically, so that's it's genuinely just how big the number is. Because if the number's big enough, uh, you can make anything work. And Overwatch League proved that, because Overwatch League was fucking terrible. Uh, but they had endless amounts of money for a few years. So they could just hard force it. You can't bet on face-in matches on CS, but the prize pool is nice. I mean, hasn't CS had, like, big problems with, like, betting stuff in the past? Like, isn't there, like, some of the most famous esports, like, issues? From, from CS? Uh, I'm not, like, totally familiar with the whole thing, but... Why was Overwatch League getting so much? Because half the team owners were billionaires. If you're a billionaire with a fucking B, a million dollars or two million dollars to you is legitimately nothing. Especially on a potential business endeavor that could blow up into the next big thing. Which is what it was sold as. Overwatch League was sold as the next big thing. That's why it was a home and away format. That's why it was supposed to be a global league. It was all the... Bobby Kotick sold it to his billionaire buddies as the next big moneymaker. And they were like, dude, we can get involved for like a couple million? And it could potentially be a money-making business into the next potential billion-dollar industry? Hell yeah. And so, it went on for, what, three or four years? And they kind of started to see, oh, this ain't looking too good, actually. And then it all came crashing down after the contract was over. But that's why they had unlimited, at least, or not unlimited, but they had close to unlimited for a bit. Still pretty low. Ooh. And there's the pause. Damn it. Okay. Unlucky. Unlucky. Unlucky pause. Unlucky pause. All right. Well, now we now we wait things out. Romani does get the kill on to to Ollie, so it should feel like. I think Romani might be in trouble be there though, because it's not looking good. Uh, team fight win. We saw what they did last I time. I sold them right? on the idea and then, then they, tried to smother the game to death. To, you know, get well, up. so anything is possible. Okay. They start cycling their ultimates, but there's a, said, there's, like a, there's, like a there's a lot of things that happen there. There's a lot of things that kind of happen there. Uh, because. Yeah, when he probably did that, right, before, he probably wanted the game to be the next gigantic esport and to make them tons of money. But Jeff and the Overwatch League, or the Overwatch team, were thinking P PvE, and were thinking about going that route, right? They were trying to make a more complete game, almost like a World of Warcraft. They were trying to make an FPS World of Warcraft, and they wanted to go PvE, and they had done some PvE stuff and it had worked. And they probably wanted hardcore competitive PvP. And so their hard split 
okay, between yes, Actually, what the devs so thought was best mode, and what he wanted. I saw you and so, or actually was doing some really fucked up shit too on behind the scenes. Um, they did a lot of really bad, like antitrust shit. And if that ever gets investigated, I would love to see the outcome of that. Cause I think if the US government actually looked into all that stuff, I think they would actually get smoked if I'm completely honest. Um, I can't believe you guys so they probably it's, it's wanted to go a different a route. Two different uh, so the they also probably didn't see Overwatch as an like, extremely hardcore you say, you say competitive Escort. shooter. Because remember, for years, uh, everyone used to Escort. argue that Overwatch I, I, I like was not second, balanced sure. as a competitive oh, game. It was be be balanced as a casual oh, game. And a great example of that was Brig, also, right? Like Tracer was dominating the game for the first like two, three years. And nobody could figure out how to beat Tracer that was, you know, below plat. Um, so they created Brig, a character that could one shot the character that is destroying everybody, right? Um, what other mode are you, are you merging with Escort? So, yes, exactly. You're using hard they realized that that was a big yeah, hold up. First up, SK, thank you for the big raid. You the goat. I don't know if you saw my message. I left because I know you were like three minutes in the future, but thank you for the big prime. Hello, SK raiders who are coming in. You are the oh, wait a minute. Is this DMCA? Am I gonna? Oh no, we're good. Um. Yeah, you the goat, racking up the kills. Honestly, kinda, I, I really did think low key that you guys were gonna make the comeback um, because of that. Like you got like momentum. You guys actually won like four fights in a row off of that. I was like, wait. <laughs> uh, yo, Victor, thank you for the DF team. Three months of tier one to SK. I appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. Um, it was close. Poor Boger. Poor Boger came in here immediately after and was like, I hate tank. I hate it here. Because, like, he actually made a couple cool plays and they instantly cut away from him every time and he just exploded. Like, legitimately didn't even get to play the game. I was like, wow. That fucking blows, dude. <laughs> well, you popped off. We, we all proud. Our goat. Um... Yeah, you joined at a very weird time, though, if you're just coming in now. Chat, what were we talking? We were talking about um, OWCS. We were talking about future Overwatch, uh, Overwatch League. I don't remember if I finished it, what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, but basically, yeah, old Overwatch was in a big conflict with itself. Did Boger raid me? I don't think so. Um, if he did, I missed it. He just popped in here. Just start talking. Why Brig was created. Yeah, yeah. But bas basically, there was a big... There was probably a massive internal conflict between, like, Jeff and the Overwatch team and Bobby and wanting an extremely competitive eSport versus, like, the good of the game. Um, oh, Boger rated SK and then SK rated Futs. Okay, that makes sense. Um... Not really too many cooks. In, I mean, I guess kind of too many cooks in the kitchen, but it's more of like he probably had a vested interest, right? Because he sold the billionaire buddies the idea of this extremely popular esport that will make them millions and millions of dollars, and didn't feel like they were doing what they could or should to live up to that, right? Um, but yeah, kind of hope the U.S. government someday looks into that because I feel I feel like they would they would get a big score. It's funny how they committed to PvP now that Bobby is gone. It is actually quite ironic, actually. Um, but like, let's get some more months on the board. Yo, thank you tier three for 38 months. Appreciate it as well. It is quite ironic. Uh, because in some way, in some sick, twisted way, he kind of was right about trying to go the PvP route versus PvE route. However, though, we never even got to give them a chance to make a good PvE game uh, because it was so handicapped and just constantly fucking it the entire way. But, like, you know, that's a good example of, like, just how spiteful that he was, right? Because if you don't want them to make something and you're trying to get them to make something else and they refuse and you just sabotage the other thing they're making... Then in the end, you can sit there and look at it and go, see, I was right. Your thing was terrible. But it's like, no, you caused it to be terrible, right? Um, so Microsoft also, they didn't see PV as profitable. 
Or that's something I saw? That, no, that wasn't, I mean, that wasn't Microsoft that said that. Uh, that was Blizzard saying that, but because they were right. Uh, because the first PV missions was a fucking joke. Uh, I had fun playing them for the story, but that's it. And, uh, dude, I fucking beat this shit to death at this point. And it's why I went to war with the entire Overwatch community. I was like, dude, because a corporate entity is telling you that PV is not cancelled, it's just being reframed is not real that is a corpa telling you to what you think and you're eating it up you're like no offense but you're so fucking naive uh and that's why i went to war about it because like i knew that it was it was bullshit like it was not what it was originally supposed to be and it sold so badly that it wasn't even worth releasing the f almost finished content right that's why they did it is because it was so bad like it literally made them like it was so little amount of money that's not even worth putting it out that's why they did it it wasn't about being profitable it was genuinely so low that even just putting on the finishing touches was so fucking low that the amount of time it would take to put the finishing touches on wasn't even worth it that's really bad that means like if i had to make an educated guess I bet it made Pelican on MAC the other day. They did yeah, go to Pelican map number five. On. They did go to map number five, but Pelly did. I gotta, I'm gonna do some quick maths just so I can kind of have a frame of reference. for them, though. I generally do not think so. However, if you have strong opinions about the best yeah, I could. S I mean, that's actually probably a little bit high. Feel free to tweet them at us or write them in the Instagram comments. I bet it made about seventy thousand. <laughs> $70,000 because it was 50, $15 for the pack for all the missions that would equal about f a little less than 5,000 people bought it which I could see 5,000 people probably bought it out of like the millions of people who play the game over time 5,000 people probably bought it probably made about 70,000 that's my guess that's my guess you i'll do the research i'm gonna throw in a laura ipsum on some random person's instagram post and, and see how far I can she's just it. gonna start copy pasting trash talk in your on your post scott that's what she's that's, that's well, joke's gonna on you. Now. i don't use this i think a lot more than five thousand bought it considering a skin no, but, uh, and i've talked to people about this like, uh, considering a skin learn. takes about a hundred thousand dollars to make right so if a skin takes about a hundred thousand dollars to make um because of all, like the whole pipeline between getting an artist coming up with designs coming up with concepts all that stuff right it takes about a year um give or take it would have to be significantly less so that's why i, I was originally going to say about 100k people, uh, it probably made but honestly i don't even think that many people bought it so. And then afterwards, we hope to be back with this series as we're still waiting for the issues to be resolved. That's just not true. Oh, okay. So I just got lied to by the people who actually do the work. That makes sense. Sure, man. <laughs> sure, I guess. Yeah, they don't. They don't work there anymore. They used to work there, but. I don't think that's really changed. It wasn't that long ago. <clears throat> Between how much time it takes to get the artist, designing, concepting, doing bunts or different, like, how, like you have to pay the artist for all the sketches, all the, all the things that they make. And then they do a bunch of iterations, then they go back through and like, okay, let's tweak this, let's make this. Okay, we like this one. Can we see different versions of this one? Different colors, different schemes. And then you go all the way through it. And then eventually, okay, we like this design. Let's, now it's concept. It's like, does it work in the game? No, it doesn't work in the game because like the scarf they have is too flowy and it's too much. Okay, so let's redesign it then. And you have to go all that. Then eventually you actually start to put it into the game. Now, once it's in the game, then it's gonna go through testing. And then there's only a certain amount of people that can test stuff in the game, right? Like there's people that test all the new content. They test all the new skins. I would assume balance is probably a different group, but probably anything that goes into the game from like new events to new skins to the battle pass stuff, sprays, all that stuff has to get tested, right? Does it work in the game? Is there any glitches? If you put it on a wall, if you stand near certain walls, right? Like QA testers have to do all this shit, right? You're paying all those people for their time, right? You pay all those people for their time the whole way through. 
You're, you're, yeah, but when you say an average artist's salary, I it's don't not know one what person. You're talking about calls like, you're, just you're fucking here, nuts. But I'm sorry. Like, you're not you. talking about one person. You're talking about all the people that are involved, from coding it, from making it, from drawing it, to testing it, to lightings, to to see if there's any bugs with it, to see if the hitboxes are correct. Like, there's got to be a there's so many people that do all this stuff for each item that comes through a game, and those people got to get paid, right? Like they get paid for their daily costs. So, and you have pipeline issues, right? Like the, like if you have only, let's say 25 people that QA Q, Q test, right? And those people do all of your skins, all of your sprays, new events, um, goofy game modes like April Fools, uh, you know, like the, the game modes, like the Orisa game mode where like the giant beasts, right? If they do all these things, right? And they have to do it multiple times. If you've ever done QA testing for a video game, you don't play it once and then you're 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 gone. You play it multiple, 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 multiple times to look for bugs. And then if you discover a bug, you have to report it. And then the bug gets reported, they fix it, and then you go back and do it again. It takes a lot of time, right? So a lot of this stuff is done way in advance. Way in advance. Um and actually, you know what I know? You want to know even further? You know what my theory is? You know why we have a Mercy Mythic right now? This coming season? You want to know why we have a Mercy Mythic? This is my theory. I will tell you my theory. Because in season eight, the Orisa Mythic was so bad that people were like, this is terrible. There's no options. And actually, Jared, one of the, the executive producer of the Overwatch team, one of the head devs came out and said, we underestimated how important that customizations were to people. We thought different colors would be really good, but we underestimated how much people really wanted more customizations. And so you know what probably happened? They probably had to shift around the order of the battle pass and the mythics. And by doing that, they could put the ones that had way more customizations to the front that were almost done, and ones that maybe they had in the backlog that were gonna be released that didn't have as much options, they cycled them out. And so now they're gonna go back to those old ones and add more options to them. So that's why you probably got double support back to back. So when you sit there Would and you go, that's just not true. For that, a week. You'd be surprised. It has double tank gameplay. Uh, probably not. It's the It probably it's probably what it is. It's probably what happened. And then there's another. There's other examples. Mauga, Mauga was supposed to be the first tank of Overwatch 2. They were going to release Malga instead of Ramatra, but you know what they did? They flipped them because the idea was that at some point soon the PvE was going to be coming out and you need to know who that person's going to be, right? But, but don't forget the second mission of the PvE, you hear Ramatra talking and everyone's like, who is that? Who's that supposed to be? And so they got all jumbled up and they were like, oh, fuck, like. You know, like the PVE was created way before that, so they didn't have time to switch it all around. Oh man, there's, there's, dude, if I went down like the conspiracy slash like stuff got changed around rabbit hole, we could be here for days. We could be here for weeks. Hello, hello, welcome back. We're about to jump into the game again. Sorry about the small delay there, of course. So you know what's probably happened? That's probably why you have the Mercy Mythic today. It's probably, they probably were working on that for a while, and it was probably going to be the next support mythic. But the next, whatever mythic they were going to come out with didn't have as many uh, customizations. Holy shit, this pause was incredible. Um, yeah. They're alive. Oh my, the split. Crisis averted. Unless, that would mean they move the entire uh, battle pass up. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's true. Why wouldn't that be true? When Overwatch 2 launched, Aaron Keller himself said that they were, when on season one, day one, that they were currently working on season eight stuff. You know that, right? When Overwatch season one launched, Aaron Keller himself talked about that they were working on season eight stuff back in October of 2022. Damn, that was anticlimactic. Sorry about that, guys, but the pause. <laughs> but there you go. There's the round. There's the map. One man army. Up they absolutely could. In this series. Avo looking up to the team name. Because, dude, they, they work fucking hard. I don't think you guys understand. The Overwatch team works really fucking hard. They probably realized, oh shit, we need to make a change. 
and full steam ahead made changes. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. You also got to remember, this isn't the same Overwatch team as years before, and they also are no longer under the Bobby Kotick umbrella. They probably can do a lot of stuff that they were never even thought about doing before. And it's stuff you probably never hear about. Don't forget Malgar was originally Sigma 2. Was he? I don't remember that part. He was doing bits. Didn't they literally come out and say they were making changes after everyone hated the Arisa Mythic? That's what I'm trying to point out to you. And as such it is once again time for fun snake fact of the month. While snakes have nostrils, they use their tongues to smell, picking them out and picking up tiny chemical particles in the air. Looks like three months, I appreciate it. Yeah. It's really not that crazy. I mean, it's crazy to think about like, wow, they actually care. They gave enough of a shit to make such drastic changes to their schedule and what they were trying to do because the community wanted it. But like, if you watch the way the Overwatch team has been working with the community recently, it seems to be their new focus. Their new focus is they want to work with the community. They want to make things better. They want to create a game together with the community. And they've even changed their wording and things like blogs, where at the end they now say what their internal break is at the end of, a, of, a, of their Monday morning meeting when they go over the Overwatch stuff is let's make a great game. They've even pulled us in on that. So if you sit there and say like, well, there's no way. Like, I'm, I'm pretty really don't. I actually don't think it's that far-fetched. Yeah, well, we're nice haircut, Yo, thanks, Mohammed. Appreciate it, dude. I don't know if you're still here. Sorry, I'd, I've been kind of ranting at Twitch chat. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, that was a pause? Yeah, that was a really long pause. Malga was originally scheduled to release when Sigma was, but the kit didn't fill in the character design. Ah, okay. I didn't know about that. Or at least I forgot about that. That'll do it. Just the, the huge K the kill uh, six point eight to one point four. Yeah, That's crazy, yeah, actually. Uh, Yo, wild uh, thing to the gifty. Some, uh, okay, okay, dude. At the very end of that game. Okay, dude. Honestly, the change to Overwatch made me keep playing, even though I don't agree with the balance. Oh, I've always said that. I've said that I think Overwatch is doing everything right right now except balance. Balance is the only thing that, that would kill this game. I've been saying that for months. I've been saying that for years. I think I started saying that about like. When, when, when was I saying that actually? At least like, at least September. At least September. Did you see Violet's We Are So Reimagined in the Hanaoka trailer? No, I didn't. I missed it. Cough, cough, Arisa always being meta. Cough, cough. Yeah. I am really sick of the flavor of the month super damage mitigation tank. It is getting real fucking annoying. Getting real sick of it. Uh, this is a sure uh, SM7B or something like that. Although, if I'm going to be honest with you, I wouldn't recommend this mic to you. I would recommend my old mic to you, my Audio Technica BP40. That was way better. This one gives me so many problems, and it's so annoying. Like, some days people say I'm too quiet, some people say I'm too loud, people say it clips, some people say it doesn't clip at all. Like, it's this mic has caused so many different hair, like, not haircut, I read chat, so many different issues between on who's watching um, versus not watching, and my old one never did that. I mean, shell in the 26 months, appreciate it. I think Chad's just gaslighting you. See, I think that too, but then it's like YouTube chat will say it randomly or someone else will say it. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah, but like the thing is like, I've done a lot of these changes. What the fuck is it? I've done so many changes. Like, it's not, I actually lowered it. Like that day you guys said I was too loud. I was actually at 42 and then I brought it back down um, a little bit. And it's just like, dude, it's so annoying because I have all the stuff. I have every setting set up that I could possibly do. Sounds a little too amped, but that's the thing, is it's either too low. Is on condensed or something? What do you mean? Because I'm on the, the boosted version. This is the boosted version. 
If I su switch it over, you want to it'll literally turn my mic off. It's cause this is what happens when you when you use the cloud lifter. This is with the cloud lifter. this could be a quick regroup here for one man army. And they weren't able to punish either of the stragglers. Trevor like I, I read the like the actual. Now they're coming in. There's a lot less pressure on them. They should be able to take like the manual for it. It was like if you use the, the, the cloud lifter, it's off. no longer considered it's dynamic. Because the thing in the back. Okay. I'll just I'll just I'll flip it over right now and then just yeah. see what happens. Ready? Just make sure I don't forget. 40. Okay, remind me of 40. Hello. 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 Makes a lot of sense. They're definitely playing at like a different tempo, and also, it feels like one man army. They want a death ball to uh to the mega health pack room. It feels like, but they're just really unable to do so. Just getting yeah. caught out, like you said, by Romani's knives. While well, they see Gracie fly past the Lucio, so now is their time to strike. There's no blade for the side of Sheer Cold, but the rampage is gonna land. A lot of cues. No sound barrier. This is a lot of cues. Sheer Cold throwing in three ultimates to win that fight. It doesn't work. Rampage, that sound barrier, and. Uh, I told you it doesn't work. I hadn't clicked over yet. <laughs> uh, one more time, okay? Before, the reason you can hear me and the reason why you you guys were like, it sounds higher, it sounds lower, it sounds the same, is because it was the fucking same. It just when I go. Okay, now can you hear me? Wait, now can okay. Now can you hear me? It's not really going to win you team fights for the most part. What? Okay, what I said. Never mind. Huh? Okay. Think, okay. So if they get a solid disengage here, that's really smart. So they potentially get another fight. Well, 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 how much time we got? Is Romani gonna be able tick. to get back? Two ticks done. No, they're oh, backing up. They're better. backing up. Yeah. Yeah. Just taking high ground. They know their comp as well. It's because it takes a second. Fight, it takes a second for it to away, so kick over. It makes a lot of sense. I'm just backing up. They forfeit. And then it just on. doesn't work because uh, the cloud lifter in the back of the mic changes it from a dynamic to a condenser mic it takes a second to flip over you shouldn't need a cloud lifter because you have a built-in boost that's what it is though the, the built-in boost is what i'm using that's a really bad fight as well because at least if you lost the fight with the blade, because you would hope okay. that they'd use the sound barrier but Strebo, I turn off hands of steel holds on to that sound barrier recognize that the genji was just too okay. low to be able to commit you'll to probably notice instantly that i'm quieter they right ground, they still have the sound barrier they have another window all the ultimates you, for one man you can notice i'm probably a lot quieter now right with the overclock now if i go over to this killer. give it a sec just to be sure oh, no, i'll give it a sec Stable. I think I hit Probably by the knife, get... got pulled into the Junker Queen. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's like a really weird position to like wall ride. All right, a lot of cues though available for one man army. The high ground is just really the uh, point where Sheer Cold want to bunker down. Killer, okay, got the Suzu. Okay. They really want to bunker down. So now, now, now you should be able to hear me again, right? Army. Even though I'm on the same There's setting, no but I'm probably super quiet, right? Yeah. Like no you can way. barely hear me. Army know it. They're, they're pushing the high ground right now. Right? Good knife again. Skitzer is still pushing the payload though. Yeah, they have to send Myers to try to If I pump the game, the it's gonna sound terrible. Yeah, and you look how many resources they have to give towards Muse to just help they keep them in the fight. The, okay. the worst thing for a one-man army is that the, the ultimate advantage that they have is being okay. essentially lost. They're gonna go in with the rush against the high noon. No they're gonna way. find Avo. They got Avo. Yeah, I told, uh, see, you guys, you guys don't believe me half the time, so Rebecca. You don't believe me. I'm going back. As Romani is having to rejoin the rest of his team on that payload, because you are right, Scott. Slowly but surely moving. Pulse bomb hits the payload. Killer dodges out the way. It's still got the slide and the overclock. One man army appear from the sewers and gets sent okay. straight back. Now we're back to normal, right? Killer with a fantastic I have, shot there on the I have gone through all of it. I have tried it all. Scores it. Takes down Ollie with a minute and 30 seconds to go, Scott. One man army looking very worse for wear. Yeah, they use yeah. everything and the kitchen sink in that fight. <laughs> I've tried it all, chat. Is just how it behaves. It's just how it behaves. I have that on, Grandma. just fall back and then slowly clean everyone up one by one. So with one minute remaining, it's unlikely that one man army is going to get another old cycle. Yeah, like it's on right, like right now. Like it's already there. 
but so, this could be difficult. Yeah. It could be really tough, yeah. All right, pushing up high ground. Third oh, time's a charm. Romani, super low. Shout already used. Suzu already used. They have to get off high ground. Yes. That's exactly where one-man army wanted to be. Their initial plan coming to Taking chat recommendations for tech support that, requires levels of patience only if you possess. Thanks for five, dude. I appreciate it. Dude, they, I, it happens at least like once a week. And it's like, guys, you don't understand. Like, it just, it's just the way it is. Like, I'm not, I'm not a amazing, like, super tech guru genius that knows everything. I'm really not. But I feel like I've done everything I can at this point. Unless I sit down with someone who's, like, legitimately an expert. Uh, it's probably going to be it. Doing a great job Bad of time. juggling the point, but just too much damage. Avo hitting too many shots, and now that's gonna. Faria is an expert. I was actually okay. I was in Faria's stream yesterday. Faria's stream yesterday was like being in girl talk. Like you know, like you know, you go for like coffee and you have girl talk. I have never felt more included in girl talk in my whole life. Just need the rampage, but then they're gonna have a sound barrier for you as well. So Plus, the volume feels a bit oh, off. I'm literally the back on the, the default. Not the rampage, sorry. There's the rush, even. This is my normal setting, so that's wide, not possible. Yeah, I got I got made an honorary girly, so I'm not uh, not one to brag, but. They a joking tag at the end. Oh, I must have missed it. My bad. That's not good. One man army. I was actually gonna DM you about it. I was thinking about it because I normally don't know any of that kind of stuff. Because like anytime there's any like weirdos in the community, uh, crap always handles it. Uh, I actually didn't even realize till earlier that my Discord apparently has like fifty thousand people in it. Now it's a ghost town. Not actually, but. Especially with the window, the damage is gonna come out. Like just drop it in this situation. No, I mean the window. The high noon, it might be good for some kills. Avio needs to find something because Ollie's already dead. Nothing, everybody was hiding, everybody was uh, just escorted themselves behind some cover before well, they just took him out. That was a uh, hey, they're gonna full cap the though, and high noon there, but or not full cap. I mean, help Chickhold stay alive and not get insta deleted. Two thanks, Rebecca. Then some 2.88 meters for one man army, a little bit of a struggle mm. there. Uh, throughout all of those points, Sheikholz. Yeah, my my barber I went to yesterday was just like, I'm gonna try yeah, something new on you, like and I was like, okay, that's fine. Fight, right? like they, they so I just let him do whatever he wanted. Use the sound barrier to help us close <sighs> the distance on a one-man army, and once they get on top of them, you can see Avo's like just can't find a target to even shoot at with a high noon window directly in their face. So Sheikholz playing. For a second, I thought we were getting into sharing, discussing Farius tier so lists. Oh no, sorry. no. It's Although really those are cursed to too. These Arisa, uh, sorry, these uh, Junker Queen Lucio Kiriko compositions. I always have the same one. Uh, I've been going to this place for like a about a year. These, uh, through these about a year. That's but I kind of just walk in, so I, like I just go to anyone at the same place. But uh, I won't lie. Half a year I think this guy fun. claimed me. Let's yeah. keep it going. I think he's the owner. Thanks for six months. I appreciate it. Um, I'm pretty sure he's the owner. Uh, because I went in right before Christmas. And I did like my normal thing, like haircut, little, little small trimmy trim. And uh, I think if they try and go, I had like, one guy do my haircut, and then he did like the the beard trim. And so I tipped them both fifty bucks because like, it was right before Christmas, you know. Um, they were super super appreciative. And so I walked in yesterday, and. First off, I almost I thought I was gonna flip my truck uh, because I like parked across the street in like the woods because their parking lot's very very small and so my truck was sitting like this. But then I realized that it's a fucking TRX and that thing is not flipping. That, that thing is built for that. So I left it parked on the side of the road like this. It was great. Uh, and then when I climbed back in, I had to like open the door out and like push myself into it. Uh, but yeah, um, I walked in and the entire place was packed and he just like walked by the entire room full of people and was like, are you, are you here for someone? And I was like, 
Shiggle just to walk in, he goes, come with me, okay, come with me, my friend. And he just pulled me, and I was like, so oh, this room, waiting room is packed. And I was like, oh, I waited like 30 seconds. <laughs> and I was like, ah, shit. I, I think this guy remembered me and just, pulled, just was like, no, nah, you come with me now. And then he gave me his card at the end, and he was like, he's like, I know you like walking, but you can do it online. And I was like, okay. Sounds good. So, I think I got claimed. I mean, Soaks is definitely going to go down. Uh, is the back swing. There we go. Two ticks, though, uh, for Sheer Cole. They just need another one of those picks. They just need to kill Ollie again. But Ollie switches to the Kiriko. If that knife lands, like, you, you're good. Yeah, and, and it's also the Suzu versus. You tipped him 50 bucks again? No, I, I tipped him 30. Being you, yeah, being able to cleanse the ultimate from Romani. I, I just think it's such a big issue that Muse. That's kind of all I had in mind. Why well, I also do cash. That's just leaving skits are so and uh, that's all I had. But I mean, like thirty bucks so on like a fifty-five dollar oh, haircut is still pretty good, though. No. There's the terror surge. Suzu's good. Stops that slow effect for a brief moment. So they're able to get out of there. There's the two rushes onto the point now. They're going to need to touch yeah, think... 2% and building. Romani with the rampage. You know. Does hit two, but here comes I the mean, the, fifth, the 50 the before is because it was be good for the holidays. You know what I mean? And I had a really good month like for streaming stuff like that. And I know how important tips are for, you know, that industry. My mom's a hairstylist. So. What a bloodbath on that part of that last fight. No, 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 no. Thank you for the tiny yeah, gifties. Like I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. It just well, it was like a, uh, haircut, beard, beard like trim, and like they do like the, the whole fucking works. Like it takes it like. But now this is the open. It, it's this like a whole you process, play, you, have you know. You just oh, I can imagine how much yours costs. I can imagine. Hi, general thing with the seven months as well. Appreciate it. Thank you, Nelly. Chad, you get something. She's thank you. Avio's already down. Nice headshot as the Amalek just walks into the railgun. There we go. That's what you want to see. And like you said, Scott, you just pull both DPS ults. Like, that's it, really. No resources. And one-man army did recognize that. Tried to just int in onto the backline. Couldn't find the success. Yeah, inting in this seems a little weird in that situation because they have the overclock and blade. You're like, what? there's no way you're going to win if they pull both those ultimates. But sort of the... The haircut, the haircut alone, Chad, is like 30. Catch the opposition off it's the haircut the plus the... The amount of hits a huge javelin, beard cut slash the treatment the bat, like they that fight can flip cut the whole thing you would never expect they so sometimes doing something unexpected razor you know what i mean like you do like the straight edge racer when you line it all up so it takes time it's not like uh they just go buzz 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 okay see you later you know hot towel yeah hot towel sound barrier and that rush available for sheer cold about 10 percent the worst, the worst is when they put the the so fucking really warm right. shaving cream and like the first, it's warm and then get, by the time they get to the end, it's cold and you're like, oh, oh, kill it down, Jesus. It's really not that expensive. It's like a local place. It's like a mom. It's like a like I would say mom and pop shop, but I think it's literally just the one guy owns it. They gotta know uh, the shit cold over rush here. Yeah. That far up. Yeah, they end up backing up a little bit here. They wanna ideally force the rush early so they got enough space to actually disengage from yeah. the ultimate as well. But it doesn't like uh shit cold are gonna give it to Ooh, a, that was a good boot down. Barrier. Avio, whoop, flying Cassidy. Can't find any heads though. Those skulls not quite lit up just yet. Both sand barriers used. Same with that pulse bomb and the high noon. Ooh. Oh, thematic super low. Still has the terror surge if he wants to use it. Being kept alive, but not for long. A DPS passive really kicking into effect there as Shikol just bundle on top of it. One is from me. I'm a girl. It's twenty five dollars. Which some people confused by it, but they got good team. techniques. So. And this is gonna be really big I mean, I because they're still in a good position to be able to punish this. Now I never understood Suzu. girl haircuts. So they're, they're always they like my really mom has told me. My own, my own's a hairstyle is like a really nice place, and like foil blow dry color like you're talking like hundreds and hundreds of dollars to the high ground not to the person behind it easy kill for thematic one minute and 30 seconds of end scott we are swiftly running out of time and you're seeing the issue that I talked about coming into this offensive round. It's really hard for Sheer Cold to be able to just close the distance without taking so much damage. Girl, thanks for basically boy haircut in the woman. The sound to just oh yeah, I never even thought about that. Romani's just gonna fall over. Now once again, we're lying here on the overclock and the blade. We're gonna see a pull. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Oh man, that was so close. The amount almost goes down to a railgun there. Hits the fortified to stay alive. Oh hello, Skitza. Not you to be flung. Super low. Has her backing off. Has to reposition down to the yeah, I don't. The and the high if he wants I do to not envy you there. Ends up dodging out of the way, but already soaks is dead. 
It's a 4v5. Where does she go from here? Fix my own hair, and it looks like I do, but I like it. Hey, hey, well, whatever you're comfy with, just do it. I've always been the same way. Like I was a I was a super cuts great clips guy for many many years. I didn't even see and that the way. only reason I, I didn't go okay you want to know the, you want to know the reason I changed I'll tell you the reason why I converted we were just keeping an eye on killing just uh yo well, it's, so it's, it's much thanks for the uh, membership yeah, appreciate it buddy really thanks so much dude um nerf that's mercy right. mercy's they're, terrible they're right now, now. <laughs> uh I went to a sport clubs is sport clubs is fire okay you know you're you're on some good shit I used to go to a sports clubs uh when I was in college there was one next to my school it was fucking the best but I I'm not driving all the way over island for fucking haircut um but i went to like a great clips or whatever the fuck it was like you know great clips what are the great clips super cut it wasn't super cuts it was like one of the value places right and i went and there's not a person in the store it was completely empty not a person sitting in a chair nothing and they were like oh you have to like sign up at the thing and i'm like okay whatever and it was an hour and 20 minute long wait time and i was sitting there and i was like Dude, there's nobody here. How is this an hour and 20 minute long wait time? So I signed up. I went outside. I sat in my truck for like five minutes. My person walked in the store. And I just said, nah, not dealing with that. And so I looked at my phone to what was open near me. And that was how I, I went. I saw my bar. This barbershop was open. I was like, all right, fuck it. I'll go there. I went and it was a good haircut. And it was like comparable price. So I just started going there more often. But yeah, I was the same way for a long time. Three meters to go. There's the shout. A lot of healthy members from Sheer Cold as they finally make it work. Oh my, that was by the skin of their teeth. They're able to hold on to that one, just slowly whittling away the one man army. You can see, Romani, uh, if the fight breaks down, the Junker Queen is incredibly strong. Can I don't need aftermarket things. No, I haven't. Picks within that I live in that Massachusetts. Sequence, but it's super, super serious here. You can't do shit for aftermarket. I think the only thing I can do is maybe like. Lights, if I wanted to, but you can't even use them anywhere. Like, if you use them anywhere that's not like in the woods, you're gonna get a huge, huge fine. Like, you wanted to go up on the high ground, they used the lift, but they took it without it. So, it's actually stay down here anyway, guys. I mean, I do tell Chad every once in a while that my truck is an absolute dude magnet, and it's so fucking funny. You know, like people like talk about cars, are like, oh yeah, this, this is like a Lamborghini, yeah, that's a chick magnet. Yeah, mine's a dude magnet. I swear to fuck. Like, at, every dude I ever see just stares at me. Stares. Like, uncomfortably long. And the worst is when. Okay. Alright. I don't know how to describe this to you, but sometimes people just, like, want to keep pace with you, you know, and just, like, sit next to you the entire time. And I had a guy yesterday. Okay. When I went to go get my hair cut. So I won't lie, sudden, remaining, I wasn't going very fast, but it was like name. slightly like man, not wet though. out like it had rained before So everyone's driving like 10 miles an hour under the speed limit So like I'm not cutting people off, but I will change lanes to go around people and for like four miles straight, I had this like GMC pickup that just mimicked anything I did. Like if I change lane, change with me. Change lane, change with me. And, and I'm not joking, this guy hardcore cut off some dude to stay right, right behind me the entire time. And then right when I was going to take my right to leave, he sped up next to me. And I happened to look over and the guy was just like looking at me and he like gave me a little wave. And I was like, oh, this is so cringe. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay, dude. Like, I'm, I'm out of here. Wait, they didn't touch. If Iman was here, he'd be laughing so hard. That was so close. Hold on to that point. Muse just got the blade. That's creepy. It's not really that creepy. I mean, it's just more of like, uh, I don't know. You'll see. Did he recognize you? No. That, that, I hope to God, no. Um, Super was right. Honest Tank play is dead. Rissa every match and every rank. I haven't heard what Super said about Tank, but yeah, I mean, that's not wrong. Uh, but yeah, if you know what I'm talking about, you'll, you'll understand. Even yesterday, I was getting gas. The the, the, the guy next to me, I, ca I just caught, just keep sneaking, like, like peeks, you know? The guy next to me, like, on the other side, is getting gas, and then I look over to my right, and he's, like, peeking around the corner, like, taking a look. 
and then like he looks at me and then like immediately goes back and then like a minute later i look back again and he's like peeking around the corner <laughs> i was like dude stop hey, if you want to take a look you can like you don't have to like pretend you're not looking dude fuck man Romani at the very end, that was kind of the focus of the Orissa, and then just like they weren't it's okay, just calling one person in front of the decks. It was like Romani, you like gotta kill the Ar I don't gotta mind. Gotta kill the uh, queen, because like you said, as the fight just end up breaking down, the queen just gets so much more value. If you can get a lot Tracks of those shots out, and they hit so weird. Just a lot of hits with the jacket. Yeah, I hate to say it, too, Grandma, you ain't beating me. I'm just saying. Um, so good. You ain't beating bunch. me. But it is one man army taking that. They're beating me. We go to there's, there's not many cars that are beating it. In the series, potentially, if one man army can close this out in the same fashion they did against uh, against this team, against Sheer Cold in the Swiss stage, this could be history repeating itself. <laughs> oh, man. And that's one of the difficulties of playing the Junker Queen is that you're kind of beholden to hitting Jagged Blades because Jagged Blades are really your engagement tool of like how you isolate targets. And oh, I'm, I'm, I haven't even put it in sport mode ever. So it's, that's kind of why I mean, it has like track mode, sport mode, queen, but you can see, like, off road. Like, there's like a couple other modes, but right I like never, right you know. You can, Force a scrappy fight do you see any cyber trucks? No, I live in New England, dudes. Dude. Away from being EVs here just are not it's very good. If it's cold, you're fucked. With being on this Genji, it just feels like they're they're so dependent on their ultimates to be able to win fights. How does Esperanza already like, this couple? Even like sports cars, like supercars or anything like that, you never see supercars here. Like I think I saw a Corvette yesterday, that was it. And that was like the first time I've seen a Corvette in a long time. I think the last time I saw a Lamborghini was like last summer. Can you explain to me why my dad hates electric cars? Uh, sure. Because electric cars are... As I called it earlier, okay. Maybe two months. Appreciate it. But How basically, electric cars got electric cars got hard forced by the government, and I don't. And I, I honestly, kind of rightfully yes, so. I think a lot of people don't trust it because anytime you inject a, a those, large amount of money just, into something so and trying to so hardcore force it through, uh, people will cut corners and try to do whatever they can to make it work because they're getting a kickback to to doing that. Um, so like one, we don't really have the infrastructure for it yet. How, how is this uh, so like, yeah, overall sling like mod check. Yeah, honestly, good example. Um, and it's like they're trying to force it, and I honestly do think it's the the way. Like you have to, you have like at some point we do have to get off gas because like we're gonna all die. Uh, but I think Toyota got it right. Yeah, Toyota got it right and said hybrids is the way. And then all the other car companies were like, oh, like how dare you say that? We need to go EV. And, and Toyota was like, nah, like we need hybrids. Like we don't, we can't just. Full, like hard force it um and that's why you're seeing a lot of electric ev companies are starting to fail now because they're not getting the same government kickbacks and what happens when you when that when you do that is you can actually look at china china is a great example where china also hard forced evs and a lot of companies got created to make evs and then they just pumped out tons of cars and now they just sit in a parking lot dead because they can't sell them because they're not like safe they're not legal so they just made millions and billions of dollars off of government kickbacks uh, but the cars are sitting there rotting because they're not up to code you can't drive those like they're they're a hazard they're a danger so even beyond that even if a car is not a danger and they can get it out on the road it, looks like a high sense player. it doesn't mean that they're going to actually be the advertised mileage. So let's say it advertises for 300 miles, but that's 300 miles in perfect conditions where it's like warm, no bumps, no stop and go, like trap, like whatever it might be, right? But in reality, if it's cold, if, you know, they drive a little bit faster or they accelerate faster and then, you know, coast, right? Like they're not slowly accelerating up and not being absolutely perfect. They're not going to get that mileage. So then you go beyond that. And it's like, well, you're not getting the mileage that you thought you were going to be getting so you need to charge more and it's like well where do you charge well if you live somewhere that doesn't have superchargers or have a lot of infrastructure for it you're going to be not in a great spot and then even beyond that what happens if you live in an apartment what happens if you live somewhere that doesn't have a charger right it's like well now you're going to drive somewhere and sit there for 30 minutes to charge your car you don't want to do that so you know, like I'll give you an example. My my apartment complex doesn't have chargers. There's some guy that has a Tesla in my, you know, parking lot. Thing doesn't move. I think I've seen it move like once every three weeks. Guy must be like me and like works from home and doesn't really do much. Um, but it's not like the guy drives it. You know. 
God, the amount of times you get that is uh, no joke. No joke. <laughs> so personally, I think I like EVs. I think they're cool, but I don't think I'd own one for a very long time. Not gonna lie, the car not legal thing is probably made up propaganda. By who? You think it's American propaganda for the Chinese cars aren't worth it? I mean, like you can. S there's photos. There's there's evidence that they exist. Like the car parks were just sitting there with tens of thousands of cars, and they're all EVs. But it was actually just Romani running. Like. Dry with the with the also on top of that, it doesn't even actually save that much pollution. Maybe a miscommunication, but there's way bigger things on pollution, like cargo ships. Do you know how much cargo ships pollute the fucking environment? Cargo ship, like one cargo ship making one trip, would produce more carbon into the atmosphere than everybody in this entire chat driving every day. Hell, all of us heating our homes, driving our cars, going on flights for our entire lives. One trans-Pacific or transatlantic trip would create more than our this entire chat of people combined for their entire life. Let that sink in. But I mean the Genji versus this, it's not gonna work out too well, but thankfully Romani's there for so. backup. Shigol uh Shigol yeah. controlling the bot again. Yeah, so they, they are going to end up closing out that fight. It felt like Avo was about to get a bunch of different picks, but wasn't able to find all of them. We're fucked. So now, <laughs> we're fucked. So like, yeah, we're so fucked. And that's a great late pick on the Skitzer. <laughs> we're we're actually fucking screwed. <laughs> But uh, it's depressing to think about that every day, you know? So I just think about losing games on tank. And honestly, that might be just as depressing, but... <laughs> Anyways. Okay, they do end up securing the lead there, but they get basically nothing off of that in terms of meters. There was no, like, checkpoint pressure there at all. Wow, Romani overstepping. Yeah, that's just a big overstep by Romani. I think uh, with the rush down, Romani's like, oh, I want to get some value out of this ultimate. Just turns the corner and just wasn't expecting the, sh the amount of damage. Lesson of the day. We're fucked. Do. Yeah, we're fucked. And now Oli has the rush. But I mean, there's nothing we can do about it. We're just along for the ride. Get into because as soon as he steps up, he's going to be walking <sighs> to the rush. So it's going to have to be killed with the overclock to open this one up. Pulse bomb does a lot of damage, but no picks. Oh, good spear onto Killer. Stop him getting from the perfect angle with this overclock. No one's in his sights right now until he hits that slide. That was so close to just annihilating the tracer. Check no value. And the we can re queue again. We're, they get it. That's they what we can do. Like that. True. They just be like, True. Okay. Just queue up again. Shit, Cole, just no Everything will be fine. They just let that one go away for free, Isn't that so. SK's motto? Yeah. Just and keep queuing. Free, Everything will be fine. It cost them the oh, right, yeah. So it's even more disadvantageous than you'd think. So it's just going to be like, well, we need to get them to the high ground. But a one man army recognizes it splits up. Oh, wow. Even more aggressive. Good damage. They're gonna try and salvage this one though with a rush. But yeah, only in this small room. Not exactly where you want to be against the JQ comp. But still, checkpoint. You are taking those to the bank. Sheikold not using a, an ultimate in this fight, is at least. It's no, I respect him for sticking Arisa. with the queen comps, but man, running it's queen into Arissa is tough. Yeah, it looks like Skitzik is probably gonna die. Skits is, I think, probably just trying to waste as much time as they can. If they are able to live through this as well. Am I going to do another R6 spin? Really um, I don't know. I, I wish I could have been a little bit more involved on that so one. I'm a little bit sad because I wanted yeah. it to be more like gameplay. I wanted it to be like... But I, I, but at the same time, we've had so much stuff happening the last week. Um, I already talked to Retro about it. Maybe someday, but... I'm a bit of a perfectionist with it variety at the moment, so... I'm probably going to try something else first because there's other things I want to make. Um, right, Romani, but honestly, I have found more oh, enjoyment out of trying to make quality that. variety oh, content no, than just the endless Overwatch oh, farm. There's no, there's no not chance. saying I'm not going to stop playing Overwatch, so not I'm saying I'm like, because like, I enjoy it in, in swings. Uh, like Season 10 will probably be really fun for a couple weeks. But then after that first couple weeks, it's like, oof, you know, I'd just rather chew on some glass. 
be at. I think they, they didn't want to go into those stairs, but Schizo wanted to just give it a peek a -roo, loses his head for it. Now the rush comes in over the point. I think if you're one man army, you just let you this just one go. Lose this one, yeah. yeah, you just get out of there. It's Quickly, exactly it's time it's to quit when? Yeah. I actually think the, the Overwatch team is is legitimately yeah, so making a recovery, and it's going to take you know, a long time. Use the fight, but that's a rush off the other side. And it, it, this feels like but situations that being said, though, we're a seasonal model game now, so at some point you know, every season, the game's going to get stale and boring because the next season's on the way. Wins. So, if you can just so what you do in those couple the weeks is end. up to you. But now it's sheer cold, the team with the, it could be the last two weeks, it could be last week, it could be last month, you never know. Like Romani can shoot down and still do a fair amount of damage, lob spears, etc. But Romani needs to be but like boots on How do you feel about the state of R6? Uh, I do not think I'm qualified to yeah, speak yeah, on no, such no, endeavors. Theomatic, you now in a little bit of trouble. Gracie did land. Look at the amount of healing game pumped into Romani right now. I wouldn't be too surprised, Scott, just a, a small aside. Oh, here. we did some Helldivers. I played Helldivers one day with, um, uh, on yeah. Seagull. No, sorry, not Seagull. Shade, Ruben, and Somnus. As soon as he takes his eyes off Romani, it feels like he dies. Just keep an eye on him for the Suzus as well. That will yep. be checked. You literally have to babysit your tank. You don't babysit your tank, you're just dead. All of a sudden, one man army with that one pick on Arvo is in a bad I think someone knocked on my window. I'm on the third floor. I think that might have been a bird. A bird might have just ran into your window. Either that or they want to give you an update and ask you about uh, your extended warranty on your car. Okie dokie, sheer cold. That's a blade that I didn't think I'd see in this series, to be honest with you. Very, very hard to get value with it normally, but they're making it work and they take the lead. 69 meters and then some. Oh man, I mean, I'll smite. So nice I don't think I've literally ever even played yeah, smite. Strebel just wasn't able to get the sound barrier down before he fell over. So great target acquisition by Muse. And Sheer Cold, they have the rush as well. This is a hard fight for one man army to fight into. So now they're just going to be poking him. Hey, Sheer Cold making a bit of a comeback though. They wait, they're losing meter Hasn't Romani had ult for like a long time? Oh, that was close to an AJ. One body shots. Close to an AJ. Yeah, that's I like that. That's a good good term. Oh yeah, Romani's really really good. Like the Stronger Queen player. Just piling on the pressure. There is her in the small room. There's the terror surge. Treble does end up going down to Romani, but a kill on to kill up. He's gonna leave Theomatic alone and isolated on an island. Sheer cold running away with this one in the final few moments. 50 seconds to go. One man army needs to see a change up here. Needs to see a turnaround. Yeah, and it feels like this is gonna you be. You guys are getting ads. Dude, I don't think I have ads so turned up. I think I'm still. I think my ads are still on variety ads right now. You guys have been eating good today. Oh, what a knife again. Romani just landing knife after knife. Oh, that's going to change in two days. Oh, yeah, for sure. If there's drops at the beginning of the new season, yeah. Good luck to you. I'm getting constant ads. Are you trying to skip them by leaving and coming back? Because, like, Twitch isn't stupid. Corvusing the seven months. I'm pretty sure my ads are turned down right now. But Romani's going to make it out. So now they can take the fight on their own terms with the Kitsune Rush into Kitsune Rush. But look, they're happy to play on the high ground. Yeah, you want to keep pushing the bot, you're going to have to walk into a bad I'll literally check after this. I still taking infinite damage. There's a spear, there's a Suzu to save. Okay, they use rush. Fine by us, we back off. Just don't get ads, smile. Yeah, and that's it. Now um, they can just come back with their own rush. They have a sound barrier as well. You're just getting closer yeah, to another no. beat. This is very difficult for one-man army. You want to add it on? on? I just left Twitch. Well, I mean, I have two streams going for a reason, just so you don't want to get completely screwed. Um, you know, like you're missing something that you don't want to miss, just switch over to the YouTube stream, you know? But at the same time, though, uh, ads are the majority of my revenue at this point on Twitch. Most of the time. Yeah, it really feels like you saw things. Yeah, dude, what do you mean you got you guys tumble get mads every fucking minute? You're, no, you're not. You know what? I'm gonna I, I'm gonna turn it back up to normal normal overwatch amount. How about that? We weren't even on normal overwatch ads, you're on variety ads. You're getting fucking nothing. Nothing. There is nothing that the rest of his team can do to help him, so we have a match on our hands. Sheer cold. Now we move You're getting one ad break every thirty minutes. You're getting one ad break every 30 minutes. Queen game type as well. Let's have a little listen in. That is nothing. The gang there at the very end of that map. 
Ruthless Sag. Hey man, listen. The day will come someday. Someday I'm gonna fall off. You know, whether I don't want to do Overwatch anymore, whether it's I transition to something else and then no longer enjoy it. The day is gonna happen someday. Gotta, gotta, gotta make the bread now. You know, you never know. Nice. You never know. Huge. I love Huge. Good stuff. Shit, oh, they're still in it. Reverse sweep starts now, Scott. I mean, you're still rusty. All right, I'm gonna run bathroom really, really quick. Chat, we're right back. Here, have an ad in the meantime. It's really cool to see. We haven't seen Junk Queen in a little while. I still get flashbacks of the JQ meta last year. Oh my word. Good old Jotes. Yeah, yeah, you know Miss Jotes? Yeah. Was that in 2022? That was in 2023. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it, it's all a blur at this point. Yeah, it is, yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't really miss Joe's at all, but seeing it like this, yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan. Romani, yeah, doing Romani things, playing the JQ to an extremely high level. Oh, that was a nice, nice dash there, just on the very edge. Perfect Genji play. Um, it, from it's one of those things, you know, it's like you so you heard Romani talk about at the end there, like huge. It's like, Joe Queen ults are very difficult to land in this setup. Yeah. There's a lot of targets that you can't really hit. There's sound barriers, there's Suzu's. People can cleanse it all themselves a little bit as well, you know, with recalls and everything else. So it can be very difficult to find the value from the ultimates. If anything, if you can just force out oh. ultimates with the Junk Queen ult, that's, that's almost a win okay. at this point. But you can see, just as I said, when the fights break down, that's when the Queen's at our best. I'm leaving yeah, chat sure. enjoy your ads with occasional rush breaks. Oh no, else, you're so missing out on the highlights and recap when I went to the bathroom. Talent. That's tough, man. Out of resources. The rampage is almost <sighs> Anyways. a guaranteed team wipe. If you start off the fight with a rampage, they can suzu, they can beat, they can respond to it. But because Romani ended up using it fairly late into that fight, like, they haven't got anything. Like, he got the Kiri, and the Kiri didn't suzu, because they already used the suzu, and it's just the easiest setup in history, right? And uh, that's where Sheer Cold are at their best, and where Romani's at his best as well. I think the thing that you can take away from this stat screen is look at the low healing from um, a one-man army. And that the is, high healing from sheer cold. <laughs> that's it. Well, it, it's one of those things where a one-man army, the reason they're dying is not just because of the damage that sheer cold's pulling out. It's just picks, right? Sheer cold is dependent on pick rather than just the overwhelming amount of damage. So if you're a one-man army, the one thing you need to take away from that map is we need to play safe. We need to play together. Also, us, my mom's back finally, chat, so clothes are saved. Team fighting and working together using uh, if we just finally, to thank God. One one, that's what they want. We'll see if they can make it happen here in Surabasa. Was the pick of uh, Shekold as well. And Shibali Monastery will round out mm -hmm. the series if we get there. I thought this was a politics slash client, so, uh, climate science stream with an Overwatch thing happening in the background. No, we never really talked about that. Someone was, yeah, someone brought up really EVs and that's how we went down that road. Normally, we stay very far away from it. Just, was, with how many chokes there are, I think it'd be hard to play Queen. But hey, where there's a will, there's a way. Romani will find a way. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. But first, they have to get through Suravasa. And I I'm think a bird. this is a map that could go either way. As I said, it really but comes down to isn't how, your name how cat? it feels like the tempo so wouldn't you be a is shifting cat? For the, in or terms no. of like confidence in their compositions. Will we see any adjustments for a one-man army? Or are we going to just see uh, the same thing time and time again, just playing better? Let's have a look. No substitutions either. As we load into Suravasa in just a moment. Yeah, more Orissa, I would uh, imagine. Mm -hmm. And we saw a little bit at the back. Nice try. We know birds aren't real. Especially on this map, I'm thinking Kiri. Plus, you have two things to deal with. Like, Suzu is way better at dealing with the Rampage than the, the Lamp is. So, yeah. Expect one man army to run that. That would feel gross. Uh, there yeah, there, they are. there is. There's your boy. Legend. Give us one. Give That's us the boys. Oh, oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Hell yeah. Double Wait, what? And, and my job here is done. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Perfect. That's so good. All right, well, man, army, what you got for us? We know what shit called to run in. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, yeah. I like, um, I do like how we, uh, it reminds me of, like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah in, in some ways, right? Which yeah. has him on the ball. And, like, there's always these teams that have these really Birds are government like, drones, and the sky doesn't picks, exist. Like, the earth is flat. Yes, and flats owns like Microsoft. Kind of deal. You know what's it's actually really funny? I got this random well. TikTok on my feed. Uh, of this guy trying to claim or like prove that Earth is flat because by looking at a flight from like New York to I forget, but it's somewhere in like 
like you can blame, the you can't blame it Middle the, East uh, slash like Asia the, region. Uh, I think it was like uh, yes. like a Kazakhstan tri so type of area. Moment, uh, side, he was talking about how sidelines, you know the Earth is flat because like why would you go up to Iceland to fly there? And how that makes no sense or whatever the fuck. But basically, like he tried to put like a line, like a piece of string around the globe like you had a little globe and like showed it and it was like see like you know why would you go up if you, this is the straight line and then someone stitches it with them showing a globe from above and shows how it's shorter it was like dude you were so close like if you just put the string and measured it if you just measured the string from the angle you showed versus the angle from above you would know that it's shorter like you were you were so close <laughs> like, <laughs> it was it was so funny it was such a good one it's dps player there we go yeah a quick reset what's very good to, uh, this comp is also very good at doing stuff like this as well chasing people down you mini know, minute man uh, i don't remember the so name if i'm completely honest more time yeah that's what 60 percent and counting probably one more fight yeah, for one-man army, but because that fight all mercy means are faster. That's certainly a YouTube comment if I've ever done read one. What in the actual fuck? Get in the face of one -man um, army. they might be able to catch them off guard before they can yeah, even get to the Some of you guys over there you need some 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 help. Look, a little look uh, anyways, how they want to challenge this one. Uh, anyways, what was I saying before? I forget. Coming for that crown, that JQ needs to go down first. And can we press it out with that rush like you were saying? Pretty easy point to rush off. Hey, Sheer Cold's actually uh, looking pretty good with the, the Queen comp. The the oh, that was close. Are they all just shooting the Orisa now? Have they just gotten sick of the Orisa and just start shooting her? Yeah, yeah they kind of are. Everyone's just like, yeah, just shoot the fucking Orisa. You were talking about EVs and ads. I wasn't talking about EVs. Oh, 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 EVs, like the cars. You you spelled it like po the Pokemon. I got real confused. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's fine. We're, we're past that now. Where are we going? Just waiting for these uh, crosses. If you can catch someone on the cross here, this is just like an awkward spot as well for this point to be in. It's the yeah. fuck the Arisa meta? Uh, like, what do you mean? Overwatch you know, uh, 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 2 is fuck like, the tank yeah, meta. That is literally how it goes. Door is like right there and you're like, oh god, oh, <laughs> okay, maybe not, okay, maybe not. <laughs> they can shoot us with impunity. We're good. All right, rush available. They got the rush advantage. What's your thoughts on Vaporeon? I think you need help. Here comes this overclock onto the high, from the high ground from Killer. My mind is mush, too much college work and too little time. It's okay, that won't change. No, I'm just kidding. Honestly, post life, post college life was so much better. Maybe because I just didn't do enough in college, like, I don't know, going out and doing stupid shit, but a lot of people always say, it's like, oh, dude, after college, like, you know, it's, you can't do anything fun, it gets really boring, and it's like, dude, honestly, it's way better. I think college is only fun if your parents are not broke and you're broke. Like, if you if you have money, like if you have disposable income, college is a blast. But if you have no disposable income, college is not fun. Brawl on the point right now. The 3v3 rush comes out from that locks for sheer cold. They can just play around this one. Should lead to the flip. I think if you're one man army, you just accept that this fight is over. College is still fun even without money. Yeah, Come back in with your own uh, I, maybe it depends on where you kind of go. Because uh, I guess some places probably is better than others, but I mean, on the whole, uh, like there's a difference between like friends having pizza money or beer money and having literally zero. Rampage voice line hit you. <laughs> like, Always. They didn't even uh, didn't even wait for the uh, anti heal to come through. Disposable income is such a weird wording. Why would you dispose of your income? So quickly with that ultimate. Well, I mean, you're spending it, right? So like, that is disposing it. Like, disposable means like, uh, you know, you can kind of lose it and be okay. So you spend it on stupid shit. Cascading effect of using an ultimate potentially mistimed can have a long-term effect. But that was a lot of ultimates for a one-man army. What? Did work in college? I mean, I worked in college too, but I did a few different things. And then, but I was also doing. Sports too. Like my freshman sophomore year was like football. Then beyond that, it was like siege, 
plowing, and then also my junior and senior year, I commuted. Like, I commuted from home my junior year, and then I got an apartment uh, my senior year, so... Plowing? Yeah, like snowplow. No, not fields. So I, I, live in, I live in New England. It's, I mean, like snow. I mean, I guess, I guess when we get, actually used to get snow here, because I think we had one snowstorm this entire winter, and it like, was small. Wow, they're going for the blade play? Holy shit. Oh! Holy shit, they just cooked. Yeah, Muse recognizing, hey, they're a little split up. They've used a lot of their cooldowns. He kind of beefed it a little bit at the very beginning, losing control of Abu, but it did a good job of restabilizing and taking down three eventually. Do you reckon there'll be a more varied meta next patch? Well, I mean, what would, how would I know that? Like, it would depend on, like, what the patch is, you know, and it would all depend on is Venture going to be really strong or really weak or is Venture even going to get played you know what I mean like if I made a complete guess it'd be hard to say unless it was like a Giga Rush meta I would assume still like Sojourn and Tracer would still be the best unless Tracer or Sojourn got nerfed you know yeah, and they used the rush there, thinking that they were in prime position, just dropped the rush and then instantly lost a couple of members. So they're not going to have that one getting back into this fight. Fortunately, Soax does still have the sound barrier, and it's Romani. Romani with this rampage... Bit Venture will be OP in pro play and pretty down. bad in ranked. Ah, I don't see that. Dude, Skitch is finding so many early picks on the Tracer. Can you explain so how DMCA works? I literally panic when friends play something in the background. I mean, are you streaming? Because if you're not streaming, then it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It, it matters in streaming because, like, uh, technically, you streaming and stuff like that, like, you're technically supposed to have a license for that music being on your stream because your stream is technically a business, right? Like, even if you're a sole proprietor of 1099, uh, like the way music works in like stadiums or stuff like that is like they pay rights to play that music like when you use Spotify you are paying Spotify for the right to stream music to yourself right and like yeah if you stream it to your friends at your house through a speaker like the, the government's not gonna come knocking but if you are using that music in a way of making money for your business like technically you're supposed to be paying a licensing fee for that now it can get into a gray area if you're talking about like a mom and pop shop playing music you know in the background of the store you know even then technically legally i'm pretty sure you'd still need a license uh so the thing that happens with streaming is you know if it's in a video or something like that you're making money technically off of some content or something that's made and their music's included, they should be getting a cut. So DMCA is basically copyright law. But it's also very archaic. Um, and it isn't very updated. So, yeah. I know some streamers constantly play music, but they're very cautious. Well, that's because the reason they do that is uh, they have their audio tracks um, split so that it doesn't include in the VOD. Uh, so live, you'll hear music, but if you go into the VOD, uh, you won't hear anything. It won't be there. So, Twitch... Um, Twitch is pretty lucky in that aspect where people have not really started doing live DMCAs yet, but it can happen. XQC is a great example. XQC was watching the Olympics a couple years ago uh, and got live DMCA by the Olympics for watching the Olympics. Um, so it just, like, I, basically it's if the copyright holder files a claim against you and you can it depends on so many things right like if they never file a claim against you technically no harm no foul uh, but if they do file a claim against you twitch is going to take that shit down immediately because like that's they don't play a part they're like nope that's you're claiming to be the copyright holder we're taking that shit down we don't want anything to do with it and then technically if you really want to go deep with it uh it can go all the way up to going to court because that is a legal issue 
And that's why YouTube or Twitch a lot of times will just mute it or take down the content or ask you to take it down. And if you feel like you rightfully were using that piece of content and you weren't violating any laws and the other com the other party does not feel that way, you have to go to court. Small streamers would likely get away with DMC music. I mean, yeah, like... No way. Okay. It's very different, you know, like a small streamer who makes, you know, let's say a hundred bucks a month on a good month. You know what I mean? Like they, they just barely make enough for the Twitch payout. Their, their VODs are going to get muted. And the worst that could happen is the copyright strike system. Like they might get three strikes and they're out, you know? So they will turn around. Otherwise How they long would you would be streaming there, for BC? I am work right now, so now at a prison and, and all I do is watch prison, prison which is basics. Just do nothing BC 90%. They do nothing so anyway. You remind me of there's a guy who actually plays Overwatch. Um, he's, a, he's like a GM support player. He's a prison guard. And every time I bump into him, he's got some stories or something. That's funny. Uh, it was actually one time where he was getting calls like in the prison. He's like, he's like, nah, someone else, will, someone else will answer that. You know? <laughs> it was so funny. Uh, I'll probably be streaming for a while. I don't know how long I'm stream Overwatch though. This might be after this series is over. I might swap to Variety. Late, because that's once again gonna mean that shit called gonna have to Hi, Mr. Fletz. Fight I'm so sad we can't my Twitch subs because I got engaged and be budgeting for a wedding strike. next year. So we have to use for Yeah, I hope you don't like disappear that's, because that's of that. Um, so now a lot of people, if they're sub for a long time point, and they have to unsub for whatever reason, sides. they like don't want to talk anymore because they're ashamed. I hope that doesn't happen because I'm not gonna think less of you or anything. If anything, I'm more, I get more sad when that happens. So, first off, congrats. Uh, and second, I can't tell you how many people that have been long-time subs here that I never see anymore. Um, and most of the time it's because they had to unsub, and then they just don't feel comfortable talking anymore. And it gets really sad. So, congrats, though. I actually, had a, I actually have a sponsor that I had to record a video for last night. It was talking about budgeting. It was an interesting one. And that will be the second point for them. We're on a map point now. As we go on to the final checkpoint. Oh uh, yeah, I play Pokemon Coliseum. I think my playthrough is actually on more plots of Pokemon Coliseum. Dude, this is a battle of a game. Sheer Cole is fighting to stay alive. They don't have any ults though, so... Monka. Yeah, I think the whole playthrough is in there. What are your thoughts on AI art, things like music, voice acting, art? I think AI is, I think we're fucked, genuinely. The only good thing about AI is it's really stupid um, and smart at the same time, where it, it needs people to function. Because if you try to train an AI off itself, uh, it has this really weird tendency to try to make everything look like Jesus. You ever seen those those Twitter photos where like it's clearly AI? Like I saw the craziest one last week where if you shut one eye and squinted with the other, it was Jesus. And I was like, I literally got jump scared. I was like, oh fuck! Like, <laughs> like it, did, it didn't. It was like three friends like standing around like at a, like around a table, but it was all fucked. Like it didn't look right. And I was like, oh, that's just shitty. You know, and then you yeah, squint with one eye. Oh my God, Jesus, jump scare! Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, but AI is fucking spooky. That Suzu sometimes very hard to land on multiple people. Good knife. Truly, I don't think it'll ever like take over. Uh, I don't think the government will allow it because like that. Imagine if like 60% of your population just all of a sudden can't have a job anymore. Uh, that's how civil wars happen, and I don't think the U.S. would want that. So. Skitzer is going to be the person in the back line running around, but do they know where Skitzer is? They're getting slightly aggressive to try and punish anyone. At that point, then you can start talking like universal income, and uh, that's a fucking slippery slope that I do not want to go into today. Okay, Skitzer gets such hit. Yeah, hundred percent. Oh, and he gets a stick too. Don't big worry, stick, but they suzed it. They get a big kill on the Doom. Is this gonna go to a map five? Oh, uh oh. Actually, wait a minute. Oh. Wow. That's really bad, actually, for sure, Cole. Wait, they pop Blade too? No, oh, wait, this fight's over. You guys are. Oh, they just burned a lot of ults. With the whole army on his back. Holy Man, shit. Clutch out that That's point. terrifying. They're still in one fight territory. There was sheer colder at 99%.
The chick hole went into they all, use all their ults, though. They used every single ultimate to try and turn that fight around. Do so like Apex? So yeah, Apex is cool. Although I haven't really played seriously in a long time, so I did an Apex Twitch Rivals tournament like two weeks ago, and I got absolutely shit stopped. Honestly, I got shit on so badly, I don't think I want to play Apex anymore. <laughs> but someday, someday I'll probably go back and play it again. But man, that was a that one that that hurt. That one hurt a little bit. Ooh, big kill. It's tough. Dude, they're gonna die. They're gonna die right now, though. No, they're they're staggering him. They're staggering him. Dude, they're gonna lose. Dude, they blew all their ults in that previous that fight before, and they're not gonna be able to come back. I don't think anybody does. This is gonna lock this one out. Maybe Muse gets there, but wow. they broke the recall. They got oh, nothing man. left. Damn. Army they really fucked up that that 99 the fight series. with the double ults and not getting that anybody. Nice like they they bladed so ways. late. A one man army. The credit needs to go to the back line there. That's Saving tough though. I mean the other team's tracer kind of popped off too. So. Times, got brought back. They came back and brought it back. So it turns out, chat, I tried to eat again normally for the first time. My permanent crown it. fell out, which was caused was, by overbite I have, which I mean, poked a tiny hole in the tooth. Oh, that's good. You turn the quality higher. Uh, I, I, I have it on max. So you might have to do your own end. Way, find their way back into it. I was <sighs> convinced this is going to a map number five. This oh, looked yeah. uh, unlosable. Alas, skits are taking off the back line. And then they just edge it out. Uh, mm -hmm, incredible mm -hmm, stuff there. Incredible mm -hmm. stuff from both teams, really. Let's uh, dive back into some highlights and uh, talk about who really stood out because a lot of players, I think, put on a really, really good show in this one. Mm -hmm. For me, I think Muse really stepped up on Suravasa at the end there. Like, I think the Genji, I was starting to question whether or not the Genji was going to be a great pick because, you know, it, it's difficult when you don't have a tracer of your own, and that's why Skitza was going kind of crazy. But he just kind of redeems himself on that Suravasa. A couple of big blades, a couple of ones that I question, but a couple of big blades winning fights that, as you said, Zoe, they had no right winning. There wasn't really a... Uh, I feel like defining moments, especially on uh, on control, like Romani didn't really have many like, oh, I'm hitting a blade, I'm getting kills. Rampage is like, we're, we're winning these fights. But as the series like went on, Romani really clutched up. And that's what was the difference maker for me, at least for sheer cold. But then it was like the adaptations from um, from One Man Army. And then Skits are obviously just going absolutely nuclear on the Tracer. Just a lot of these initial picks that Romani was finding, Skits was just kind of like, okay, we'll just even it up. It's not a problem. And then you've blown so many cooldowns to keep Romani alive, and it's just the slow attrition. Well, it's not really that slow, but the attrition game uh, in the end of it all. <laughs> yeah. I, I Dude, some days I open Twitter and I go, I fucking don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> the, the thing that I thought was really interesting on that sort of answer is it went so back and forth. Time you don't wait time three weeks for a permanent two there? Jesus this. Christ, uh, Retro. It's one of those so wait, what did they go today? Take Sobe it out? Moving around the map and can be shoehorned into this composition. But you can see neither of them really wanted to stay on that close Twitter. And I think for the second and third and fourth round, I think we saw Thematic and Romani switch God. off of Doomfist. Fuck you, Doomfist fuck you like too, three times bitch. Each, right, because like, <laughs> that's how close every single fight was. That little edge of getting there that the Grandpa Simpsons meme. was making the difference in some of these uh, maps. I, just, I don't understand, dude. I feel like dude. we saw some different looks here. I feel like yesterday it was just mostly Orisa. Of course, a few maps. Uh, here and there, some other stuff was being, uh, and then there's Hardy, you know, just doing Hardy things. So we don't even <laughs> like mention that. But uh, I like. You know, the moral like puts every tooth back in. I hate this, dude. Honestly, tooth, I, dude, tooth, teeth I problems are legitimately my biggest nightmare. Of, uh, even if Definitely. it might not be the most optimal comp, but still. Yeah, it definitely has its fun. merits. <laughs> and it is fun, yeah. It is cool to watch, especially when Queen's not like perma picked. I think that's what makes uh, Queen fun. Damn, 5.7 well. right. KD. Um, the problem with the Queen is 96 is limbs, so 21 deaths. Time, too, was just that's at wild. And it's just like, Dude, that guy popped with the off. DPS passive, you can just get so much damage in. Like, you're not yeah. shooting an Arissa who has the fortify and the armor, etc. So I mean, Skits is just doing so much work. You can see, obviously, the Don't stats there. Teeth problem solved. All true. I try to take good care of my teeth. Was, was very, very nice. Good brushing them and whatnot. And it, it's just, I think Skitzer was all over Sheer Cold this entire map. Yeah, we talked about how it's like, hey, he's going to go unchecked because that's the way Sheer Cold is playing. But even then, that can be really difficult. And you can see how much pressure was going on to Skitzer at certain times. You know, I think Sheer Cold made adaptations as the series went on to be like, hey, 
We, as the Lucio and the Genji, you guys need to check the Tracer just a little bit more. And Skitza did adjust pretty well there on Suravasa and came out with some. Did a guess which character you think will get the wildest yeah, I mean, buff next season? Dude, you guys are like uh, hardcore so fishing, like for like. The, I, 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 I'm not a prophet, guys. Like, I, I can make analysis of like what's happening, but like straight up, just like. Skitza will be on my. The universe is telling me. <laughs> I, I, I would be a little, little bad. Um, yeah, and Arissa will get another buff. Like, it's like, okay, first off, that's probably true. Uh, um, so second we have second off, like, guys, come on. <laughs> we'll see them again in a new rendition. <laughs> it's stage oh, yeah. three Different of the abs. They're going to stick together. Generally, uh, Scott, actually, uh, and, and Jack as well. I'm wondering. Would you be more the type of people who are like, now nah, we gotta stick it out as a team, just work on the creation? It's gotta be Mercy because she's getting a mythic. Uh, nah. All, uh, outside the window nah. And yeah. start a new. I don't. Where, where are we at here? Mercy doesn't oh, need no. buffs like because of a mythic. Mercy players are gonna buy that mythic no matter fucking what, and they know it. it I think especially this early on, uh, especially in the OWCS life cycle, like you just want to stick it out with the team, especially if you're making it repeatedly to the stage, like making it out of Swiss. You just want to get better and better and better as a squad. So I'd probably say just stick it out. Like there's going to be a lot of yeah, and I don't even blame you for, for buying it. Changes it's fucking as we go worth. Different stages, just you know, like stage to stage. But in an ideal world, maybe you make one sub, maybe you make two at max. But like, yeah, I would say sticking as a team would be. A yeah, as retro, I feel like that's like a like a good way to get somebody to like I don't know. Show up at your house. So uh, be careful with that one. And, and now they're still <laughs> to Let's hear the winning moment of a one-man army against Carry half, carry half yeah. that side. We already yeah, talked about it, but my take yeah, is the yeah, 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 is the ball changes are a big buff. Queen, 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 queen. I am not surprised by that. I am not surprised by that. Nice. I think Ball has already great survivability. It's just like, what could he do with that survivability? And if he gets more tools to do stuff with it in a, in a meta that is so much about standing there and just either not dying or just being hyper mobile and trying to be uh, like survivable. I could see it. Although, if I'm completely honest, one, I'm not a big fan of Ball, so it's like, whatever. But I would rather Ball than just like the constant meta of Orisa, Sigma, Malga, where you just, or Hog, and you just pick the flavor of the week that stand there and try not to die, and just like, at it's just, point, it was I just hate it. It's, it's getting to me a little bit so, over the so, years. So simple at that point. But uh, it actually started to fall into place. You know, I think we had a really good setup. Like, I was having so much fun this season and going, like, crazy hard playing. And then that Malga meta hit for, like, a few days. And that just killed it. All of it. Just died. I couldn't pick it back up. Even though I was very quickly patched out, just, man, I just couldn't do it. Because now it's a risk, I guess, but still. There's some scary competitions up at the very top. Like, how do you how do you rate your chances? I think it's pretty tough. I think we've had a lot of uh, a lot of hurdles to to get across, you know, in terms of our, our permanent. I think Cast is a good pick. A, I think Cast is solid for ranked. Uh, I mean, even in pro play, he gets a some play, but. A lot. So it's been hard to have like consistent old track and old I'm not tank main, so what is a tank supposed to be um, like? How it was think, in Overwatch uh, one? A really good day, obviously. If we uh, don't make mistakes, I mean, yeah, ideally, we can, we can really well. but. That's not what it is nowadays. Yo, Carl, I'm fishing with 25 months. Appreciate it. Kiri needs buffs. Obviously, it felt like you guys had a yeah, what are you smoking? Whatever you're getting, whatever you're smoking, like give me a massive order of it, because you are smoking guys. on the good shit. How did you guys deal with that and good shit, sort of like, like you're you're beyond the clouds. It was, it was you're tough, you're you're, you're touching was, satellites. Those we were going to the match were like it's push, you know, something like this might happen. You know, we were already ready for it. Um, we obviously would rather play Winston on that map, but we know Romani loves Queen, so. That's kind of the situation. Uh, so we actually don't have too much practice playing Arista Comps on that map, but I mean, we, we did pretty well. We did make some some pretty good in old fights. Um, but yeah, uh, after that was done, we were sort of like, all right, next map. That's it. Lock in. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah. We love to see that. And uh, we get to see you and the squad going at it again in just a week's time from now. Enjoy some mm -hmm, rest mm -hmm. and uh, celebrate. They're taking away Ryan's hammer Thank next so season. For joining us. Yeah, and replacing Thanks. it with a squirt gun. Thank you. Perfect. Did I caught honey? Yeah, hot honey is fucking gas. 
because uh, they keep the, uh, themselves I do this like meal delivery thing I think I told you about. Um, their army will move on to another and they have hot honey on like one of the week. things. But that also means it's that we so are good. Done with the EMEA portion of I simp for Zoe? That's kind of based. I, I respect it. Give Ryan four second shatter. You give Ryan five second shatter. It's still going to get Suzu to all the same way. But we're... Closer. Almost there, closer what? to the conclusion. That's right. Okay, no, the match, would you say? Uh -huh. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> no. Okay, okay. okay. I knew that was coming back to five minutes. I didn't want to use the big words in case yeah, Jack try. doesn't understand. <laughs> okay, thanks, Zoe. Yeah, there'll be one more match. Uh, there's one more decider left. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Peps versus one man army. Jack, get Mike's hot honey and put it on everything, it'll yeah, change you. I, I feel like today. you're saying this, but Peps I feel like I put you on to this like nine months ago. Like, I feel like like a, like a month or like nine months ago. Like a year ago, yeah, I was talking about how good it was, and I discovered it. And now you're coming back here and telling me about it. it. it wasn't Are you sure? Either, so you have another week to scrims. That's the nice thing about. Exactly. Okay, cat. Uh, that's the nice thing. Uh, I definitely uh, remember uh, talking about it to chat, though. Winning this match is you get to go to next week. You get to look at Team Pep's matchups. You get to understand how you guys want to scream and practice. And yeah, I don't believe you. At that point, anything nope. can happen. That's right. Hot honey well, and pepperoni well, pizza goes hard. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what um. That's what the the one of the things I got this week is. It's pepperoni pizza with hot honey on it. It comes in like a little container. You like drizzle it on yourself. Check my logs. Oh, am I gonna go back fucking a year in the logs? I'd be here all day. That was good. I don't know why you guys are face What? You guys are crazy. Meat sour cream with a spoon? Listen, man, sour cream's good, but. Yeah, it was so many sick plays today. It's your dream meal. Oh Jesus Christ. Okay, so I have this really bad problem. Um. She's two zero. That's where really I constantly just swap, yeah, you know, like true. one month it's one I'm thing, one month it's the next. Uh, I'm kind of back on like an Italian food kick at the moment. So, like in this exact moment, I feel like I haven't had veal in a long time. Like veal parm would probably go hard. Glad to finally hit 12 months, thanks for all the great time and content. Two that's hearts. Pretty, uh, well, well, 12 months. You know what I had last night? I had um, some five cheese ravioli. And there was a different meal that I got in like the thing. Uh, in the package, just cupcake. And I forget what it's called. But it's like, it was like the pasta wheels, like the, like the pasta wheels with some sauce and like a red sauce. It wasn't that good. Um, but it came with barrage. Rata, which is like a cheese so i took the cheese out of that one and put it in the ravioli one and then we broke it up oh, so good. dessert though that also changes a lot but i would probably say in this moment cheesecake yeah Cheesecake is gas. I honestly don't even know how to make that magic happen. There's, I barely managed to turn it on at the start of the day. Yeah, that's too much work to make, though, Sam. I'm sorry. Let's take a look at the stats. Listen, okay. My own personal rule is if I'm making something at home, it's got to be like four ingredients or less, or three. Other than that, I'm ordering it. I'm ordering it either delivery, meal delivery, uh, restaurants. Don't care. Not, not dealing with it. Not my problem. Uh, Bug fan makes it six months. Appreciate it. I know the limits of my own abilities. Okay, I am self-aware. Close series that we just had, maybe one, uh, one man army versus sheer cold. That was extremely close considering their previous uh, bout in the Swiss. Group D is going to be the uh, end. Yeah, the prime. Yeah, 100%. For sure. That, uh, that group is cooking is less expensive. So, though, yeah, but it's also a shit experience if you. <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, you've wins. never experienced it, but, I, but you have to take my word for it. That's yeah. right. However, you had the cheesecake dip that Philadelphia brand makes. Are you talking like those little packages and it's like one side is cheesecake or like the other side is something else? Or it's like you like, it's like the crumbs and then you like push it over and it's like almost like a... The sad task of saying goodbye to Scott and Jack. No, it's a big old dip. No, I don't think I have them. I always try to forget you, but it never works. So. Okay, that's messed up. Okay. That's fucked up. What? Eat an Aussie meat pie. You'll get addicted. I promise you, I won't. Um. Listen, I don't want to say anything. Like I've never had it, but. I don't I just don't believe 
Do we wait the 10 minutes and just keep watching out of BCS, or do we go to Variety? Um... Didn't mean to do that. I don't want to go to variety. I'm not going to lie, but. What is the first? Hang on. What's the first team? I don't even know. Sog versus. FMCL. What the fuck does FMCL stand for? Because I look at that and I go, wait a minute, what? Doing the Frozen Wilds DLC, right? Good luck, it's a bitch and a half. Wait, what do you mean it's a bitch? Yeah, I think we might have similar images on what we thought <laughs> it meant. Uh, Gonzaga, think the six months. 6v6, do I really miss it or is it just nostalgia? Um. I think the tanking experience of 6v6 is better than 5v5 at this point. Like genuinely. I think it I think at this point I've accepted that the tanking experience is better in 6v6. Everything else though, no. DPS experience, support experience, the gate health of the game. No way 66 is coming back. I genuinely believe if there was enough push, it could happen. It would have to be pretty like substantial and like a lot of people would have to think it. But I don't think we're there yet. I'm one I'm also one of those people that's not pro or against at this point so I think there's probably a lot of people that are also the same way I think where it's like not for it not against it because uh, there's still a lot that could be done with today you know yeah there's a lot of pros and cons to both there's so many pros and cons like if you're talking like pure gameplay experience across the board it's pretty even um there's such a it's such a significant buff for tanks like for experience uh that that's heavily favored but it's probably it's a little bit weaker for for dps because like dps isn't as strong when it's 66 support would also probably be a net neutral you probably wouldn't have as much of the dps playstyle as you do today it'd probably be a little bit more heal playstyle like it used to be um but there would be so many other repercussions. Like your Q times would go through the roof. Like if you're a DPS player, your your Q times are back to Overwatch One, where you're playing 10, 10 plus minutes in Q, 15 plus minutes in Q every game, no matter what. Not peak, not if you're rank one. Not like rank one. Like players already have a big problem with like two hour Q times. But if you're talking, you know, like average GM player, 15 minutes plus every day, every game. It's you know, it was the meta for a long time that. All the DPS players would watch videos in queue. Tank player queues were like 30 seconds long because nobody wanted to play tank because it was double shield. Um, yeah, and the, also the tank pool is much smaller. So by going to 5v5, you doubled your amount of tank players in the queue because you only need one instead of two. So that's how you better queue times. Support was for largely the same though in that department. Uh, there's so many heroes that are not balanced for 6v6 anymore. A lot of the new heroes, like your Malga, your Queen, um, how characters like Kiri would probably One be year pop champ. interesting in that in that format. Uh, Bap would probably be stronger again because remember Bap was like really strong in Overwatch One. 
Uh, there'll be characters that have to get reworked again, like Arissa like, got reworked for Watch uh, 2. You might have to rework some of those because she just might be too strong just standing there. Uh, all the tanks would have to get their changes again. Old heroes like Ryan would probably thrive again. Uh, Diva would probably thrive again. Uh, Winston would probably be largely the same because he does well in Overwatch 2 but doesn't do well in Overwatch. He did well in Overwatch 1 too. Ball would probably be a lot better, but Balls supposedly, you know, has the rework, so who knows. Um, certain characters... With all that said, would just... Probably not work, and you'd have to put a lot of effort back, going back again. So it's like, you would be spending the last two years putting all this effort into 5v5, and then eventually go back. And it's like, well, now you can basically start all over again. You know? It would have to be substantial. It would have to be the point where, like, genuinely all the work that's been done has only made it worse. And I don't know if that's totally true. You know? Mind of making everyone catch up rather than go back. We have played version of this game that was fun for tank early on, but people don't know how to play around it yet. Now we took that power away. Uh, yeah, but also no. Uh, yeah, but like that wasn't really taking it. We didn't really take much power from tank away. Everyone else just got a bunch of power. So like support was example, the one that needed time to learn, but did need some buffs at the time. And they scaled a lot of those back, uh, but it's also at the point where you can't scale it back anymore unless you make the characters like kind of suck. And everyone's kind of realized that like, oh wait, support's actually still really good in Overwatch, even after the nerfs. But you can't scale it back anymore. And I'm not saying support's the problem because DPS is also really good. But it depends, because your tank, your DPS are only really good if your tank is competent. And if your tank's not competent, then you feel like, oh, you can't even do anything, and your role's cosmetic. So it all comes down to, is your tank competent versus their tank being competent? But if both your tanks are competent, it comes down to, like, DPS and support. You know, like, your tanks have, like, almost borderline no value. So, you have these instances where tank stands there and just tries not to die and stand still and basically just play the spectator sport as Emong puts it uh, but if their tank is so much worse than your tank you just dominate and so that's how you still have those like little fun moments where you're like oh my god but it, realistically it's just a gigantic skill gap I just think just I, I mean I still think there's just too much damage period and instead of doing global damage nerfs and healing nerfs, they up the health, which, granted, did the same thing in, in Time to Kill, uh, in a lot of ways, but at the same time, though, the burstiness is still there, and you feel it. Because I think tanks proportionally got less heal less health than those DPS and, and support characters, even though you could look at it and say, well, you know, it characters like May got 50 and most of the others got 25 um sorry not, not toy street like tracer got 25 and like everyone else got like 50 but tank got like 100 so like that's significantly more but they don't you're not taking into account like hitboxes and how often you're getting shot at and tank gets shot at much more often and the whole reason tank was even so strong or felt even strong was because healing was so high so like you felt like you couldn't kill a tank because they were just getting pumped with heals but now because you have the dps passive you're not getting pumped with heals as much because it doesn't matter because it can outdo it so that's how you create the spectator sport of what we have today you know so you kind of need the dps passive to actually get kills but at the same time uh your tank just feels shit so uh what do you do don't know dark flame thank you for the 13 months what's up kitty Kinda wish they'd make an off tank roll. It'd stop dual shields. Dude, I mean this with love, and this is why most people are fucking terrible talking about game balance or talking about anything game related. We were, we already were talking about Q time. Good. Good.
good to go. What's up, yeah. Gavin? Um, hey, everyone. We already I'm talked Gavin about queue times and how outrageously long, long, long they would be in 66. With another developer uh, update to and you're talking about adding an entirely another role. My teammate, senior research you, scientist. You just Dr. doubled Miller, your queue time. Tell us about updates to defense. Why am I there? <laughs> uh, you know, I was just thinking, I wonder if he's still here. And they'll be available for free the day they launch. He also talked about the new Mythic shop as well as the upcoming Clash playtest. Yeah, your queue times would be outrageous. Outrageous if you made Season another queue. And you got to remember, how many people at the end of Overwatch 1 were queuing tank to play off tank and play off roll? Nobody wanted to play fucking main tank. Imagine having a main tank and off tank. Well, Fuck it. At that point, why not have a Overwatch main support and and and, and off support or flex so flex support or uh, you know when main support flex support or main healer off main healer categories, right? Like why not do that? Well, now you got even more of a queue time, you know. Yo, selfish thing to get subbed to. Yeah, appreciate it. As a wide group. Because you and your friend are pretty far apart. There are some trade offs. Save from ads. So. I see if I see bot. I see bot. I see bot. The matches will be sillier. We'll still use our role delta tech to try to match you against similarly shaped groups. So if Lost you're a bot tank and your friend is a bronze support, we'll try to find another Where did it go? and bronze support to match you two against. At the end of a wide match, you'll see a new modifier just for this system. Avoiding boosting is really important to us. So the wider your group is, the less your rank will change behind my after a match. If you're bronze and you're a group with a champion player, you can expect it's almost all the no lights. Get off the lights. Rank, regardless of the outcome. We expect all this to be a huge match quality win for our solo players because they'll never play against wide groups. We think of groups that are close in rank as narrow. So narrow matches Dude, will only be solo. It's literally in the perfect spot that I groups. can't get it. This thing is pissing me all off. This means that you'll be able to choose whether you want to prioritize the highest match quality or playing with friends. We're also expecting to see Wait, fewer fuck. smurfs after these changes too, since we know some players were only creating alt accounts to play competitive with their friends. We've heard your request for more voice side. slots, but having more than three in our current system breaks matchmaking for high skilled players. We realize that basing our avoid count on that restriction- Dude, I swear to God, they're the evolving, they're learning. percent of players though. So to add all the new features we're about to discuss, we had to rethink what it means to avoid players from the ground up. First off, going. we're increasing the number of avoid Block. slots to 10. I will keep We're the paper going here. Pin some when he comes players back. So that they never fall off your list. The trade off we make to get these features is related to our next new feature. You'll now be able this to. This is what I get for leaving my fucking windows open and doors open. Most likely to be avoided. For players below Grandmaster, that's most of us, you can expect all 10 avoid slots to be reliable. But we still want to give you the tools to organize your list by how much you dislike the players on it. For our highest skill players, this feature is particularly important. Because let's if get a we cat. Find no. a balanced match. We'll start ignoring no. players at the bottom of the list in order as queue time increases. Another area we're addressing will bring changes to our lever penalties. For By the way, in before play. somebody puts someone on their avoid list and then ends up with them on their team, like, what the fuck? I had him on my avoid games. list. How did I get you on my team? Out of we aren't changing those, but we it's are gonna a more lenient five-minute penalty. It's gonna be some Twitter post. And a much more harsh 48-hour penalty if you've left 10 out of your last 20 games. Now, there aren't a lot of players leaving yep. more than 50% of their matches, but they do exist. And we think the game would be better without them most of the time. On the competitive side, we're closing another edge case by suspending any players that- It'd be so sad if points <laughs> the moment I saw the bug. Matches completed I saw it fly. Where the fuck are you? Unranked. Finally, like a little fucking I want to talk to you about our improved anonymity features. We already had a streamer mode, but we're making this feature more useful to all players, not just streamers. Right now, this feature is client side only which means it only changes mm -hmm. how players' names appear on your screen. I don't screen. know where it went. The big change we're making is adding server-side functionality, which means we'll change how your name appears on everyone's screens in your match. We think this is great for Hang players who check again. Behind behind here. Here. Their I it. and just want to queue up without any chance of that happening. Shit. Don't forget to report players that harass you or anyone else, though. And speaking of reporting, don't worry. Players in streamer mode being disruptive in text chat or voice can still be reported, avoided, and blocked. I hate and that I can't find penalties them. will still apply to them in exactly the same way as normal, because we still know their name behind the scenes. Next, Natasha will talk to you about our main initiatives to combat can't disruptive find them. behavior. Thank you, Gavin. Hiya, I'm Natasha Miller, a senior research scientist <clears throat> at Blizzard, working on Defense Matrix for Overwatch. While we are always working in many areas of combating disruptive behavior, today I want to talk about disruptive mm. chat. I'll also touch on some of the tools that mm -hmm. we're improving to help keep the community safe. Disruptive chat can really negatively affect someone's experience in-game. 
and our focus to curb this I'm looking for him we are taking I don't know where he went he'll go back for my light again my light is like today I'll discuss the first two attracts them they love it few seasons in our first approach we will prevent players at endorsement level zero from using text or voice chat to be clear, the only way to get to endorsement level zero is by having your account action for an in-game infraction. That's why don't you work Even on Blizzard to give them your knowledge. Uh, one, I'm one. not a game designer. So Two, absolutely fucking not. So Three, in the past, um, they received a penalty. This feature would allow they already to take a listen to a lot of people in team and match channels. So until they work their way uh, back up to endorsement level one. Oh, I see him. I see him. All higher levels, that would work as it did before. Now, the best way to work your way back up to endorsement level one is to demonstrate good teamwork by trying your best, helping your team, and using the in-game ping system. And oh, our second I approach, missed. we will remove chat functionality for spectators. Where'd he go? Spectators don't what? have an in-game need to use the chat channel. And by removing their ability to chat, we remove a what? channel that is increasingly being used by bad actors. Along with these improvements, we are looking at making it easier and faster to report any reportable offense bin match. At the moment, our numbers indicate that most Fuck! of the is done towards the end. Or he was on. He was on the cord. He was on the cord, so I stood up and I moved the cord and I fucking grabbed it. But this could put pressure then I checked and there's nothing in here. That they need to report, who to report, and what to report them for. All after the match. He already gets paid by Blizzard to balance the game himself, which is why you're allowed to blame him for balance patches you're unhappy with. I fuck you, Ruben. More players will use the reporting system. This is very important because we rely on players to help us know what is happening in matches. Oh man, dude. So that our systems can be more effective and reliable. Overall, making Overwatch Yeah, but even, even in some magic land where that did happen, that doesn't mean that I would get listened to. Like, you ever work, you ever worked in a big company before? So we Unless you're, like, top level, you to share that, your thoughts with that shit ain't getting listened to. Season 11, we're it, it the doesn't happen very often, you know? Like, Overwatch you gotta, you gotta really rally a lot of people behind you at that point. So, yeah, no, like there's, there isn't even a universe where it makes sense. Plus, is flashing back to esports days. Yeah, don't even get me, don't even get me started. Give endorsements. We already, ta we already talked about Overwatch League today. Once the progression screen is closed, the survey will prompt the player for their feedback. Once your thoughts with a summer Both home and a PJ, they won't we'll listen the to you. To give us feedback via a QR code. You think I have a summer PC home? Players what? Players also choose to open the link in a separate browser. Surveys will ask questions about the game, including new modes, events, features, and how you feel about the way we're mitigating disruption. Flats would be a corporate position. We're excited for this CEY, Chief to Executive Yapper. As we gather your feedback. These are just a few of the things we have been working on in this space. We Fuck will continue you. to bring you updates on our progress mitigating disruptive behavior via the Defense Matrix squads, which will get a refresh in the coming seasons to include even more on the impact this work is having in the community through transparency metrics. Defense Matrix and Competitive will always be core to Overwatch and will continue iterating, improving, and of course listening closely Can't believe to your it. feedback on these systems. So please keep sharing your thoughts with us, and we can't wait to show you what we've been working on in Season 10 and beyond. See you soon! We, the one thing about the report thing uh, is if it is true that you get you can get banned for saying fuck and shit and not at, like at somebody like you know I kind of I think that maybe a little a little stir, a little a little, a little, lot, a little bit much. Uh, lime chip thing thousand bits appreciate it. Dude. Sorry the bug got played you. Skill is you. Fuck you. Circling. What's up, Barcode? Overwatch champion series. I love the sound. If you knock down the green screen behind him, you'll see there's an actual bat cave or the helipad. You're gonna get me in trouble. Someone's gonna believe you. Oh yeah, I guess both doors are open. The fridge isn't real. No, the fridge is a, Welcome back, a figment everyone. of your You're imagination. WCS stage two groups, and we have just finished up the EMEA matches of the day, which means it's now time to shift gears and dive into the NA side of things. And joining us is the most unfortunate <laughs> cast orc we've ever had, Akra Nekber. 
It's just not working, guys. Like, you know, I would. Guys cut and like burn. I would suggest that maybe we don't have to smash two again, names same. together to, you know, to, to, to encapsulate it's, the essence of a cast. Way. This way sucks. Ruben Let's is fuck. Alfred. Yo, Alfred, can you uh? What do you think about can that? you bring me my snack? <laughs> maybe we should be doing that. Yeah. We can also just move on. Let's take a look at the graphic. How about that? All Pricing. Right. Can't believe I get paid to talk sometimes. I do believe <laughs> that those players in OWCS get paid to get the bag though, and the bag has been getting a little bigger, B bigger, bigger. As far as the thirty thousand dollars for really first place. Those players uh, have their eyes set on circuit points. Very important. Very nice. Well, you know what they say about Texas. Everything is bigger. So I think it makes sense, given that we're heading up to DreamHack Dallas. Five players and a coach, and uh, for six months of work, that ain't looking too good. <laughs> that ain't looking too good. Now the stakes are higher, right? Especially for a team that. Didn't like collect up that many oh, shit, Dream Hacks in Dallas? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I'm going go, to go, though. I don't know if I'm going to go. That's right. And uh, everyone watching, of course, uh, you too can join us in uh, Dallas, Texas. Uh, I think Zoe's so contracted with, like, a contract worker for o too. OWCS and I face it now. That. I think it's different. Four months of consuming uh, constant uh, flax content, yippee. Yeah, well, even four months. Appreciate it. Outside is scary. Wait, is this the... How much it costs? party of this size... It's uh, it's something. It is. It's UIOC is, is I mean, what? The atmosphere is like a kind of. Bring wild. your own. And there's obviously like so many parts Coke? of the dream hack that you can sort of go around to. It feels like their own little biomes, right? Their own little sort of ecosystems. <laughs> the land hole is like you know a bit of a safari. I won't lie. Chair, there's computer. Also like, you know, great exhibitions and stages set up there. So I'm super hyped. Just give me some land Overwatch. For the love of God, land Overwatch, please. <laughs> It will be happening, but first we have to uh, figure out who is going to move on and out of the groups here. Looking at our NA Stage 2 group standings as they currently stand. Yeah, finals will be in Sweden. Day three, You're right. Of course. I don't know uh, if I'll matches. go, though, if I'm um, completely honest. Who do you, it depends. Who do you see not on the top who should be in the top, in your opinion? I'm, I am still a little exactly bit irked that... I actually think it's okay, you know what? Fuck it, dude. I'm, I'm slinging, I'm slinging some mud. I don't care. I'm a little irked that OWCS gets its own drops, um, and they don't share it with any other co-streamers. But instead, they actually still will use our metrics for OWCS. Like if I watch OWCS today and I have 2,000 viewers for four hours. They will count that in their metrics, uh, but they don't share on their own personal drops. Like unlike games like Apex or Valorant, in which if you're in the co-streamer program and you commit to saying, hey, I will co-stream your matches, uh, they will give you the same drops that you get on the main, but they also double dip uh, when there's regular drops for like the normal category. They also get drops for uh, the normal category and their own ones. So they double dip on it and take away from every, all the other streamers in the category. Uh, I think it's pretty shit, if I'm honest. So, because that only happens like for one week. Uh, we all, it only happens like what, five days or a week now? Maybe once or twice a season? Uh, and they get to double dip while also gatekeeping everybody out, but still using our metrics and our numbers to boost their own uh, being able to say, hey, look at how much we're pulling in. I think that's pretty cringe. I think it's pretty cringe. And of course, we have M80's backline, Renko and Lep. So looking good. I like what I'm seeing. Oh, I, this is also a team, by the way, that have a few circuit points just, you know, amongst their players coming together. So yep. they set themselves Oh, Infected's team. They can still fire for a spot in Dallas if they have a good showing here. Did the fake this ML7 team, win? Honestly, no. Pretty stout lineup, pretty, pretty crazy. Like, Mira now obviously coming and joining it, but I don't know. Like, I, they've not really found the results they're looking for. Why is their pronouns under their name? Because that's their pronouns. What is the confusion? They, you know, drop the game to Citrus Nation, which is kind of one you want to be winning if, you know, you want to sort of give the impression that you're in good stead heading into the main event if you're going to get there. Yeah, I think this is a roster that everybody had easily in their like top eight when you look at which teams made it through to the main event in stage one. And you look at the roster now and you're like, OK, yeah, with Mira coming in. I have no problem just asking to for now. You feel like you've got an even more stacked roster. Yeah, but people made it super, super politicized, even though we've all had pronouns for beat, which is are they literally our whole lives. And no one even thought about it until about like two or three years ago. To ask the question <sighs> of, is 
can students of the game actually hang with the bigger dogs in this group? And they've really got and people be weird about it. that here, starting with this match. And something that we mentioned about, of course, yesterday already, especially you, Necra, you just uh, kept on Buzzy, did I get you in four months? If I didn't, I apologize. I don't know if I did, though. Match, because that sets you if I didn't, my bad. I, I didn't mean to miss you. Moving into the main event, and that means you're dodging next week's elimination match, which will be played on a new patch. So you got to lean back and just enjoy the show and see everyone else scramble and figure it out. Wait, they and show the viewer predictions on the broadcast now? That's kind of cool. And it died copy other people's homework that is a huge advantage it really is i don't think any team is, is super jazzed about having to adjust to a new patch in the very middle of the group stages but that is something that a lot of teams are gonna have to figure out uh, because uh, only so many teams are gonna avoid it and it's you not know. even that, right? Because obviously, like, your placement in the main event... Oh, yeah, I still have to watch the Ruben tier list at some point about what Overwatch guys. heroes he could take in a fight. a favorable seating going into the start of that main event because winning that first round gives you a, a huge... Because it's got to be the worst thing team. I've ever that's seen. Something. That could be the difference between you Yeah, it, it's the most un unhinged shit you've probably ever seen. Ruben thinks he could fight way more things than he than he actually could. I'm sure the coaching staff would love... To at least be able to the <laughs> flounder around on a new patch. Ruben thinks he could beat Roadhog in a fight. Plan. You saw the votes at home. Like, dude, you are so fucking cooked. Closely predicted match here. You are so cooked. A less known quantity, but we saw just how nasty. Maybe we know you don't. Team. Seeker, you what know, are you talking was about? Was Seeker, was, you know, You're talking about if I pull up your tier list right now, I won't see it. And then they formed another team, and then. They split up, so FMC I said draw, is, you buffoon. Uh, solution now a is draw a is still fucking pushing it. Top teams, so having Renko and Lep here is gonna make you feel pretty good, but they're going up against fellow Overwatch League veterans yeah. in Allen Rack Attack here. So what if it's like 10 guards in her melee no, in the cinematic or something, and she's one of the really weakest really heroes in melee in the game? Yeah. It's quite nice yep. that with the chaos yep. that can ensue with Ross Ruben's Media, convinced that he could just run through a field until it's over. League. In between in the contender scene, I feel that's like, like not how fights work. <laughs> that's not how so fights work. We're going to see a little bit more of that. See what FMCL can really make of being able to pick up those pieces. And my text is all backwards. Open, Honestly, I thought it was intention. I thought you did that on... It was so influential <laughs> in their stage one, but... I thought that Ruben broke you, honestly. You know, I had a friend when I was younger um, who could do the alphabet backwards, like, instantly. Like, just something like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. He could do that that quickly in reverse. He was a giant alcoholic. It was so fucking funny, because if you if he was super fucked up, you could get him to do it, and he was just, like, slurring it, and he'd be like, he so would get it perfectly every time. It's just like, dude, what is wrong with you? Like, how do you do this? To the point, but they're getting pushed back now as FMCL is walking on them. Yeah, I love to shield that's right now by Ariel. It actually blocks the accretion that infected. I haven't talked to that guy in a long time. Hey, Flax, I pressure, am in Portugal. So, playing the 27 months. Huge. Now they get forced back, and in the longer fight, they're gonna be sober now, actually. PG is able to find Seeker. That is a massive boon for your team. Now, Scissors realizes. It's been a few years, though. To pressure down the main tank. Ariel feeling it a little bit now, but they've already built an ant matrix here, SOG. In a position to keep that pressure going. Sigma is just so good when you're running this poke style of hog fight as a militia in a civil war like during an apocalypse in Australia, where everything can kill you. On this high platform, or even just being able to revive yeah, I didn't know that. There for a PG I do not read the comics and stuff. This is why we need more cinematics. Readings for fucking nerds. Give me, give me content that I can watch. Everything almost from FMCL drawn out in that last fight. Yeah, I don't care. It's so much wrong. Okay, dude. Dig deep to flip this point back. Now that it's re they wrestled back control, though, that was so expensive. So you're really looking at Seeker. We're literally nerds, though. Yeah, that's the joke. Or Sierra even being able to try to find a kill with that pulse bomb, just to hold on to the point. On the flip side of things, SOG. That was a failed super soldier. 
amplification matrix for three more. Oh, Ruben, you're fucking side. cooked, dude. So SOG are definitely coming you are back legitimately to cooked. Advantage. Wait, I think he also thinks he could beat Soldier in a fight, though. So, you know what? Maybe he doesn't even believe it. Or rather, allow SOG to walk back in and get some space. And PGG's been able to convert that. Bro, is a failed sol Super Soldier? You know who's also a failed Super Soldier? Soldier so far. So, students of the game can reflip this point very, very quickly. And now it's going to be a problem. Ariel has no room, and look how far away the rest you ever, of the you ever, you ever watched Halo? Do you know anything about the Halo universe? You know, there's like a whole subsection of like really fucking good Marines that are like failed Spartans. They put themselves in brawl range against this FMCL setup. But now students of the game. You know, like Spartans that, like, you know, they can, like, fall from space. No, ODSTs aren't failed Spartans. Wear crazy armor? Nah. Nah. Forge? I'm pretty sure Forge is a failed, uh... If you've ever played Halo Wars, I'm pretty sure Forge is a failed Spartan, right? I'm pretty sure he's a failed Spartan, and he killed an Arbiter. You use the same logic, uh-uh, you're, you're getting cooked. No, I know Sergeant Johnson's, uh, Sergeant Johnson's a, 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 a first-generation Spartan failed project, right? Against the, the Spartan 1 project, like the original one. He failed it. Not the Spartan 2 project. But I think Forge was a failed Spartan as well, was he not? Yo, Benson needs a prime. To deal with this window, Jerry needs to touch. They do over time now. Secured scissors dropping to the low level, and all of FMCL grouping up. They know the tracer is here. Scissors might be able to recall to the high ground. No, they actually, what am I thinking? Man? That's another huge headshot from PGE to find a tracer, no less infected. Knows there's some action happening on the point, but they were trying to deal with left at the time. Now they'll make the way over, they can afford to let the point flip here as they'll be over once they're in control and they disengage away for that. I'd love to showcast a Ruben versus Roadhog match. <laughs> I feel like it wouldn't last, last very long. She's in the back line of MFCL. They're gonna make a play at some point here though. Ariel's taking space and has the annihilation available. All of SOG try and fold away from this, but it's only so far you can run from the Oh my goodness, rack attack! That That's a big perfect. boop right there. The ulti Ramatra knocked off the map. SOG still need to take the point here, but FMCL being tankless now means they can barely do anything about it. Seek is trying to force Infected back, trying to take shots at Cal from behind the Orisa. Does take Infected low. Now the contest is underway though. You see PGE with their overclock of their own. Great pulse ball and aerial in power, but they still take a ton of damage. You guys notice how like the tanks are like never touching point? What the, what is that boop? Oh he died. That's why. Rack attack and a sound barrier after the fact here for students of the game should seal the deal. A competitive back and forth round. But after the Sigma switch to Orisa, in fact it looked much more comfortable. That was a really Really delete tanks round. so I'm just excited today's that tanks this is going to be a bit of a predeterminer for what's ahead of us in this is series. roadhog armenian i didn't as think so the game fmcl i think both of these teams are easily considered some of the top eight in north america but it's really now about just trying to prove themselves on this bigger oh, stage to man. get into that main event for stage two never change ruben I never change it's gonna have to switch off of this ramatra I, I think it worked out when you were expecting to see the sigma on the other side if you're able to walk in front of that shield but when it comes down to the little micro differences in between the way that those two compositions play i thought that sog just had a big upper hand when having that sigma shield available versus having to play around those pillars uh audio i'm surprised that fmc any didn't try harder to take the space away from audio the, the enjoyers sigma setup. like after they want to fight they didn't push any up audio up. enjoyers deny entry to the sigma mm -hmm. eventually though i think it was just a bit hard for infected to get away with the remarks there and sort of switched on there to we go. a better brawl option Scissors there at the top of your screen already make their way into the back line. They've got to respect Seeker though, who's a ridiculous hit scan in their own right, but PGE has outshone him for the entirety of this map so far. Ooh, well, Ariel's getting mm -hmm. bullied. Mm -hmm. Now, falls back by the, just a sheer weight of cooldowns there by the looks of things as Infected just unloads. PGE has a good little vantage point here, but now being accosted by left. We need to respect this, or at least give some line of sight to his supports, and they do. Damn. Infected falling though over on the point there is PGE spent so much time trying to swat and left. So much damn Apparently fucking Marissa did. Trades that are happening on the point. That's a really big missed opportunity <sighs> here for students of the game. One HP. 
Weapon PL set off, and uh, this Arissa is already looking a bit better from Ariel. Has to play around those disruptor shots. As we saw at the very beginning of this stage, mm -hmm. PGE did pop one of those down, and it forced Ariel to have to back By away. Way, to I'm going to watch this game chat, and then we're definitely going to go to Variety, okay? But now Sounds that good. they actually have control of this point, FMCL that's, can get a that's nice the plan. setup here. I've decided. Sarah's already done enough damage to get this pulse bomb online, and, you know, high noon, baby, we get a chance to what see What is worse, Arissa or Malga? Like that, but I'm really looking at this casino um, rush from Ranko. Malga. Malga's worse than Arissa, but Arissa's second worst. Zero right now. Calvo not inclined to use that swift step at this time. Oh, but that's beautiful. Nice little one clip there Ooh. by Scissors. Assisting, of course, in the takedown on the Cassidy. Nah, at See, least Arissa, the there's some you things you get to do, like positioning wise and spears and no reason to make use of that, that kind of stuff. Malga just <laughs> stand there and shoot the tank and hope not to die. It's so fucking cringe, dude. Yeah, so I don't ass. Use anything, and I don't think that FMCL are too unhappy with having to expend the pulse bomb there to no avail either. Uh, it's gonna be a pretty. It's actually so ass. Into this next one. It's look at the layered Kitsune rushes. Look at the overclock from PGE. I think there's a bit more firepower in SOG's tank, but FMCL have options to try to get around that. Most notably, See? left sound barrier. I think he had to drop to the low ground here to try and get a flanking angle, but he walked straight into the Orisa. I'm gonna roll away here. He's dead eye. Oh, goodness. Oh. Dead eye interrupted. Infected sends him over the edge. So, no room for this Cassidy to find value. Oh, Aaron Fortify's about to run out. Rack attack has nowhere to go. Beautiful connection there with that jacket. Luckily, they got all the kills in time. Didn't matter. Ruby slammed up against the wall. Nice. That was a good retake from them. Would you say Malg is the worst design here in Overwatch history? Uh, other than release Brig, yes. Release, you cannot, you, you, genuinely, like, I know, like, Aris is, I know Malg is really annoying, and I don't like him at all, but man, you guys can never, un like, if you weren't there, you do not understand. Yeah, the, the Brig whiff shot flail tech, oh my god. Fucking god, dude! Like you, you guys don't understand the shit we've seen over the years. You know, there's yeah, Malga sucks. Yeah, I think he's terribly designed, honestly. But nothing will be break. Nothing will ever in the history of gaming potentially be break. Genuinely. Zero no have to recall. It's taking too much incidental damage now. She's okay, boomer. Back towards the fight, but it's gonna be too late to intervene. Back Racing in my goes. day, it's too late. Break with one yeah, shot a tracer. Didn't Zero matter how good you were, with it would stun you. Point, and and then if you played Rhyme, you just walk up and stun you through the shield. Imagine if they have this sound barrier. No, there was no counterplay. Does, it didn't exist. The barrier advantage. They have more sustain. Rally. Aerial's gonna have this. The armor used to go under well. shield, so you could give Zen 400 HP. Teams, and the armor wouldn't go away, so you'd have to actually hurt the Zen all the way down through his armor. And by the time that would happen, Brig, Brig probably had another rally. So you could actually just get 400 HP Zen again. And that was in the days of 200 HP characters, not 400, 250 HP characters. So you'd have Sniper Zen. Along with the ability to just never die. And 30% Discord. And then, that wasn't even all. It was more. It was more. Her shield was like 700 HP. And her armor pack also gave over health and or, or, not over health armor. So if you just packed your tracer at full HP, instead of having 250 or sorry 150 HP, they'd have 225. And it was that was an armor used the way armor used to work was that it would just make it so that if you took damage from certain percentage of uh, of, of damage so like tracer bullets and pellets was a good example or Winston's Tesla cannon. My partner doesn't like when you talk like this. Keep going. Basically, you would be doing a third of the amount of damage you normally would, which is why if you played Winston, you'd try to arm punch off armor 
instead of, you know, actually doing Tesla damage. So you'd have these duels where Tracers were doing borderline no damage to each other, trying to knock the armor off. And then whoever knocked the armor off first would win instantly. So games were decided completely on whose Brig was packing their Tracer correctly. But they still a lot of damage output for a sombra and even though she did get a bit reworked and maybe she did get a little bit down tuned is that enough uh, boomer for you hitting really hard yeah i mean if you hit the skill shot that sort of damage over time really you know can add to the rest of your kit but the hacker doing fist is, is one of the most devastating things to experience the brig armor was bugged so it's actually stronger than normal armor oh my god i forgot about that you're right it was arm it was bugged so it was even stronger than normal armor i forgot about that you're right we're going to be blessed with some of the highlights right now Seeker struggling actually to keep up with PGE over the course of the map. And I think that, you know, like that first round gave us some interesting sort of tank dichotomy. Eventually infected, making that switch and it pays off. Irissa was so Why nice. is a seed streamer I mean, playing Overwatch? Also okay, over dude. To the I think that's where we also got a chance to see a little bit more into the future of what the rest of the series is going to provide. Both Ariel and Infected have a pretty good tank you hear about ryan dying i think infected bit more Arisa in the scrap pv the missions well one that's not region, confirmed two still, uh the person the who apparently to tweeted to that do a bit uh, more response when it comes down to what infected i, I saw some other people be like hey you probably shouldn't you know ever a, talk about anything in the industry that's under nda because you could probably get so sued for that uh so uh one we don't know if it's actually true uh second off if it is true uh like, look at what I mean. PG is hitting all this. Probably shouldn't there. talk about it too much because you know you don't want people getting sued. <laughs> just, you know, fair enough. Just take credit for that. But one. honestly, that would have been if it was true, that'd be a nice icing on the cake so for all the, the shit. You know, of the game, just, just fuck it. Can I can I actually killing him after how terrible he's in Overwatch 2? That's kind of it's kind of spot on, you know. One thing that we observed, I think, was just Seeker struggling to find good angles. Like that one fight where he drops off the right side high ground, rolls away, and all of a sudden mm -hmm. Risa, he's just, you know, I joined the start of Moth Minute and Break Tops. Yeah, I mean, Moth Minute was interesting. When you do have, you know, enemy tanks or just teams that are really good at denying you good sight lines and not giving you room to land those consecutive shots. I think what that KD also speaks to is just how much space we were seeing these teams being willing to give up. Uh, you're not necessarily backing away because you fully lost the team fight. Maybe you've lost one or two members, and so the team just goes, I'm going to back away. Mm -hmm, I'm mm -hmm. not going to let you get any more ultimate How tall is J3? Uh, 6'7". Yeah. But we are going to see a sub, and FMCL is known to do this. Uh, they do have a very deep DPS pool and very talented DPS when it comes to this lineup. So Maimon is going to be stepping into the roster in favor of Seeker. And so I kind of wonder if we get a chance to maybe see some Echo in this next map. Yeah, that's like a classic pick for my mind. Always seen the Genji uh, Tracer at times, obviously representing Great Britain uh, in the World Cup. See our DPS player from Wales. You know, I've seen something in for Seeker. It definitely means that FMC are looking to maybe trend away from just you know relying maybe on Damn, I'm 5'11 at 18. Am I cooked? Two, nah, two everybody loves a short king. Seeker has shown us some of the most disgusting individual performances I think of any player, uh, you know, during the Overwatch League last year. This match, though, so far, he's not been out of shine. He's not been able to express that skill to the same degree. So he'll have a chance maybe to ruminate on that from the bench. And we set our sights forward towards Pada Izo. Ooh, so I definitely could see us getting some echo here and that makes me so excited because my moan really did have so many pop-up performances on that hero whether it was in the world cup or even just the time that i've been able to see them play in the na contender scene and echo right now is so interesting because we've seen in the past stage there this kind of unique dynamic of what is it that you're actually going to duplicate with an ultimate like that are you going to duplicate a tank before it was kind of like well now there's three mauga on the field and what are you going to do about it but are you going to duplicate a support because we've also seen that for immediate utility for something like a sleep dart and an auto that's what do you think about five one be team? honest puntable yeah i mean it was a, a time where like just bio grenade was so powerful because of how healing oriented the, the meta was that <laughs> you would see like the echo copy the honor and obviously you copy that <laughs> right where you were when you popped that so you maintain maximum 
altitude, and you have like a really nice <sighs> angle to throw a bionade in here, and basically hit multiple ple people, even over shields. That's less valuable now. Obviously, hey, that's what are you going to do? Way Bite my it, ankles? Especially because of the way that yeah, the DPS passive has sort of you know, made it a little bit harder just to overload your team with heals and, and keep them basically untouchable. So I like the idea, Rose, of, you know, getting a duplicate tank, especially if it's a powerful space tanking tank, like a RC next to a whole <laughs> set of cooldowns can be very powerful. Winston as well, given oh, that you're, you're building up a primal rage at a, you know, a That's kicks toddlers at soccer practice nice. confirmed. See a little bit yep. more here. Hey. But again, that the Ana, the Ana pick, the Ana duplicate, still you know? on the table. I would, I would say that my own has less support here, like in the but that, past. But that's mostly because Mercy really pair up with toddlers the, are annoying, you know. Now you got to be a little bit more. My mom was here today, actually. She was talking about how she had to like yeah, Kiriko is gonna be babysit the for uh, her like husband's and FMCL kids, kids. So like alongside his Lincoln. grandkids, so, right? You know, um, we might have seen and how they were just annoying as fuck, like you know, like just they have just constantly have to entertain them and they're just like a handful and she's like i don't know how i ever dealt with you and i was like what do you mean dealt with me i was a fucking saint i literally sat in my room all day playing video games like you 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 have to deal with now what an actual child is that's is like i was like god's gift to you you had you didn't do shits yeah it's really like exposing for better or for worse i think because defending with this winston requires you to take some risks and actually play out of those safe positions and you've got to make really informed decisions about where you engage my own could use a mercy right now instead he'll just make sure he basks in the glow of the susu as ass thrown at the ground so i was literally the best child anyone can ever ask for my grandma when i took my grandma told me so many times when i was kids like you literally never cried once like the entire time i've ever like i knew you as a baby you never cried literally a single time now coming into this match, I held my breath. I didn't get what I wanted. I, I passed out. <laughs> and I was really my dad did that. My, my dad would do that all the time. And uh, got a chance to catch any of the coast. I mean, this was like so. My dad was a toddler, right? And my grandma was told by his doctor at the time to just let him do it. Just, he's he'll he'll breathe before he passes out. <laughs> you saved all the crying for our watch. Nah, that's fucked up. I thought we were friends. That's fucked up. Of all things that you're gonna be able to land that on. Also, tiny hitbox, by the way. Uh, but also being able to just delete these tanks with that focusing beam. The combos are so good from my mom. Calhoun really just slightly healing in here. That DPS passive is hitting a little different. Cal eventually brought down by the pulse bomb. And it probably feels pretty tough, bros, uh, to be piloting his Brig against the team that, that has that echo. You just can't interact with her most of the time. Yeah, you can space out that Winston a little bit more, right? You can, you know, throw a whip shot in and make it harder for them to engage, but they're not going to full engage on you anyway. Even cry harder. after I was uh, a little bit stunted growing up. Uh, most of the time, anyway. So, we d I definitely want to see what? like how racket sort of de derives value from this pick. Made you cry. I agree with you. I think one of the things that the Brig can provide in this composition is just a little Yeah, how do you extra know the help? answer to that, though? Like how do you know if you're, tracer matchup? you know, so you have that happen? I cried over the Bastion short. It was kind of sad, though, so, you know, I kind of get it. Yeah, I don't think you want to be primaling into this Cassidy anymore. PGE switching off the Echo in favor of the Gunslinger here to try and win that battle. It looks like it's paid off. Eventually they'll fall you know? And able to deal with the yeah, but do you know, though? Because, like, there's been there's things I've learned about myself that I didn't know until somebody told me about their experiences and how it's been. And I was like, wait, I'm the, I have the same thing. Like, but I've never... I thought everyone did that. Or everyone had that. Force the attack is back here. The students of the game. I know Slack is they wait very little time and getting back into the fray. And it's going to be a tracer duplicate here. But then I am shield. Gives my own pause for thought. Don't want to be on the receiving end of a stun. If they can tank still shit? Yeah. Yeah. Had their rear end hanging out in the back of that bubble, then that was enough for Infected and Co. to fire the extra damage. My Mona at least gets those cooldowns down to refresh as they come out of duplicate. No great target. You're an annoying child. Soon yeah, I was not. I've got that car moving. Annoying to anyone. I was like the, the picture the game, perfect child. So never complained, smart. never fucking cried about anything. I just kind of, I just wanted to play video games. Just leave me alone. Uh, Evil Cow only in the 12 months. Appreciate it. Closer choke point. And I only ever got annoyed the is if, like, so asking, you made me do shit I didn't want to do. And even then, I didn't even complain that much. I was just like, I don't want to do this. And they're like, too bad. And I'm like, okay. Tracer but rally to actually have point presence, me still didn't stay. Point presence on that yeah, I had a hard point. shift when I nice. turned, like, 15, 14, 15. Over to the Lucio, and so when I, I turned, like, 14, 15, I was like, wait. I don't have to do these things? 
absolutely. Oh, fuck you. You ain't making me do shit. From Zero. Yeah, everything Zero everything changed are, once, like, I started developing, like, adult like male this. muscle and, like, <laughs> size, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, once I went from, like, okay, kid that can't do anything to, like, from phone the same size situation. as adults and then bigger than and most adults, it was like, wild, wait, by the, way. the fuck are you I mean, telling yeah, me what to do? I mean, I, it depends. You know? Are you tethering your phone or are you <laughs> literally using the wireless hotspot? I mean, I told you guys when I was in when I was in Portugal and I, like... Mom's right. stepbrother like, like hit me, like, like, like trying to scream me in a different yeah, language I didn't understand, and like I fucking hey, popped his ass, and he was just like, <laughs> like full on, like oh my god, like what the fuck, like he was like ah oh, dude, like I might be like thirteen, but I'm a lot bigger than you are, you know. Blow your cooldowns and uh, and again start to feel yourself. Like, bro, you're like faint, five so six. We'll you're you're fucking screaming at me in a language I don't understand, dude. I will fucking kill you. Damn, that story is sad. It is kind of sad. Never went back after that one. But I feel like FMCL do pretty well to shave as much time off the clock as they do. But yeah, that was that was that was about the time where I went. Yeah, wait a minute. I get to make my own decisions. More defensively, Rose, but. Um, yeah, I'm doing that. They're able to sort of bring this echo comp down uh, and get onto the point and then switch off. To Golden the Child, the Black Sheep Teenage yeah, Pipeline, that pretty much. Echo is going to be something my mom can you find out what he's saying? Oh, he was mad. He was mad. He was, he was trying to tell me to do something. He kept asking me to do something, but he was asking me in Portuguese, and he knew I didn't speak Portuguese. And I, like, my mom was in town that day, so, like, the only person who I was, like, decently communicating with was my grandpa. And he didn't speak Portuguese, but he just understood. Like, he was just very good at reading people. So, like, he was out because like they had a farm right and so i don't remember where he was but he was in a different part of the farm there and so we were like near the main house and there's like the main house and then they have like another building which is like storage for like meats and freezers and stuff like that and it was like near there like off to the side and he was like kept repeating the same thing i'm like dude i don't like i was like doing like this i'm like i don't know dude like i don't know what you're saying and he would just get louder and louder and eventually i was like dude what the f like why the fuck are you yelling at me i don't know what you're saying dude and he must have known what the word fuck meant in english because that's when that's when he got really pissed and i was like what what do you want from me and then he tried to hit me for like discipline me like you know like the, the classic like back and i was like don't you fucking dare and then he hit me he just, he just, he just, he just like ran back and he like went back and started yelling it for my grandma at the time he's like hey, and they're like you're going at it and then she like looks over and, like, what? and then he like comes up and then they fucking start talking and then he freaks the like my grandpa like freaks the fuck out like you hit it i could tell he was like what are you what's wrong like they were, they were arguing really bad and then my mom came back and oh man all hell broke loose when my mom got back my mom got back and I knew everything hit the fan. Cause she was like, what happened? And I told her and she goes, no. And just like, then it's just like Portuguese screaming and in, in, ensued. <sighs> Yo, well, not anonymous thanks to the gifty, the Pokemon. Appreciate it, dude. A tier three, goddamn. Well, I I mean, culture difference. Culture difference. Like, big Portuguese culture is you discipline with physical discipline. And, uh, yeah. I get in trouble now. What are they gonna do to me? My mom did say you probably shouldn't have hit him. But I was like, he hit me first, and my mom couldn't argue with that logic. She was just like, "All right, you're right." To get a real big elimination with his pulse bomb. Okay, they realize they can't go upstairs anymore. They're gonna be calling desperately for Healy right now, and finally it comes. My mom here playing out of line of sight of PGE, who really rules the roost from that little overpass. In fact, it comes up. So does the card. This is very, very low now as Katuna Rush gets thrown down there. Healed up, of course, by their recall. Now they're gonna get the job done. Don't even need the pulse bomb to finish off Ariel here. SOG find a burst of the foul. Hey, they could make most needed. They're able to get that second checkpoint and a 90 second extension. Yo, Cat, what's his face in the 14 months? Appreciate it. The fact that they only need the Katsune Rush is very well and they can hold on to this sound barrier means that they have bought themselves even more time throughout this third point. I'm hearing Portuguese egg tarts are tasty. Oh, like uh, tapas? Tapas are really good. Very, very good. Probably the best thing I ever had there. I actually miss those. So as soon as they game, they gotta get these picks fast and swiftly. PGE gonna be a big part of that. Am I rooting for any team in particular? No, but I do like um, Susan of the game. I like a lot of their players. In fact, it's cool. Rat's cool. PGE is pretty cool. He just seems to be three months. Appreciate it. 
Good pressure on Cal and Lip is there again. Lips follow ups. I mean, the, the, these matches I recognize like every player in the game. Like EU, not really as much, but this one I, I recognize all. Go back to get the defense. Play a little bit around this high ground. And if you're on this bridge, little, you can bullied for being really nice girl and I got bullied for having a small card. voice. But I mean, I got bullied in like elementary school, but that was because I didn't so realize how different I was. Uh, mostly because like my parents, my mom especially was like extremely shut, like overprotective. And so like I was like super sheltered, didn't understand that like a lot of things that I thought were normal were not normal. But I was also not afraid to throw it out at like any absolute moment. It was not good. I got in trouble a lot of times. A lot of times. This is already paving the way for the rest of students of the game. 90 seconds they came into this stage with and looking very, very good to finish the map now. No one thinking of the gifty as well. Appreciate it. To tier three to ML. Thanks. Um, yeah, like my mom accidentally got a bus driver fired. Because, uh, like, I would have been fighting with some kid on the bus and my mom got on the bus and, like, yelled at the kid. Because, like, he was starting it very clearly. Uh, and you're not supposed to let parents on the bus. Second. So, like, I got fired. Which she didn't mean for that to happen, but. It's good enough, too, because that's yeah. still a win condition on the board <clears throat> that was like i think i was in like second or third grade back. or even well yeah you know the, either you tie or you go into more rounds or you just win it out right i think it's yeah no i did i did uh one. martial arts so i was 13 or 14. i got my junior black belt which is like the one with like a white stripe in the middle but then i started football and there was no way i could do both it was just too much physically uh, and then I was going to pick it back up in the winter, but then I did lifting instead. And then I was going to pick it back up in the spring, but I ended up doing rugby instead, so I just dropped the whole thing. What's up, Sam? Thanks, buddy. We've seen from him on multiple times. Cal, yeah, well, all through high school, they recently divided your 10th anniversary, so you say I've declined. You know what's actually... Okay. All right. All right, we need to have a talk. We have a talk. My mom is like really good friends with uh, the parents of a teacher I had in school and they he lives in Florida and so they had dinner this week because my mom was in Florida with her husband and he said oh I heard your son is famous and I go my mom's like what are you talking about and apparently this like the school does like a, you know, like a newspaper thing or whatever right like every month or every two months and apparently i was fucking in it because if you remember like two months ago someone came into chat and you remember if you were here there was somebody who like hardcore almost doxed me if you remember i got pissed i was like dude what are you doing because they like found me and they found i went to the school and they went like with my old yearbook and they like they found like a bunch of shit right and i was like dude stop what <laughs> and i guess it must have been them right and so apparently i was in it and uh they like talked about like a bunch of stuff about me being like a streamer and, and like all this other stuff i haven't seen any of it uh but apparently because like it's his someone i like that was a teacher there that i had their father they're also like subscribed to it or whatever and so it was like, oh yeah, I read all about your son in the new in the school's newspaper, like you know, like the monthly whatever the fuck they send out. And I have no idea. I haven't seen it. I don't know what any of it is. Uh, but yeah, I was like, you motherfuckers brag about me going to your school, but you also leave out the part where you almost kicked me out multiple times, and the person who spearheaded kicking me out of the school got convicted. Got literally found to be a actual pedo but they had cancer so they died like two months after it was discovered so nothing ever happened because they literally died and that motherfucker tried to kick me out of school multiple times and none of you fuckers tried to stop it except one guy only one person ever tried to stop you and you're gonna use my name as a success story for your school fuck you Fuck you. I have not I have not gotten over that. I I I refuse to get over it until I get some apology from someone in that upper leadership that actually was part of that spearhead to try to get me kicked out. You fucks. Fucking pissed me off when I heard about that. Little bastards. That's still a lot of space and time for the rest of the reinforcements of FMCL to come back. And you also, the Tracer used a ton of huge skills. The only reason I didn't get kicked out was because the principal was this really fucking cool dude who 
He was my dad's teacher, and he was this bodybuilder. He's literally a 6'8 bodybuilder. The guy was a literal human mountain. And he caught, he literally happened to be walking by the room when they were talking about kicking me out. And he goes, Mr. Flaherty, what are you, what are you doing? How are you doing, sir? He comes in, shakes my hand, like, and, I, and they were like, uh, like, what are you doing here? And he was like, oh, I just walked by. I figured I'd pop in and see how he's doing. And then they were like, he was like, what's going on? And they told him what they were doing. And they were like, he was like, what? What? No, 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 no. You're not, you're not kicking him out. And, like, he, and then basically was like, all right, what's the problem? And then like talked through like the issues they had. And he was like, okay, like that's fixable. All that's fixable. He was like, give the kid a chance. Give the kid a chance. Like what's wrong with you guys? And so basically he was like, listen, you know, he's like, they got a point on what they're saying, but I also don't think it's fair. Like he's like, I should, you should like, you should have at least until the end of the year to fix the problems that, they're, that they have with you. And then I believe you could do it. If you really wanted to, you could do it. I was like, uh-huh. And he's like, We'll give you to the end of the year. And then after that, I can't really say a whole lot. But I, for right now, because it was like January. He's like, for right now? No, they're wrong. I won't let them do it. And I was like, okay. And so I did the thing that he said. And I did it. And then they were like, well. He was like, well, he did what I'd asked him to do. And so you guys have no power now. So that dude was awesome. I'll never forget that. But the rest of them, fuck him. Bubble here. That's a problem for PGE. Fam the hammer here. Force Ariel back, but now they come back in with a primal rage. And there is a classic cow sleep. Ariel here. Has a brief date with a Sandman. And that looked like a whip shot that keeps them off that high ground. Even in primal, Ariel is struggling to stick to a target. In fact, it's very, very healthy here. The attackers are expending some big resources, but they haven't gone for the big... Yeah, there was, there was a couple weird people at that school. There was one guy... I've told this story before. There was one guy I was always very yeah, sus of. Uh, he was a Spanish teacher I had. And he fucking hated me, but he also was very weird with me. And anytime he walked by me, like when I was doing like stuff, he'd always touch my shoulder and like he'd be like, "Oh, how like how's the work coming or whatever." And always he was always super touchy, super fucking touchy. It makes me it would always made me super uncomfortable, right? It always made me very very like, "Okay, dude, stop." And at, he f How and he well, at one point I like he did that them. he did like the uh, thing and I went like this I, I, I really and ever since then he was always like raiding right my right stuff right extremely right harshly right you know right okay, no, and so I ended up failing his class just barely like we're talking 64.4 out of 65 and he needed 65 to pass and he refused to bump me up luckily for this part of the story my dad's no longer alive my dad absolutely made sure he did not make it home that day his car got fucked <laughs> his car did not make it out of the parking lot that day really expensive ultimates to have too i think hey he's dead though nothing you can do about it now concert providing but yeah i told my dad about it he was not happy that guy did not make it out of the parking lot that car did not make it home that day now that's off the board, <sighs> all the tires, all the panels, that thing got fucking smoked. For this next engagement, and when the car is stopped where it and is, he knew. He, would love to just have that he knew. He knew it was. He knew it was from me. He knew it. Push this cart forward. Because from that As point on, and whenever I saw him in the hallways it, after that, he always would really like just look at me on the way by and just stare. So I guess that's where you're Wouldn't say a word. I'm like, you know, we both know. It wasn't just me. He did it too. It was a couple other people. But he, it was only a couple, like, you know what I mean? Like, if I knew three people he would do it to, and that was it. I was like, dude, you're strange. Was he fired? Nope. We had no proof. Like, if you, what are you, you going to go to him and be like, oh, he keeps touching my shoulder on the way by, and, like, you know, keeps brushing against me every time he walks by, like, anyone's stuff. Like, they're just going to go, like, oh, maybe he didn't mean it. And here looking absolutely you know? fabulous when it comes to dealing with that aerial threat of my own, who's been quiet on the second phase. And Rose, there's only 10 seconds left. Someone's gonna have to come in and touch. We really hope that it would be Ariel being able to have that primal rage, <clears throat> but it's gonna be an uphill battle for FMCL to climb. We had a teacher who throw chairs at students who was never fired. Clutching onto that sleep dart now. <laughs> we had nothing not like that. When dealing with the angry primate. Uh. They do take note of the only, uh, the only somewhat spicy story I have, like, in that department, uh, was, well, I guess there's two. One was this guy who ended up becoming the dean, like, cornered this kid, like, in a classroom and was talking about why it's been such a problem to him and, like, you know, he doesn't like him and he needs to stop causing problems in all of his classes and stuff and, like, got, like, sort of somewhat physical with him and the kid fucking hit him once. 
once really hard and dropped him. And then they were going to kick the kid out for that, but then they discovered uh, on the on the tapes that he had cornered him in that room. Like, he pulled him into a classroom that was empty. And so, like, that's really weird to do. And so the, ca the, the cameras didn't catch what happened. But they were like, yeah, a teacher shouldn't be pulling you into a room like that for a one-on-one. -on -one. Like, that's really, really bad. Uh, so they ended up letting it go. And he fucking... He got away with dropping the guy. An the other one, really which was funny, one of my good friends, so actually. And I don't want to say much more than that, but it was a good friend of mine who had a really good you know, future. Some kid said some teach. some really, really like rich kid so and his friends said something kind of like, racist to him. Like, pretty, they, they called him the, 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 the big one. Yeah. And uh, he literally like, knocked so out both of them in, in the middle of the cafeteria in front of everybody. Nothing happened to him. Not a thing. Not a thing. They were like, yeah, I think you guys shouldn't have said that. You guys should not have said that. <laughs> it was funny though. Like, it was weird. Like half the school didn't even know what happened. I remember, I remember talking about it like a, like three months later to somebody with one like someone else that I knew pretty well, and they're like, "That happened." I was like, "Wait, do you not know?" They they they've swept that shit under the rug so fast. That it hits a little bit better about <clears throat> saying Lucio over and over again as Lulu 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 than Look, Monkey 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 Monkey. This is great. I mean, they've taken a three syllable word and turned it into <laughs> one. This is a yeah. huge step forward in like communication in the Overwatch world. I think this <laughs> should be studied, honestly. The amount yeah, of efficiency. I think that was a Nobel Prize. Uh, honestly, like the amount of efficiency the students of the game have now. Nice to see they didn't follow the old the zero tolerance bullshit. They can fit in. Oh, it's, it's no, they did. Three. They that did. Uh, but like, forward, and furthering mm. e I'll just Overwatch say that he had a very, very bright Again, future. The three. And if that ever went public, I think that public opinion would have been on his side very quickly. So they were like, you know, and let's not deal with that. I mean, an and also, the parents were very, very well off, and were like, well, "What's, what's it going to take to not deal with this?" Dark Age was twenty five months for sure. It was the first time in my life I really experienced like people who had true wealth and like what they could get away with. Yeah, who cares about the high noon? What really matters is that consistent damage output that this Cassidy has been providing. Not only has it just been like either great body shots onto a big hitbox like the Winston, or you're taking out these. Hey, did you tiny threaten to expel you because you didn't like have the Sarah's school tracer. jacket? What does that mean? Like, it feels you really mean school nice jacket? To, to know that you like you had like a dress code? Some of those more slippery units and. Yeah, it's full trust, and that's what you expect and want to have out of a team that's going to be running a dive-centric comp, or, or the Orisa that we've seen, and everybody's been saying needs very high levels of It's almost baby time, Flats yes, believe. Yes, absolutely, and we've seen teams that like, have a slightly weaker Orisa setup. Right up, appreciate it. At you guys, M80, and how that can sort of manifest, right? So, I'm going to say infected, mm -hmm. nasty. They are super nasty. This is what like that grind down in tier two gets you. Obviously, uh, it was a huge factor on that trip. All right, last map. If they win they this last map, and, uh, shocked, uh, you know, and then I, uh, too more, but, I think we uh, swap yeah, right. <laughs> had a great showing. And I mean, mirror. Mirror, My chemistry feature got fired Savage. when almost everybody failed because their final exams. Really we warned them for years, they didn't listen. It's too late. To oh, my freshman year biology to teacher got fired because of that. She series. failed like three and quarters the of the grade. Huge. I do think that, that had her. Having an honor, she was uh, wild. Sort of like, actually, it was. You know, honestly, a lot of students thought that she was like had something on the side with a couple of students because like she was so strange. Like she would like sit. Like, it was like three students in my class that were her favorites, and one was like her giga favorite, and like she would like sit on their desk and stuff. Um, it was wild, wild. How you run into the? She had like this little cart that she would always like push around, and. She, like, I don't know what it was, but this girl was, like, the most clumsy person I've ever seen, and, like, there was three separate times where she accidentally dumped her coffee on herself to the point where people were like, wait a minute, are you accidentally doing that? Are you doing it for attention? Like, we're talking, like, full-on, like, whoa, like, um... And then, okay, this one's a little bit gross. Um, so if you're squeamish, maybe like for like a second. Uh, but one day she had her period in the middle of class uh, and was wearing white pants and it was everywhere. Uh, and she taught the whole class.
She just, she just she figured it out within like the first like 20 minutes and then just like she just kept going did not stop and it was at an all-boys school it was very nobody knew what to say everyone was like freshman year high school everyone's like 14 year old boys were like what the fuck do we like what do you do so like everyone just was like like nobody was like whispering or laughing like nobody said a word we were just like there's little things that one uh, and then, like, she came back, like, second half of the day, and she was in sweatpants. And it was like, wow, this is something. I can't imagine the embarrassment of that one, but, yeah, she was she was strange. She got fired, though. I will tell you, that was probably one of the most awkward moments of my entire life. I would give this upper hand to students of the game right off the bat. Oh, and the worst part of it all is every day uh, you had what was called lo your long period. So every class was 45 minutes, but once a day you'd have one that was an hour and five minutes, and that was the hour and five minute class for that day. So, yeah, that was, that was good. That was a great. But for now, you're off to a good start. This is what you need to see, especially when you're trailing Rose in this series. It sounds like a private school. Yeah, it was. Which is a bit more defensively favored than what student FMCL are going to have to deal with. They can play around this barrier, though, which uh, keeps yeah, them in a lot of game with the quarters around here. But we're sort of back to square one. And the fighting over this midpoint, looking to see who can actually get the first... Honestly, it was really smart. Because, you know, yeah. kids don't only stay... <laughs> like, you don't only pay attention for so long. Zero back in a way here a little bit lower. Remember the healing doesn't come instantaneously from the Lucio. Holy so shit, Bubba. Wins that out for yeah, I've never understood the, the teacher who's power okay, trip and say like you can't go to the bathroom. Never understood that. On these rail guns. If I'm completely Plus, honest, I've never even understood the whole the notion of like you have to ask to go to the bathroom. I think it's fucking stupid. I know so it's like not like kids just getting up and walking around, but like I feel like you can figure it out within the first like six seconds of them getting up, like where are they going? That was big, and that was a javelin, I think, that hit PGE, so... That it wasn't but then again, teaching is an extremely difficult there. job that I would never wish on my worst enemy. Uh, so, like, I also kind of understand that kids are probably really fucking annoying, and they're trying to, like, get up and walk around, and it's like, oh, I'm just going to the bathroom, man, but they took, like, a nine-minute fucking break where they walked around the entire room to go talk to their friend really quick, you know? And it's like, okay. Manners? Uh, yeah, well, where in your adult life as manners right now do you have to ask permission to go to the bathroom? Anywhere. Nowhere. Basically a full slate of ultimates here for students of the game. But expect these Kitsune rushes okay, to go down. If you're an adult, you don't ask somebody if you can go pee. Like, you, you go. Like, the only time you would do that is if, like, you're working, like, a, like, an event with somebody, and you're like, hey, like, I need to run to the bathroom. Can you cover for me really quick? Just so, like, the thing that you're doing isn't left undone. But, like, you're not, you're not asking them if you can go to the bathroom. You're telling them you needed to go, you're going to the bathroom, you just need someone to cover. You know what I mean? That expires now. PGE though finds himself in a pretty overextended position, so great sound barrier from Rack to try and protect them. Military, no, it's, okay, like come on now, that's. Let's be serious. Inside that side room, so students of the game take a sidebar here. They actually got the lead off that push, so they're happy enough to give it up. Seeker though, without ultimate, finds a massive headshot. They might lose it straight away. Yeah, a real soldier just pee his pants though. Let's be real. Fight to win as well, just because of how Not really, but. Over this midpoint, these two teams have done. So in second grade, can my class literally shit himself because the teacher wouldn't let him go? You could hear the noises in the chair because as it was too. Oh my fucking god! It feels so good. FMCL did have to use a sound barrier there, uh, and so you know they still have a lot to work with. But I'm really looking at students of the game just now having to play on the back foot. <laughs> The only thing that I have that's more foul than that is when I was in elementary school, uh, there was a girl who was uh, special needs, and um, there was a, a boy she really, really liked, and one day he went into the bathroom, and she went to the bathroom, into the bathroom, followed him into the boys' bathroom, and shat in the urinal next to him. Wow, amazing. It's been so back and forth. I mean, Mitch, we're only four minutes into this map and we're barely... I, I don't know much more about that story other than that. On either side. Yeah, this tour, this is not much of a tour at all. <laughs> I, I am not doing any sightseeing. I want my money back. Although at least the Coliseum is pretty big. 
Uh, yeah, I've been looking, looking at it. To see. I've been looking at it for like 10 minutes. Ooh, okay, okay. Interesting. Ariel pops out pretty early. And infected holds their Terra Surge a little bit longer. Renko I actually don't really think if she really knew what she did, though, in, if I'm honest. With a swift step uh, to try and help Ariel out. This is going horribly wrong never here didn't, for FMCL. I mean, like, to be fair, like, I, I guess it depends on where you live. Like, everyone's school experience is different, but um, it kind of depends. Like, you know, there's people that have, like, ADD or ADHD, but if it, like, gets, like, up into, like, you know, like, really severe, um, things sometimes like you will not even see those students you know for like many long periods and very close after that we didn't really see her that often like you'd see her like at assemblies you know so it was probably was they were still probably learning a lot at that time now we have an Arisa Diffus. Aerial is the only one standing. Daryl with a pulse play might not need to deal, deal with PG. Ian Seeker again gets there. We have a scheduled whole classroom break every 30 minutes, 85 minute class periods. This seems to be enough for almost every student. Yeah, that's nice though, because even if you don't have to go pee, like you get like a nice little break. That's nice. Is that high school level or college? Uh, this is I think three months. Well, so we get expected these rush layered on top of each other. <clears throat> but I'm really looking here at Zara being able to make a big difference with this pulse bomb or even a seeker just Oh, yeah, I respect dude. I respect so the fuck out of moments, teachers, dude. If you're a teacher Dude, if you're a teacher, you genuinely have like my utmost respect Like I like this might sound like the most out-of-pocket shit But like I put teachers like in the same level of respect as like people have like served Like genuinely like it's not the same. I know that you're not risking your life in the same way but like, good lord, dude, the, like, the amount of work that you do for like how little you're paid, I could, I literally wouldn't, I couldn't make my worst enemy do that, genuinely. You know, obviously there's good teachers and bad teachers, obviously, like, but there's there's good and bad in every every thing of the world, you know, but. My God, I I couldn't make I wouldn't make my worst enemy be a teacher. Uh, but it's gonna be off the back of a big yeah, the kids are little shits not wrong okay straight away infected starts to fight off terror surge this is awkward who's gonna break first in fact that was a huge suzu actually right there did you see that saved him from taking the terror surge damage oh yeah of course oh, of course of course but they weren't looking at zara who was nipping at the heels the entire time in fact it's in trouble they have to fortify though, yeah, that's enough to give them enough lifespan to run down Ariel. Soon as the game just managed to get back in control, and they still have that slim lead. They still have the slim <clears> lead, <throat> and at this point too, one more team fight will actually yeah, you get You have to like a next point. level of but patience, point, too, you know? Like two and a half minutes left, I, I take the lead, even if it is just a couple of meters. They don't have a whole lot to work with, though, so keeping it's going to be a little bit tough, but the best thing that they can do right now is just play from a position where they're not going to give Seeker too much territory with this overclock, because they will be have tracking ultimates. They know that this overclock is ready to go. Ah, uh, the classic Coliseo. Stand in the middle of the map and just wait till somebody kills somebody. Otherwise, do nothing. And FMCL for now seems satisfied with getting back to the neutral zone of the map. Uh, I think FMCL is just FMCL. I thought it stood for something too, but I don't know. That's when you need to respect the sojourn. Zeke is still holding on this. Because he knows that SOG could just disengage here into the side room, but that might set things up for Ariel. Wait, the older they are, the more likely to be pro. Nah, that's not true. I worked my my senior year of high school. Uh, I worked, I volunteered at an elementary school in my town. Um, and some of the most misbehaved kids or the most little shits really had like the worst home life. Like there was one kid that was really, really bad. Like he used to like start fights all the time and kind of like bully other kids and all this other shit. Um, uh, and then, like, his mom, like, was, like, barely around. His, like, grandma was his main, like, person who took care of him. And, like, he used to come to school in, like, 20-degree weather with, like, no jacket, shorts. Um, he was, like, dressing himself, never had lunch. Like, that, you can tell. Like, that's... That's not his fault. Yes, and the hair's starting to stress. Jesus Christ. I, honestly, I don't... 
Honestly, I'm not even that surprised. I can only imagine how stressful it is all the time. Like, I was just, like, a volunteer, so I didn't have to deal with, like... I didn't have to deal with that, you know? Because, like, they were, like... Okay, so I would... Like, I was trying to help in certain situations. Like, for example, that kid was struggling a little bit with, like, test-taking. Um, so I sat with him one time while he was taking a test. And he was just, like... He just started asking for the answers. I'm like, I'm not going to give you the answers, man. And he's like, why not? Like, you know, if I, he's like, if I annoy the assistant and aid teachers enough they'll just give me the answers why won't you give me the answers and i was like because if i give you the answers you're not gonna know anything and then when you go back and try to learn the shit later you're gonna be screwed and he's like yeah but at least i'll get a good grade and i was like yeah but then it's just, it's gonna bite you in the ass down the line so if you don't know it like i'll sit here and talk to you maybe like help you figure it out and like teach you it a little bit but i'm not gonna just straight up give you the answer and he's just like so annoyed he's like oh fine i guess and i was like well at least he's willing to listen a little bit and then i told them that he at least agreed and they were all like dumbfounded they were like he agreed and i was like yeah They're like we can't get him to do shit i was like oh but then that stuff started happening and they were like yeah you're not really trained to deal with the situation and i was like you're not wrong uh so i ended up not working with them anymore never know what happened to them but once once it started getting kind of serious and they knew like how much was kind of going on uh yeah like i think something else someone else ended up taking over but that kid was struggling a lot and i would say that's not that's not his fault that map was a little bit closer that I think maybe some people would have expected, but hey, students of the game, I think they're beating the allegations here. Huge. This is a team that people can still depend on to be at the top of the NA leaderboards. They have earned their ticket into the second stage main event, and they get a chance to prove themselves again. Really yeah. right now, and I not think surprised. Especially if they're able to move into a not surprised. I mean, all the problems I had when I was in school were all because of home-related shit. They're and then once my home life like got better, uh, and, uh, I got better. Washed, so that has been answered. <laughs> yeah, we beat those allegations. This yeah, th oh, those yeah. allegations do be gone. I, I was always very, very impressed. Uh, I mean, for for players like PG, just take it to <laughs> Seeker and Cole <laughs> in the way he did. He put okay. lights out. I was I was very impressed. Check something really PG, quick. Especially uh, Caesar as well. I think just the entire team really, really showed up. So for looking at um, the highlights from uh, the match, I think I'll, 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 I'll let the highlights happen sure, and then probably go to variety. Did home life get better? Uh, my parents got divorced. Off of their game there. Honestly, that simple. I think we had a lean on having a stronger Orisa comp. It's pretty huge, right? When all else fails, you can revert to that and take the mirror and be confident that you can win it out. This first map was just a masterclass in denying Cassidy's sightlines from him. And then, like, the switch to Sombra at the end, knowing there'd be a Doom Fist in play from PGE, was really heads up. Uh, and it didn't only shut the Doom down, it kind of ran wild itself. And then, on Paraiso, I feel like the, the Ana Brink combo against the Dive was a huge difference maker. Life got any better for Split? No. Really my mom was. worked two jobs. So she was, like, never home. Uh, my dad... Position. Yeah, had his share of issues uh but i spent a lot of time with my grandparents my grandpa was like my second dad for a long time uh but the thing is though is i was no longer being smothered and i was no longer like not allowed to do things that like every other kid was allowed to do you know like for example i wasn't allowed to like go to anyone's houses right and i i didn't learn until i was older the whole reason my mom was doing that was because she was afraid of somebody figuring out what was wrong and things that were happening and getting social, like child services called uh because my mom was in the time I'm going to school she was trying to become a hairstylist and she was in school trying to because she had already made her plan to leave but she had no money and she's like an immigrant here so she was trying to get the skills so when she would go for the divorce she'd be able to you know handle herself so she just needed to buy time so she would never let me go to anyone's house because if they ever figured it out like uh oh that guy that, that that's big trouble didn't know that though also still a little bit not fair to a child but I think in general, uh, the Arisa comp for yeah. the game is very, very tight. They've managed to look once I once that was no longer like a restriction, so I could kind of like be more of a kid again and do stuff, you know? Uh, very, very, very small window that like most kids that, do. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean? And so like then all the problems pretty much disappeared.
Like I wasn't getting in fights anymore. I was I was friends with all the really scary kids though. Uh, all the kids who ended up either becoming really uh, interesting people uh, and, and did illegal things. I was kind of friends with that group, uh, which is why I ended up going to a private school because my grandparents put me in it because they were like, uh oh, like we don't want you going down the wrong path. Although to be fair, I wasn't doing anything wrong. I wasn't doing anything bad. I was friends with all the scary kids, but I wasn't personally doing anything anymore. I was just friends with them. So like I was friends with the really scary people, but I wasn't, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if that makes any, I don't know if that makes any sense. <sighs> no, I really wasn't. I really didn't do anything. Like I, like once I hit like middle school, I was like, I never got in any fights. Like even people should talk to me. I was just laugh. I was like, dude, you don't want this. You, you don't, you don't want it. Like I was like, dude, I know where you're from. Like you're literally from like the rich part of town. Like your parents are like, super well off you're you're literally just a bitch like if you want to start something i promise you it won't go well no one ever did you know because i was friends with the scary kids at that point and the scary kids are the only people that would actually do anything and it's like why would you fight with the people that you're friends with you know do you really strict religious parents no 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 they weren't religious my mom was super strict but mm -mm. i like religious strict to be fair, your fr current friends are Overwatch players. Scary, tree and scary for scary. Very different type of scary. You know? Um. No, I, I'm not talking about football age. We're talking like, you know. I mean, I was still friends with them when I was when I went to a different high school, but not like the same way of friends. You know, which is was definitely a good thing. Uh. Because a lot of them. This is, is going to be a good one. In fact, in fact, it's pretty funny. I'm good. Thank you for casting and just hosting. This has been an awesome tournament to play in. Oh, Ben, I mean, plays like what we just got to see from you and your team, they make it so very enjoyable for us. So we love our job, thanks to you. Uh, let's no, I mean, through the game here a little bit. I mean, you it wasn't it wasn't anything like that. It was just more of a like, respect thing, you know, because like a lot of us grew up together like, or like if I didn't grow up with them, because like middle school is a lot of like prepping for the depending on where you live, it's like multiple elementary schools can like all funnel into one, you know? Um, I would say we had this like whole week. So like a middle like, lot of people that also grew up like me, but and to be honest, like in our practice, like we hadn't known each other at that point. Great, like playing as a team, we definitely had. So it was like more outsides, just mutual respect, I guess. Like this win definitely gave me and I'm pretty sure our whole team a lot of confidence going forward. You're obviously, uh, you know, you've got I only ever had to use it once, that like that respect. We, we you and I use it to basically on, like, save a kid from getting with, with legitimately with killed well, you're on a team, for some stupid shit he said. Veteran, like, but then that kid started stabbing me in the back, so yeah, yeah it is what it is, I guess. sort of feel pressure from that? Do you feel like you're able to sort of, you know, like kind of access Mirror's brain and sort of talk a little bit about the game? Is there any sort of you know cross pollination going on there? It might sound stupid, but I'm very happy to be adult out nowadays. A lot of that shit, even though you can like look back at it and be like, oh, like that was crazy. God, it was so ass. I, mean, I wouldn't say I feel pressured. I just feel like more, um, I don't know. I'm just happy he's on the team because I'm just able to talk to him because he is a really smart and great yeah. player. It's always nice to have like, Who's he like, talking about? You know, like somebody who understands your role is also really smart. But I'm, I always feel confident playing. Yeah, you look at the Homeschooling starts for me soon because of heart issues. Damn. Yeah, 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 thank you. I hope it goes so well. I know hard homeschooling can be give us a bit of insight from uh, yourself. Like, where do you feel like students of the game really fall into the power of the North America region? Would you guys rate yourself top four, top eight? Your thoughts? Um, I still think we could definitely make top three, maybe even top two for sure, if we just keep playing how we normally play. I think a lot of teams like Timeless and like Luminosity are also really good, but they definitely have some weaknesses and are very beatable. So you can see you can see students of the game getting up there. We keep playing good. We're excited and hope to see that, of course. And now one last question before we let you go. Uh, the Orisa comp, as we just said already, like that looked really, really clean. Now heading into the main event, which you guys just small town, thirty uh, three thousand people. Yeah, yeah my my town was much bigger much than that. I mean, I grew up in patch. Boston, so. Word on the street is that we might see some ball play and whatnot. Are you worried, excited? How are we feeling about the upcoming patch? 
I'm very excited. I don't think you really want to be homeschooled, though. Like, like you're saying, like, you wish you were, like, you miss out yeah, on a lot of socialization like, uh, lot of that you don't realize, I think, when you do homeschool well, stuff. Like, don't get me wrong. Good. Like, there's there's goods and bads, that's but... Right. That's a promise. I take it as such. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Something you probably don't realize right now. You know? Like, I became friends with people in, like, college that were homeschooled, and you could tell they were so different. Like, it took them a long time to become, like, socially acclimated. Uh, like, they just didn't understand certain things. Oh, my God. That talent takedown was... You know. So bad. Like, severely bullied. Oh, I'm not... I mean, I'm not saying, like, that's good, obviously. Like, obviously, that's fucking terrible. But, you know, in some really, really shit way, you probably learned a lot. You probably learned a lot from that. You know? Not saying it's a good thing, but... You probably learned a lot about empathy, you know? I learned a lot about, uh, you don't like the way people treated you, so you try to treat people better. You know what I mean? Stuff that maybe you wouldn't have learned. Well, the left brain like cell, a... the right brain cell, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. think we were even the same organ at that point. Like, there was, there was like some, some liver and a kidney finding it out. Like, there was, there was no <laughs> brains. Uh, either way, I know that the teams we have coming up, uh, they yeah, my look, I don't know what you see. I don't will see that. They looking like we did in that no, other game. So thank God. very excited. And they have to play their hearts out because the next one up is an elimination game. Wizard going up against who is Goldfish? All of that? My sister homeschooled her daughter, but had no concept of physical education yeah like god I never even thought about something like that but you're probably right so I am see oh, socialization through church scouts homeschool meetups etc see I'm gonna completely pick keep it a buck with you it sounds like your parents were super, super involved. Cause like, that sounds like the traditional super family that tries to, yeah, and, and I say that cause like, it sounds like kind of like how my dad was raised, but he actually went to like public school, right? Uh, but also at the same time, uh, at least for me personally, I would fucking hate that. Uh, oh, I didn't even see that boop earlier. I have this, um, I don't know if I should say it. Ah, fuck it. What's the worst that's gonna happen? I do not have the highest opinion of things like scouts or church or stuff like that. Uh, because a lot of times I've realized that those people are not the nicest people that they always claim to be. Or the front that they always put on. Because sometimes they believe, uh, because they do this thing that's thought of as a very good thing, uh, they think that they are almost better than people that don't do those things. Uh, and some of the worst people I've met are people that are heavily, heavily involved with groups that are more smiled upon uh, by communities than uh, others. Uh, and I mean, I had, so I wasn't really a big church person. Uh, I went to a Catholic school, but uh, I wasn't really a church person. My family never really made me go that much. My mom's kind of religious, but my dad was like, eh, do whatever you want, kid. Uh, but to get my confirmation, I had to end up going to, like, these, like, couple fucking church things or whatever. Because, like, normally you have to, like, go to, like, the school for, like, a year. You know, it's like an after-school bullshit. But because I went to a Catholic school, they're like, oh, you probably already know all this stuff. So, like, you just have to go to this camp, right? And it's, like, three days. And it was fucking useless, you know? And they got mad at me because I missed, like, the first two hours. And you were there for, like, ten hours for two days straight. And I missed two hours because I had a football game and I told them ahead of time. And they're like, well, you know, you're supposed to be here the entire time. And I'm like, dude, like we have playoff. We're gonna be in the playoffs. Like this is big. And they're like, well, your faith should I was like, how are you fucking faith my goddamn nuts, dude? And you know, everyone that I knew, it was like all kids that like I grew up with like in middle school and stuff. Because like my high, like some of my kids, friends of high school were there too, but not many. Because, like, my high school is, like, mostly from all around. So, it's, like, my town. People I haven't really seen that much. So, a lot of people I used to know. And they were, like, holy shit. Like, you've changed so much. Like, talking about me. Like, like dude. Like, you're just, like, so confident. You know? Because uh, I, like, wasn't, like, that way when we were growing up. And it was funny how a lot of these kids, that, like, either didn't like me or didn't talk to me before. All of a sudden, all wanted to be my best friends. And 
they were just mean, terrible people. So like, I had been, when I was young, like elementary school, middle school, like on the receiving end of a lot of like their bullshit. But then once high school came around and like, they were like, holy shit, you're like a somebody now. And so like, they would talk to me through the camp or whatever. And like, I realized like, they were like telling me like a couple of them were like sneaking away for a bit. Cause like there was like 50 or 60 kids. And so they're like, oh yeah, actually this back door over here is actually unlocked. So we can go outside and like smoke and whatever. <laughs> I was like, I'm good. I'm good, but it was it was so strange to see their their nice side, you know, to see their nice side after knowing how fucking like borderline evil they've been in the past. And I met I've met more people like that as I've you know gone on with life. Uh, so yeah, I've always had like a little uh, maybe a little biased against it, you know. What's up, Porkchop? You know, because. Like, I personally... I personally probably wouldn't, you know, ever want to be involved with anything like that. <clears throat> On, honestly, I think I, I'm, I'm having a good time sh streaming this right now, so maybe we, maybe Variety gets on the back, back burner. Sorry. <sighs> no, I know not all churches are good, not, like, just like public or private high schools are too. I know that, but... Uh, I tend to notice in, in communities like that, there's more politics and there's more uh, people being, I don't want to say virtue sing signaling, but more. Heroes, uh, this is your game, your team. And now this more is of like policing game. others' behavior than in other this is your groups, Win your matches, right? Battle for your progression. Go far, go further, even as far as the Esports World Cup. It is your time to shine. Build your team, register your team, go the distance with your team. Face it, Lee. Powered by you. When's the Fallout Welcome watch party happening? Getting ready for the I don't know. Match here in the I, heard the, I heard the first episode was pretty good, though. Is Mitch and Rosemary and you, dear people watching, you can join us in the Face It League. If you happen to play competitively or semi-competitively, or maybe just for fun, it uh, turns out we actually have some team. Hey. Oh, I mean, I'm happy. I'm uh, I'm hyped for like the first like well, ten picks so of the draft, but other than that, like I'm not really that excited. Stage. So everything is possible in the world of Overwatch. Actually, the two teams we have coming up. School with super low test scores by any metric in bad school isn't because the teachers or admin or other structures are bad. I can imagine. I can imagine where you where you mean. Next two contenders, we are finding ourselves in an elimination match between Visor and who is goldfish and quite frankly the only player here i'm familiar with is lava from uh their time with um oh, Ohio state university yeah. oh yeah like i mean like but it's one of those it. things Anyone like you know do like, do what makes you happy know. and if it's see. something that you so enjoy and it's good hey that's fucking awesome for you i'm happy for you i just i'm not a big fan of people who try to police others into what they think they should be like or enjoy or whatever in a lot of ways you know i think as long as it's like you just respect people who, who they are that's fine um it's like you know it's like once you start changing everybody else it's like okay that's weird hcd is horizon zero dawn although at this rate i don't know if we're gonna end up playing it uh. But Necro actually dug r really deep uh, to give us some biz lore here. <laughs> yeah, don't hurt others. Do whatever the fuck you want. That's that's actually a good way of putting it. Word from the world. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the world wide web. Uh, so if I'm not mistaken, Biz is Byzantine, who also played on the Good Boy roster, which is now known as Visored. Uh, so there may be, be a little bit of, of like inter-team beef. Okay. I'm, I'm not sure. I, you know what? I, Never let the truth get in the way of a good story is what I say. <laughs> yeah, okay. So yeah, Biz, Biz is trying to grudge against their old That's team. It. No, they're actually beefing. Like, we're talking folding chair level beef. Oh uh, yeah, we played Cyberpunk. I think you have uh, tired things uploaded on YouTube too, on more plots. Who's going for shorty? Lay their claim to the high ground. Notice that two fish is low, so you gotta be a little bit careful with that Kiriko being exposed. Damn, they jumped right into this game. I thought this was... Highlights of a previous game for a sec. 
And that's gonna be a really opening big pick here for who is Goldfish. Uh, so maybe we will finally get a chance to have an answer to that question. Uh, because you're right, Mitch. Like, the fact that they lost 3-0 to Toronto Defiant when Toronto Defiant played off rolls into them really doesn't tell us yeah. very much about them as a team. And so what game do I want to play next? Good look, I, think, into uh, I probably play the next Horizon at some point. Um... Yeah, After I play the DLC a for Zero Dawn. This, who's Goldfish team, by the way? Full name. Group chat. Um, like, I had to sign up. So they really just like. I don't know after that though. I have a list. I gotta look through the list. That's huge, but can they go further? Goldfish, beautiful kunai. That's pretty sweet, but who is Goldfish losing their second? No, I'm not gonna New Game Plus or anything like that though. Scratch the paint here off of this. Rise of One is definitely better than Two. I've heard many people say Two is better. Getting involved. Sticks growth though. This tracer play. Pretty darn clean. Virtue gets rid of the Winston now and buys it. Pretty damn clean is right. Oh, good steal on the health oh, pack. Ooh. Health pack away. Does not get out with his life though. So while Virtue Have been in the UK? Technically, kill, yes. Realistically, no. To no avail. So it's actually going to buy some time here. Elden Ring on the list? Nah, not really a ultimates. Souls game. Uh, first up on the docket, it feels like this rush. Oh, true. I do got to play Resident Evil. I normally try to stay those for like Halloween time, but then something always happens, you know, and I forget. But I already want to watch you suffer. Dude, what, what is your guys' obsession with watching me suffer? What is this? Why do you guys want to watch me suffer at all times? Full scale retreat, but they did get out four. Hey, you guys, you're the worst. Fish. Now it's going to be down to dust, primal rage to see if that might be enough to sort of battle. Suffering away is good content. I hate you guys. Onslaught. There's a bit of a wrap around there, as you can see. Visor trying to take maybe better a you than this, me. Like, under room, yeah, but isn't that, isn't that, don't you guys already get enough better than you than me during Overwatch time? Yeah, a little spiced out from the sojourn here, so it just kind of goes for the primal, I think, to have some more lethality. But I mean, Azeroth is being attended to constantly by goldfish, so there's no kill potential there for lava at all. They're forced to disengage. The primal goes for nothing. Nothing. What is that J emote? That's funny. That's a good one. Yeah, I'll play whenever the next Subnautica comes out. That was a good game. I enjoyed this. Yeah, I'm going to push up a little bit more. The advisor definitely being set express back to the proverbial lumbridge well 86 percent comes up here for who is goldfish and dust robo pokemon mystery Dun okay, now you remind i have actually i do have pokemon mystery dungeon on my list i want to play um what is it skies of time or something like, like that but i'd have to figure out how to get it because uh, i know a lot of that stuff is a little bit a little bit tougher to get now dust is coming back in uh oh maybe get a little too big for the bridges what is it called again? I forget. It's like Explorers of Sky. Explorers of Sky. Opinions on No Man's Sky? I think it's a good game. Uh, but if I'm completely honest with you, it's daunting to go back to at this point because they just constantly, like, basically reimagine the entire game over and over. Don't get me wrong. Awesome for content. They're doing a great job. But, um, I am fucking lost when I pick that game back up. And I feel like it's a really hard game to stream. Really, really bad stream game. Really good off stream type of game, though. Should win. Azeroth, not the most amazing angle here, but got a free shot forcing an instant recall out of virtue. Here's that barrier. Lava went very, very low, and the later beat, like you mentioned, pretty big here for reverse. Zoolander under a lot of pressure so right now. Multiplayer, you should play with Karku. Really go. Oh god, I can think of no worse thing than being stuck at the bottom of the ocean with Karku. We're gonna, we're dead. Instantly. We're just gonna literally instantly die. Instantly. Have you ever watched our old Pokemon run for together? You know what I'm talking about. We're Fox. Do you use an emulator? You mean otherwise known as official uh, uh, licensed Nintendo software, hardware software? Yes. From this squad, who was Goldfish putting it together in the last couple of moments here, at least taking that Winston down? The Virtue's still up. They're still alive and kicking. Dust has a primal rage now, but where does it go? Into the back corner, they've done a great job of spotting the Kiriko. Another juggle kill. Dust claims the lion's share of the healing from Visit. Dust is going to be able to uh -oh. walk away with murder here, too. Uh, the Sombra's back just in the nick of time to get a bit more damage down, but uh, it should be just a matter of seconds before the rest of Visor crumble. 
Yeah, Biz, Biz did a great job, I think, chasing Amani and down. They knew where the translocator was going to be, so the Sombra had no chance to get health, let alone get Ooh. back into the fight. Beautiful flip around by who is Goldfish. They started the round really well, and they eventually come out with a dub. This is going to be a competitive one. I could feel it. You feel it too. That was super close, 99 to 100. I feel like every time we see that, we're in for a, a really good time. Casper was stacking uh, Mike. I don't know. It's so hard to tell where these teams are. Little Fable. Uh, I played Fable. You I mean, there's no new Fable, yeah, isn't there? That's a really old game. Swiss rounds, let alone what happened in the groups. I'm super excited to see if we can start to see some new, fresh faces enter into so we're on the, the, on the way. heights of competitive <laughs> Overwatch. And I'm looking right now at just what kind uh, of. Uh, Super Sashi, think of the Prime. Appreciate it. DPS can provide here because they've been such big difference makers on a lot of these teams. Well, I'd say, yeah, with the Winston Mirror, we saw a lot of like space for individual skill to Hollow be Knight? Uh, there. Probably not. For, especially from the DPS on both sides. I thought the Winston play was pretty tight in general as well. Versus yes, I did here, finish BG3. In the last map, overextending a little bit after one fight, it's kind of giving up their life unexpectedly and giving Visor a chance, or rather, who's Goldfish a chance to get back into those rounds. That extra couple of percent could have made a huge difference in the end. So they'll look to tighten things up now if they can. Dust under a lot of pressure. Difficult Red Dead's a hard game to stream. It's really long. I've actually streamed it like multiple times. I just never finished it. It took so long. Virtue again picked off at the start of the fight. As opposed to the end, I suppose. That's a difference. Lava body block there. Great job by Dust. Using their bulk to make it so the Arisa could not get back Detroit, to I've never played Detroit myself, but I've watched so many people do playthroughs. I, like, know every ending, so... They're showing great coordination for one Probably not. ...so close to the start of, uh, the roster lock. Yeah, no, I have not played Hades. I got on the list, though. Hello, Flats and Chats. So, how are you? It's 15 months. I'm good. Roblox? Probably not. Halo story? Uh, I played all of Halo. I did Infinite on stream, but I don't know if that ever got uploaded as a video or YouTube. It was around the time where I hadn't fully committed yet to doing just VODs for variety. Wayward pulse bomb there from Biz and uh, insult to injury added is a virtue is a uh, follow up on the kill. Opening the fight. Seven traditions, you think, some months. Appreciate it. And I can see the rush you mentioned is up on both sides, Rose. Dragon Age? Oh, well, Probably not. Away for a bit because oh, what's that new game that came out that had like some controversy about microtransactions? I got that. I forget what it's called. And Virtue gets punished again. Oh dear. So Dragon's Dogma 2. Yeah. used to exploit them at this stage. I think I got that. I got a code for it sent to me. Maybe we'll play it. Too much damage for Lava to deal with. And no visor damage to add to the stack. That is brutal with Virtue out of the fight. They really just have to back up. Uh, what a wasted Kitsune rush as well. I felt like so unnecessary in that moment, even if you wanted <laughs> to be able to push them back. And what made it worse is that punish of that overextension. So visor lose control. Yeah, we'll probably play point. it. Some point. I mean, the, mi the microtransaction wasn't even bad. People over fucking blew it. The, the microtransaction was like, it's for basic items that you get in the game super easily, but in case you just don't have one. So, like, for example, like, key to get out of jail. Apparently, you get them, like, really commonly, but if you don't have one, you can just buy it. Well, now Visor is able to get that flip back, and it was a nice coordination there of the dead eye on that off flank there from Amadi. Yeah, go to sleep, dude. Also just had a oh boy, time sound this is a wild, so wild classic. Like bot. We're back at this shit again. Last time you timed me out for typing in a different language, even though it was a face, and now you're out here timing me out for sending my boy a link so he can actually play one of the games he wants. Fuck you, Fossabot. You out here not even able to follow the directions on a craft mac and cheese box. Like how is it even possible? Just read the box forehead. I swear Fossilbot, you need to like, learn to do your job. You so dumb. It's two bits. You have least of the Kitsune rush, so maybe Visor is able to even up the the score on this map so far uh, but i'm kind of looking at like the cassidy still needing to find a big pop-off moment and hopefully virtue does not over no i would probably not play five nights at freddy's i'm good, good first kills in the last not my type of game mm -hmm. that has not been a coincidence yeah. in terms of our terms of the fight wins Azra, 
awkward. Angle stock great. Fortify use instantly on Lava as they forge their way out into the open. Kitsune Rush means there's going to be more than enough healing here for Viasic to stand proudly on the point. And Biz is given the hot foot. Forced to try and stay away as Virtue opted for a Tracer duel briefly. But Marty, there's no pressure on them right now. Oh, oh almost a big right click Randy right there. Oh, double tap. Oh my goodness, that's clean. Amani with a two shot there on reverse and now following it up at the dead eye. Bubble protecting dust for a time and Goldfish using the Katsuna Rush to desperately heal the tank up. But it's not enough. This doesn't happen quick enough either. Fires it here as the smoke clears. They will stand proud. And they've been able to get this one back over who is Goldfish. And the reason you bought papers, okay, please. We'll Y'all want spot. That's pretty cool. I think that a lot of maybe the aspects we're seeing onto Virtue are sort of the the aftermath of it being hmm. such a risky play style. Whether Thanks, it's Goblin. That's kind of Sometimes you do have to play a little bit more without fear <sighs> in order to actually find those opening picks for your team. And so, hey, it's working out in this case. Maybe a little bit more scrappy when we head over to a map like City Center. But if we can keep, see Virtue keep that up, then Visor's going to be I finished BG3. in the driver's seat in Son. this next round. I finished it a while ago. Yeah, it really I think the is just Found a pretty cheap powerful. Pokemon Black version on it my trip. Oh, though, that City jealous. Really benefit the Orisa. True. I mean, not so much against the Winston who could really exploit that map advantage with his verticality. <sighs> but I didn't seem happy enough to sort of play in two modes here. Yeah, have you seen anything about the new Gears of War 6? Nope. Or have you had any interest in previous Gear of War games? Played all of them. Judgment was fucking terrible. That's all I'll say. That was the worst game I've ever played in my entire life. I don't know what the fuck they were cooking with that. And playing around this central point means that you are looking for that one chance to strike onto that back line. So Dust is going to hunt the Gears of War fell, fell victim to... to to Halo Syndrome, where they wrapped up three very well, and they were like, shit, we need to make more games. And so they've just been throwing shit at the wall. Yeah, they're playing in this room, right? So there's not even a sideline for damage back against the Tracer. Yep, played the whole Mass Effect series, even Andromeda. I think Andromeda is overhated. Definitely not good, but overhated. They do pretty well off the back foot, I'm not gonna lie. Amadi has kept topped up, and he rewards that favor with a big kill on the reverse. Nicely done. Who is Goldfish? Overdive there and get punished. There you go. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it is about that overextension. And it's, this is not a team that's going to let that go unpunished either. So, and drawing his ass, you know, what do you mean? Yeah, ask if you compare it to the rest of the Mass Spec series as, as a standalone game. Who is Goldfish back? I enjoy just having another Mass Spec to play. Does have a pulse bomb online, but Virtue is still working. But because everyone hated it so much, now we don't have another Mass Spec game. Like, I don't know if we'll ever have another Mass Spec game. And I totally would rather have another Mass Spec game where they're trying to figure out what to do, as opposed to just never having one again. Because that was one of my favorite series. Again, you really are favored. I think playing in this choke as Vice Way better sidelines to me, it didn't even feel like Mass Effect. How so? I mean, it's the same premise mostly across the board. Like, there's, there's some small differences, obviously. Or, I mean, I guess even some major differences, but. There's no tip of the spear to dive with here, but a beautiful counter shot up. from Azeroth takes Virtue down. And that was I'd rather have they even overextended necessarily. That was something stuff from the soldier. Paragon or Renegade. I think I always did Paragon runs. But now that we have seen who's Goldfish step back onto the point, uh, Visor get a chance to keep this in their pocket with this. I just could not make Shepard a bad guy. The only thing I would always do is I'd knock the fuck out of the uh, reporter. Reporter got knocked out every time. Oh, another Mass Effect game is being made? Cool. Yeah, the, the reporter's always catching the hands. Every time. Sunset thinks the prime. Yep, I played Oblivion. Played a ridiculous amount of Oblivion, actually. Yeah, that's an old game, though. ...ultimates to sustain your life on the point, but now you get a chance to put the onus back into Virtue and Amadian's hands. Their ultimates are going to be online. I miss Mass Effect so much. Yeah, it was pretty good. I miss it, too. I actually was trying to do a run on stream way back in the day. I did all of Mass Effect 1, completed it, started Mass Effect 2 with all the decisions from Mass Effect 1, carried over, and then I got about halfway through it and I switched PCs, I got a new PC at the time, uh, and I transferred over my save file and it didn't save, it got corrupted, so I would have had to start all over completely, um, and so I just never picked it back up. 
each of their impacts have been so palpable. Uh, whether it's been an opening pick from a soldier, maybe someday the pulse bomb kills that we've seen from Biz and Virtue, I think have all been uh, so back and forth. That's why these rounds have been so close. But Damani, it's time to shine here with the overclock. All right, some decent targets to work with here. Assassin's Creed. Black Flag was the last one for me. I did play the one after, the French one. Didn't like it as much. After that, it was kind of for me. Now with their player advantage vices, well they convert on it, but they need to keep lava in this fight. It is imperative. Dust is close to a primal rage. You'll start to see that Winston go a bit more aggressive. Goldfish here on the respawn. Still coming back to the fight, but Asrup deals with their opposite number. Here's that primal. Some serious displacement now as there's not much the Zoolander can do to help their team. They need to be able to Dude, that was close. Three percent away, but under extreme duress here, and Dust has the extra jump cooldown. Straight down the gurgler goes Zoolander and so devises chances. See the Gurglander? Oh my gosh. I have never seen so much commitment to keep a Lucio off of a point. <laughs> I mean if I all track the beat, that is a very heads up play. Yeah. Uh, either way, I think it might be more simply explained as, oh, I need to kill the player in front of me as quickly as possible. Uh, and sometimes that is what these fights boil down to. Really chaotic. Sojourn obviously creates a game where like so much hinges on Maybe. whether or not you hit a headshot. That's what hit scan R Maybe Overwatch. But the pulse bomb sticks, especially on the Winstons, have been really good. We do get to see uh, who is goldfish play there more comfortable, I think. Winston dive set up in the mirror. Yeah, it's team. It's another very competitive uh, round. Uh, but it is, uh, of course, a I mean, goldfish map win. Don't this feel strongly either way. There's plenty of back and forth to be had here, Rose. If that map is anything to go by. Well, especially when we think about the map pick bands that we have for mm -hmm, WCS mm -hmm, now, mm -hmm, that is something that they can think about if they're thinking, okay, well, who is Goldfish have a great dive comp? Is there any way that we can alleviate that for ourselves by picking a more aggressive favored map? Uh, so there's definitely a lot of back and forth when it comes to that, on top of the fact that these two teams do feel very evenly skilled. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, like I didn't mind uh, a little bit of this mm -hmm. sombre play briefly, <laughs> but you'll notice that Biz, the Biz like tracks here, Amadi, in so, uh, so sort of funny. recall position there. A lot of this is happening, right? I think Virtue, yeah, over chasing a little bit here. These teams are really feel like they thrive off momentum built from you know winning fights previously. But like I said, that individual level here, especially from our DPS, where it is the most obvious uh, when it's put on display, uh, was there in spades from both these teams. And you can kind of see why they're able to make this top 16. Despite, honestly, this Dude, competition... People are still really arguing over this? It's like, what, 11 rounds of Swiss? That's a huge amount of play. And remember, you're getting paired up against teams with like a similar record to you uh, as you advance. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with what we've seen so far from these teams. And it's like we said, okay, you play the Toronto Defiant, you probably don't get to show any of this. Uh, you, no. you probably are just, you know, beaten on a very fundamental level. But here, these teams get to throw haymakers, and I am here for it. <laughs> I'm super here for it as well. I mean, even across the board, these stats continue to tell us a picture of just how close these two teams are. Dude, apparently, Overwatch Calvary tweeted level. somebody's so, artwork with their permission. Like, they asked them, like, hey, can I tweet your artwork and credit you? And they were like, yeah, sure. And people are like, why didn't you just retweet them? And they're, like, legitimately getting angry. It's like, dude, extra, holy fuck, dude. Touch some, some, some fucking grass, man. Holy shit. Means that That's why I hate Twitter. To get a lot of value out of Arisa's defensive cooldowns there. It's You're just literally just looking for something to argue about. I know, like, you, do you that bored? Find them to expand upon them, but because we have mirror compositions for for most of the map, and you know, uh, and who is Goldfish preferring actually play more Winston even against the Arisa? I think that's quite a telling number. They look very, yeah, very give me good. things that aren't problems that we can make one for 500 Alex. Yeah, no shit. Play of control to uh, some of our other maps where you definitely do need to have a strong sense of coordination and be able to modulate your game style based on which part of the map you're playing from. It's also so much more forgiving because you don't always have to constantly think about this control point that is ticking up a percentage when you're up against such a tight Oh, wait, it's always with art stuff, too. Like, okay, I feel people get so angry over it, art stuff Let's all the time. It's like, dude, I wait for them to respawn. like, I feel like it's exhausting, you know? Get, like, like why, is, why is it always so exhausting? This attack push if they go fast enough. And, and that is sometimes the 
we're at the fresh air that these teams need. They actually hear DM the artist and find out. No, like they Execute literally posted all the screenshots, and the artist themselves came out and said, "Hey, they asked me. Like they they have my permission. Like they literally got my permission." Can be even more important, but you can actually disengage. Like a lot of these like hybrid escort style maps, or even the push ones. So. That's like another whole skill set that, that teams like, have dude, to develop. It's one thing to know when to, to pile in. Hey, Flats, love all time, your streams. Thanks for doing what you do. Thanks for five months, dude. I appreciate it. Alt charge over your opponents by sort of remaining in the fight. And I think that, like, a lot of teams, they develop their macro and their micro. Until it's done from, until it's done from first, artists to make it their own. Uh, and then the rise of AI art. Yeah, but that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. And, you know, people at all. have more of a 10,000 foot view of the situation. So, Queen. That's another part of the pro game is. Overwatch player skill set that's going to be you know put on display here a little bit more, but mechanically, I don't think we have any qualms about either of these teams. They are very very sharp. Nope, they look really good. I think when you look at just the shot calling on both teams as well, from where those Winston's were diving, or even just throwing all of that out the window, and you're like, you know what, Sojourn, go kill, Tracer, yep. go kill. Like sometimes, it's all coming together. Sometimes it is that easy. It is that simple. We're going to go to a break, mm -hmm. folks, and when we return, we're going to see more from this match that already has ticket our fancy quite somewhat. Of course, it's an elimination match here between Visit and who is Goldfish. So don't go too far. This is, of course, your own. Why do I even use it? I don't know. Sometimes I just open out of habit. It's one of the nice apps to have, like, when you can't watch something, like a YouTube video or a TikTok or a short or anything like that. It's all text based. So it's like. You know, when I check really quickly midstream, it's like, oh, I wonder if anything cool's happening right now. And it's like, you know, you don't hear me obviously very much listening to a video or some random DMCA music, you know? Okay, we'll finish this game and then I'm probably gonna hop off actually. I'm, I'm probably a little tired at this point for variety because then I'd probably commit to like another like three or four hours of variety. And it's like, ah, am I really going to stream till 11 o'clock tonight? No, we got a big week coming up. This week is pretty big. Your birthday? It is my birthday this week. You're not wrong. I mean, more of season 10 stuff, but yeah. And probably drops. Hopefully drops. Which means Giga Streams. It's not today, chat. It's not today. It's not Twitter, it's X. If you actually unironically call Twitter X, I feel like. I don't know. I, I feel like you got, uh. Like, on an, on an automatic, like, you know, like an IRL version of the nerd emoji. Oh my god. Um, actually. It's like, nah, dude, nobody wants to take you serious, you know? Only the good triumph. We will tear them down. <laughs> Isn't this DMCA? I don't think so. Because I did a react to this trailer and I didn't get DMCA. There was there was the other venture trailer that was DMCA. This one should be fine though. Uh, I kind of forgot about the PO box. I don't think there's anything there. I didn't tell anybody about it anyway, so. Yeah, the other one, I think, I don't know if Emong was muting this one, too. If he was, I think he's just trying to be giga safe. Because this one's all Overwatch music, I think. There is one that is DMCA, though, for sure. I sent you some Thin Mints. I will find you if you sent me some Thin Mints, I swear to God. Fucking test me. There's no way I'm gonna miss this. Okay. 
I'm right, literally just gonna you, instantly throw them out. Don't send me thin mints, please. It's, it's actually a waste. In our second series of North America play, the OWC I don't need them. Anyone I know, I don't, I don't, I don't know. We are in an elimination match, and who is Goldfish and Visored are pulling it all out there because their survival, frankly, hinges on it. Heading over to Icon Volvi here, and who is Goldfish taking a hotly contested first map with a heck of a lot of wins to play, Rose? But we got to see some brilliance <laughs> from both sides, especially in those DPS positions. We really did, but if we're going to talk about Winston play, what better map to show that again than Eichenwald? Uh, uh, I... No? Okay. I was like, I don't think so. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, I honestly... I wanted it. I wasn't sure. You know, they're still doing this to us after seven years. I, I it is It is just the casters... <laughs> it's our lot in life to get, un, like, unreasonably excited about random picks that people take in spawn. And people like Raktag, they maliciously abuse that. They Can I send exactly bacon jerky? <laughs> and, we are, and we are doomed. I didn't we try to say no to food? Every single time. But I think jerky should be and fine. Because we, believe, because we believe in magic. That's why we do this, right? I like yeah. the Junker Queen comp, though. This is going to oh, really be a scary prospect for Lava. Because I only under, so I don't really check my PO box. Come out of spawn with? What? Because we did. No! No! They'd be slow walking! Okay. And are you switching? Cool. Very cool. You know what? I'm here for it. Are you? Yeah, that was kind of that was kind of epic. You know what I mean? The explosions behind them, but they wouldn't turn. That was kind of sick, ass. actually. I got You gotta give him respect for that one. That was kind of badass. I'm not gonna lie. That's for sure. But who's goldfish are gonna come back out of spawn here with the dive? So let's hear their planning. Monkey, 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 one, monkey. New bubble on three. New bubble on three. New bubble on three. They have shot. Those two do. Can we swing? Three, two, one. Swing on the back line. Swing on the back line. All eat. All eat. Oh. We're dead. We're still going to kill you. Kirino TP. Kirino TP. Kirino TP. Kirino TP. I'm on. 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 I'm Boom! What up, baby? Boom! Oh my God, 59. <laughs> Boom! Yeah, they're gonna hold close. Okay? Nice and you a foot, four foot by three foot seal, seal plushy. I don't think that's gonna fit. From the defending team. So, I mean, who is goldfish? Are ticking all the boxes for me right now. That was a very well coordinated dive. It was, it was the walkout. It was the C9 call out. The spin on the payload. It's, it's how you tilt your opponent out of the that is, is what we That is that biz breeze, baby. <laughs> All right, Virtue gonna be choosing uh, their opportunity to peek out of the castle here wisely. This has been a target on their back for the entire series so far. We know. Oh, yep. There, yeah, that one. That one that uh, the soldier just shot at. That target. Well, we get topped up here on that high ground, but really, the defenders haven't had a chance to sally forth from the castle whatsoever. And now the divers upon them. Who is Goldfish? Really making sure none of the defenders have any space to work with. We're gonna continue rush here off the edge. Can I send you a flats so cut out? I don't even know if this exists, but it would be funny. Dude, what kind of an dude? I would look like the biggest egomaniac if I had a cutout of myself behind me. You're trying to set me up, aren't you? These people and two fish would be the one called up to do that. They get picked off first. One fish, two fish. Who is goldfish? Mm-hmm. Who are they really though? They are. They are. They are an enigma. I don't so know. far though. Have to find out. Yeah, this this team that has formed around them though. Very much locked in. You heard those comps. They I don't know how I would get them home. Not only just having fun with it, but again, the, the target calling is good. That last fight, though, when you see a lot of low health health bars, or like no one getting picked off, you're like, okay, are you just like all winning 1v1s, or, or what's going on? But they did convert into a fight win. Reverse gets lost there. They do have a continue rush to play the bridge with those, so there's still a lot of burst damage available. Nazareth takes the fight inside the bubble. Do you still have the Bulbasaur on the beanbag? Final set up in your terrarium. I do have the Alpha to deliver. Yep. Virtue dodging out of the way of that yep. rail. Nice. He's kind of falling over though. Sub duck. Thanks, man. Off the castle. They actually preempt that. They blink there from Virtue. They're out of void getting melee the to death. Yep, they got the point. They got that is. Point. Yep, That's a C9. They got it. What do you think about that, Rose? No, actually, That's wasn't a C9. C9. Yep. That is an actual C9. That is verified. Great A. Flats, I'm stuck. Gold damage help. USDA Just get good. C9. Okay, well, um. Now, who is Goldfish should have like all Just the don't momentum miss. in the world after they have truly tilted their opponents out of the server. Um, oh, nice spear. <laughs> okay. Well, 
That's what we actually saw in Colossae in the last series. Like, they're traveling, giving you a window to find a pick. <laughs> Not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, watching the Sojourn go careening off in the distance is always satisfying, and for the defenders, it's a, it's a huge relief. Because they were definitely struggling under the momentum of who was Goldfish. <sighs> nice kill. Yeah, that's, that's clean. Yeah, very clean. Okay, so four minutes. Don't feed, don't die, don't miss, don't lose. Yep, that simple, actually. We've only so many more meters to the end of the road. <laughs> Uh, they they're gonna have the rush like the the, the overclock the everything under the sun outside of the sound barrier. So the yeah, they do have the, they do have the haunts to uh, to contend with obviously the Ori switch switching the lava. <laughs> uh, that's true. But the haunts are still there though. They say that you know. Dude, do that Winston almost exploded. Lava able to push back in here and a later Kitsune rush means the Vice have the edge. And definitely also virtue gets a big pulse bomb stick on Kiriko, which is never guaranteed. And Dust takes a face full of damage. It is dangerous for this Winston to dive into Vizard's setup now, especially within these closer quarters. Well, they tried it once. Now they have the opportunity to switch if they want to, because they used all of the ultimates under the sun. So here you go. A uh, new. Who are the hero teams and who are the villain teams? The I don't know if I'd say there's either. The only hero team I'd say is maybe okay. well, you know Ogre, ML, and SK's cows. team. But. They lost the today, so they're out. Force, who is back? Thoughts on pizza rolls? Fuck pizza rolls. They're either cold or fucking molten lava, and they ain't worth it. There's better snacks. They either melt and burn you, or they're cold. They take the microwave version is shit. The only one that's worth it is putting them in the oven. When you put them in the oven, there's already other snacks that are faster or better. No, I mean. Yeah, you just make chicken nuggets. Just, if you're gonna put them in the oven, just put, put, just get chicken nuggets. With a speed boost, then you are gonna struggle. Yeah, I like the switch off here. Just take the Arisa. It's looked fine. They're never that full, and the only way I'll eat pizza rolls is they're in the oven. Cook the oven, and then I also have Frank's red hot sauce, and I pinch them open, put some hot sauce inside, close it back up, then eat it. But I am not willingly buying them. Under that immortality field wouldn't have helped him much anyway. Well, actually, would have. Would have kept him alive, but hey, it's fine detail. Uh, okay, fair air fryer too. You're, you're right. You're right. You're right about the air fryer. You're, you're right. You're right. My bad. Who is goldfish? Not finding any more success though. With this Same thing though. Switch. Air fryer is just an oven on the counter. Pretty much. Beat and then the Kitsune rush on top of that too. So Visor really should be able to get the win here outside of a stray pick from Azra for Biz. Okay. Well, there's Ooh. one. That's oh, you got him. Open from Azra. Beautiful. That didn't even need the Ant Matrix to find that elimination. Double hit scan here with the brawl set up. It's a little unconventional, but it's worked out a treat. We'll see Bianca have that Cassidy against the Tracer pressure. Yeah, actually, my air fryer, I have my one of the trays sitting in the sink right now because I don't know what the fuck I got on it, but it's been so sticky, so I've been trying to soak it and get the shit off of it. I let it soak overnight, and it got a lot better, but it's still a little bit sticky, and it's like, okay, I'll give it another shot. So I'm, I actually have it soaking right now. Again. See if I can get it, whatever's baked on off. Who is Goldfish? It's uh, who is Goldfish? And there's nowhere to go for lava. Great timing from Dust on that ultimate, and a well-deserved round map completion here for who's Goldfish. Took them a little bit. It was like three and a half minutes, but you're happy to get the full. Two years from now, most ovens are gonna have an air fryer built in. You think so? Uh, it took them a bit to figure out though to go. Why to is Goldfish? I think it was a Do you like Goldfish, Payton? To try to make the Winston work, because. At the amount of time that they had with the ultimates that they had, if they were able to throw everything in the kitchen sink at that point, Cheeses are better oh, based. Great. Oh, so based. Three minutes in the time bank. Um, so based. You know, at the end of the day, they they got it. But do they keep it? For this Although, if I'm completely honest, to to I never really buy them. But if I'm at someone's house and they have them, I'll eat them. A couple of our other teams in an go for. I definitely don't like get Cheeses as often as I should, though. Like they're good. I should buy them more often. Well, there you go. In the wash, but okay, Winston. Yeah, so it is the defensive dive. You know what? I'm gonna put Jesus on my, uh, when I, on my next Instacart order, just so I remember. The don't have like a great natural high ground outside of the hunting lodge, which often playing from there gives 
too much space sometimes. <laughs> We've also seen like teams. Did I just read? Like, uh, the gladiators use like a defensive doom fist type uh, on this first point. You've got to be really good to make it work, and all the same risks of playing like a, a, a defensive dive exist here with extra me. toasty. Because yeah. it doesn't extra really crunchy. Really cooldowns as efficiently. So once you die, hot you and spicy. You get involved in the fight again. That being said, I think that who is Goldfish have had the better Winston Cop here. Chat, what's the best one you think? So let's see how it plays out now. Cheddar and Parmesan. Cheddar Jack, so opportunity is the Winston to double the cheese, as well. Once you see puffed, lava, snapped, on the other side. And so that's white cheddar, extra toasty, to as cheddar Jack. Is when does the Winston use their skills versus your own? Okay, bridge being contested here. Like Buffalo this, uh, wing, reduced fat, some actual high ground to play from, at least in you know, grooves. Moments. Oh, Pouches. Four cheese. More grooved. Extra big. Puffed white cheddar. White cheddar, but it's in a smaller container. Cheese crispers. Oh no, sorry, that's red cinnamon. Um. Oh, Swift Step. Oh, so yeah, it's smart. A, yeah, it's oh, like, it's like it's your like mercy, the right? It's like Lucio Taxi, but like it's yeah. the budget Lucio Taxi. <laughs> yeah, you go for your mercy as well, right? Guardian Angel yeah. to you quickly. Lava got back. You guys think I should get the yes. extra toasted? Okay. Okay. Get those extra things. toasty? That's it. I mean, it's, not, it's you don't always think about it, right? But she needs to be able to GA to you to uh, get back into the fray. Extra maybe toasty. You, you know, get a mercy on your team in this current meta. Maybe you don't want to help them. That's, that's Get an extra toasty. Season. I'm not going to judge you for that. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe your maybe your mercy is Matt Morello, and it doesn't matter if they're in the fight or not. That's also a factor. <laughs> oh my God. Matt said he he's catching. I know. You guys ever had the puffed ones? The puffed ones actually look kind of decent. So we'll never come good. back anyway. It'd be as good as silence. Think the puffed ones are good. Puffs suck. Really leaning in. Okay. Puffs stuck to the inside of the bubble forces lava to jump out of what otherwise would have been a safe zone for them. But two fish punishes dust. All right, I'm gonna do the white cheddar too. I'll do a toasty and a white cheddar. Puff ones kind of taste like pirate's booty. Yeah, pirate's booty's not bad. Although if you're a real intellectual, you get smart puffs. Smart puffs greater than sign pirate booty or um, pirate's booty. Although, actually, you know what I had today, which is actually gas. I had, I didn't have, I had a couple of them. It's called, uh, Cabot White Cheddar Popcorn. It's like smart food, but it's from Cabot, like the cheese company. And it's literally what you think smart food should be. Oh my goodness, who is Goldfish? They are a cut above here. I mean, 1.4% left for Visor to have captured. Like, imagine smart food, but they were actually generous with the coating on the popcorn pieces. You know? Like, when you ate it, like, you're like, holy shit, this actually tastes kind of cheesy. It's just like that. Although, I won't lie, it felt pretty heavy. So I only had a few of them, and I was like, oh, I'm good. To try and make an aggressive opening happen. They do. They create one between the ears of reverse apparently, but that pulse is good. The Susie though a little bit better. Well covered. Target pickup. I haven't gone to a target in years. They're able to stay alive for long enough to get some disruption down and open it up for Azrof. But Martin is done playing nice. They're done being subtle about it. What's up, buddy? Thanks. An invitation to send him back to sport. It is going to be plenty now to get this payload unlocked. Cheese, it's tier list. But, uh, yeah. You get to go back to spawn and switch back over to the Winston. And so remember when Cheese was sponsoring Overwatch? No I remember. There, and you can set up on this high ground still, uh, which is something that a lot of us do not get Yeah, yeah, so for it's kind of, well, Cabot's like a local, like it's like a Vermont there, no cheese company. Walk, and uh, is not super like popular here in New England. Transportation. But Imani's going to help out a little bit here with this poke comp with the Cassidy... Um, what about Butterfinger? Oh yeah, I forgot about Butterfinger. No need to watch NYXL attack on King's Row. It's crunch time. <laughs> True. Didn't Zaxby sponsor you? That was part of Mayhem. I never actually got to ever have Zaxby's though. Who can test for now? Has the jump cooldown, of course. That's what high ground gives you. The ability to just jump straight out. 
But Dust is definitely concerned about the rush coming in, and with Katsune Rush being applied here, it's warranted. A self suited though, had to be used by two fish, and they still end up falling to the overclock damage. So many resources drawn out of Vizard already. Don't bother about a sound barrier. Zoolander doesn't have the option to make use of it. Alright, this is gonna be my last game because uh big fight win for who is goldfish that they are solidifying, galvanizing the control of his high ground. Oh, my mom's actually coming by again. To... Oh dear. Yeah, that's, that's about a four good. to five second stagger. Last series, I, I mean. Oh, no, no. Time, though, that it, okay, uh, well, nobody else is gonna die here, but the uh, so I, was I think the tier two for three months in advance. God damn! First off, you don't see tier twos that often, but a three months in advance tier two. I appreciate it. They have to get a setup here for the terror surge, but who's goldfish is not letting off the gas. Don't you even vibe from Emong during these? I'm kind of into it. Emong's talking through the plays, being strategic out here. Ask, and Flats is out here asking the real questions of which type of cheese is better. Yeah, listen. Okay. I know we can sit here all day long and do analytical breakdowns, but there's so many people who already do that, and they're so smart. You know, you have like... Uh, Custa does them. Avril does them. Jake does them. You know, like... So, like, a lot of them have actual pro experience. No when I do these, to take I want it to be like Sunday football where you have friends you come over, you know? Like, are you and your friends talking about every play before the, the ball is snapped and it's that. like, so oh, you know, I think they're going to run, you know, trips right, right here and they're going to throw it to so-and-so. Like, half the time, you're just vibing, like, like eating food, talking about whatever, watching the game, and then waiting for cool moments, you know? The color calm. Yeah. Drew, thank you for the five months as well. Appreciate it, dude. What in the fuck is... Uh, uh, now I can... 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 Surely, here they come. Katrina rush now for the attackers, and Dust is healthy enough to go for it. They hold off on ulting for long enough to find two fish, and this is over. Vice it here. He's for 38 months. Um, who is goldfish? Trade aggression so effectively. Wow, this defensive diet, they are incredibly clean. It's been looking really that was good. something. And dive is one of those compositions that we always say. Cool to see Dive winning and beating the Arisa comps. Fuck the Arisa well comps. It's just clear communication in general from the team to execute. And so we're seeing that not only on the Dive, which has looked so clinical, just rotating through cooldowns and picks, but on the defense too, knowing when they're just like, we're not going to give you Yo, time Yo, Rainbow, thank you for the tier three for five months. That's a long ass time. time. I appreciate it. Thanks so, so much. To progress into a part of the map where the Winston gets demonstrably weaker in that last phase. They, in fact, get to play from like stronger It was just a big sneeze, yes? Dude, you know, dude, 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 dude. Okay. So, you know how I've been telling you guys that my AC in my apartment's fucked for like the last like week or two? It's finally fixed. Okay. Mostly. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for putting. Um, listen, the thermostat's still fucked. They need to replace it, okay? Because every time you try to turn anything on or turn off it, the whole thing resets, and it's just annoying. But I opened my window last night because it was kind of cold outside, and it was a little warm in my room, and I didn't realize how bad allergies have kicked in already. I sneezed like 60 times within 15 minutes. I was like, dude, what's wrong with me? What is happening? And I realized it's the window's open. So I shut the window, and within like three minutes, it stopped. So, uh, yeah, it's apparently that time of year where I'm not going outside. Absolutely. I think cool. what's uh, so interesting is to just see how Visor is going to adapt to this. I you think you called out I something really important. I wanted to sneeze so big that it fixed my back pain. Is really where we would have started to see <laughs> That's the funny. struggle. And so, who is Goldfish recognizing we really can't let that happen and making sure that they shut Your off dad sneezes sometimes, but when it's like the fast, it's like a <laughs> <there. It's laughs> Oh, what the fuck? Like oh, Jesus, fuck. It's just like back to back to back, to back um, rapid fire. And it's like, ow, 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 stop. You blinked it, you blinked it. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna get fired. Um, but no, it's a, it's really great to see the team also just having fun. And so I'd love to yeah. go back to listen to... Yeah, it's just a carpet of palm, yeah. From oh, I went out yesterday. It wasn't bad when I was out, but... Yeah, hey, ready? Three, two, one. Everybody emo. 
Oh, oh that's cold. <laughs> what up, baby? Oh, what up, baby? Nice. Okay, like honestly, that was kind of cold. Magic. That was a little icy with it. You know what I mean? I was kind of feeling that. That it's had a really. That felt like the start of every fight in JoJo. Honestly, <laughs> like a slow war click. Nani. Was great. <laughs> I wanna, was I it was really that. good. I, I did feel like I was watching an anime, and then yeah. all of a sudden it turned into a circus. Uh, so that that felt good. Uh, wow, <laughs> there's got to be a good circus anime out there somewhere. There's a great ballroom anime. I don't know if you've seen ballroom in Europe. I have not. I that oh, okay, dude, you've got to wait. It's actually so good. I, I yeah, okay, it's really really good. Anyway, moving right the heck along before we fall down. I don't know if I'd ever watch a ballroom <laughs> anime. I could go down that be hole for a very long time. Yeah. That is, I mean, that, that anime is actually going to uh, very, very worth checking out here. In fact, right. all anime about like kind of obscure things or like sports animes all tend to be like really good. Right? Ice skating anime. So yeah, good. okay. Seen that one. That was actually, yes. yeah. God, why are these Super so good. good. Yeah, I'm wars. not a big fan of sports anime. Oh, Food Wars is great. <laughs> I'm, I'm Get yourself an air purifier. I do have an air purifier in my living room. Uh, there's, never, there's no better anime character than Dojima Gin. He is unbelievable. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, maybe the guy maybe the guy from um, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen that reminds me of him. You know, like uh, uh, Toto Aoi. He's like very similar, but I don't know. I love that trope. Anyway. Oh, I, I hear it now. Someone was saying their mic's crackle. Yeah, Uber's it's mic isn't sounding too hot. Look to keep themselves alive in this group and kind of impress all of the judges while we're on the topic of food wars. It's going to be Arisa versus Winston here. We've seen this played out before. We saw this played out in an Overwatch League Grand Final just quietly. And Winston does have play into this Arisa setup. And who's Goldfish looks so good on this comp? They're made by people who've never played a sport. Really I hate to say it, but you're kind of right. It, just, it was so unrealistic to me half the time. Like, I just couldn't get into it. All right. But there are some good ones. There are definitely some good ones, just not my cup of tea. But most of the time, I'm not. Yeah. jump in and punish a player. If the enemy Winston's behind their back line, that could be pretty dangerous. Dust has to be very Where's careful. Elon applies team name. I think it's overwashed. It's not only that, but I think what the Arisa composition is going to have to weave in is the spears. Like you noticed, uh, poor reverse got pinned up against a wall. Uh, you also had ass rough that got caught out of position. And so yeah, you also I don't know if you know this, but you shouldn't uh, sub on mobile because you get charged uh, extra. Like it's, if you're American, it's like five bucks for a sub. Uh, but if you do like sub through mobile, it's six bucks. For how um, goldfish activate these dives. And that extra dollar just gets eaten by Winston Apple or Samsung. So, basically, the FYI, to anyone in chat, always sub in on a PC. Never sub on mobile, because you're going to get charged extra. No, I think Samsung Don't also does it, too. The Google Store. Yeah, I had a guy a long time ago who was a big, big sub gifter. I think he gifted me over a thousand subs over his time that was here. Found out it was all mobile. To give you basically a frame of reference, that guy could have gifted another 200 subs off of just the money that Apple and Google took. They're good to go. Oh, look at that too. I mean, it's just clean up time right now. He was very sad when he figured it out. And they get a chance to take back control of this cart. Uh, so at this point, you want a one more team fight win, and then you're able to unlock no, that checkpoint it's, um, for yourself. But who is Apple Store? A lot to be able to do that with. I'm looking at Primal Rage to be a great disruption tool here, especially paired with the overclock. Not you an issue. You be able to set up a feature for this. <laughs> Ooh, okay, there yeah, kind of. I mean, that clay picture was on the ground. I don't know if that gives you more points or less. I'm going to say probably the latter. But Azra doesn't care. It's a player advantage. That's all they're looking for. That's here. so sad. We can get five gifties. True. Yeah, Rotten truth. Real. Here. This will allow who is goldfish to start to threaten. Visor's me to reach total. If they can't take the lead back, uh, Visor are waiting for Amani to get back into this fight. And then, lead engage. Yeah. They do a beat, but disrupt it, I think, with the primal. I like this a lot. Yeah, the Winston bubble there is really scary, and Lava took a face full of damage there. Also, Toothfish somehow is barely clinging to life. The pressure on the Orisa is immense, and reverse, I would rather, they have to go for the sound barriers. You can you say you can get five gifties, you gotta say five gifties PC. Oh yeah, five gifties on PC. With the Terra Surge doesn't do too much, but allow for the disengagement, but oh my days, right under their noses, sneaks the bot to the checkpoint, flies it, are reeling. Huh. I don't know 
if I should call that a C9? Well, remember, I mean, you are the Grand Arbiter in all things C9, so you are, you have this great power and responsibility to to confer that title. Man, I'm just gonna call that a back cap. All right, cool. I think it just has to be a back cap. Like, uh, how are advisors were so aware of what was in front of them that they just didn't have a, they didn't see it. They couldn't fight. I mean, they, they were recently stuck on the oh, stairwell. Yeah, I mean, you can't get there. Okay, well, wait, no, they did roll the tracer actually. Holy Take shit, they deleted them. Throwing some shapes. What's the difference between tiers one, two, and three? Oh, tier one is five bucks. Um, but it's still a split between me and Twitch. Tier two is ten bucks. Split, split between me and Twitch, and tier three is twenty-five. Oh, uh, Gears been pretty good. Pretty Happy good. one year. This is probably you my last one I watched though, because my mom's over over. I don't over. know whether to thank you or curse you. Probably the latter. Thank you for the twelve months. Appreciate it. What do you get from two, one, two, and three? I try to keep it very similar um, for all of them, so like nobody's getting. Like more because I don't I don't like like I, first off remove a thing if I get these appreciated thank thank you um much love the only big difference technically is you accrue channel points faster so if you're a tier one sub I think the multiplier is 1.2 if you're tier two sub it's 1.5 and if you're a tier three it's 2.0 so you're double as fast at getting channel points um but other than that I keep it pretty much the same I know there's more emote slots and whatnot but I don't use them. I like to make emotes like global as much as I can. Uh, because like, you know, although I do appreciate like, obviously people who support monetarily, right? And people who support monetarily more than others, obviously like, I'm gonna appreciate that too. But I don't like, I don't appreciate, like I don't wanna say like, I appreciate you more. It's like, oh, you should get all these more rewards, you know? It's like, I think it's one of those things that you should do it if you wanna do it. And if you have the disposable income and it's something you wanna do, hell yeah. Like I appreciate it a ton, but I don't wanna also like, you know, you shouldn't yeah, feel like you're, get a lot of that good poke damage, but somehow, who's you know, like less or, or, or appreciate, or I'm not going to appreciate you less. Like, I, I appreciate someone who tier ones as much as somebody who gifts subs, you know, um, or it's to, does tier three. Because it's like, I don't know how you obviously different people are in different financial situations, you know, and some people it's, just as we're watching virtue, you know, like what, what happens if well, someone's li saving up for a big purchase right now? I mean, it's like, then maybe they can't sub right now. That's fine. Like, nothing's wrong with that, you know, but then there's someone who might be doing kind of chill in life and they can be a tier three. And it's like, I appreciate them a ton, but I'm not going to treat them like any differently, you know, and just treat them all the same and treat everybody kind of the same. The only people who don't get treated the same are the droppers, because like they're kind of annoying. But then again, I also farm them, so like it's a it's a mutually beneficial relationship. Because they're kind of unhinged. Well, a lot of the droppers are pretty fucking mean. They're like, I don't even like you. I don't, I'm only here for drops. And it's like, okay, here's an end. Straight away, I think it's a soldier, and you're feeling so nice about that. Virtue is sneaking into the background, though. But while that's while that's happening, the fight's in the front. Okay, Azor got hindered there, so they couldn't even slide away. Nice use of the mag grenade, but they were already well and truly caught inside that terror surge. But if you're here as goldfish, I would have expected you to let Pfizer just blow these ultimates. Instead, they invest defensively to the barrier as well as Azor. Thanks, Bunny. Wanting to make use of that overclock there, so maybe... We should pick 25, you're crazy. Shipping on PC so that Google Play doesn't take my firstborn child as tax. Haven't been as active in chat, that, but okay. always appreciate the content. I appreciate you. Excited for season 10. Over the 25, I appreciate it. You actually just reminded me by saying the word tipping that I forgot to do something. Crap's probably sitting there with a little smile like, mm -hmm. Add to the list of accolades, you know, coming together an hour beforehand. Yeah. Yeah, so give us the little cap. You lost to a team called Rose Goldfish. God damn, E. God damn, with the huge 50 gifties. I appreciate you, thank you, thank you. Challenge this one for ETH with the 50 gifted subby. With some hearts and some blankies, I appreciate it. Ah, fuck it. I, uh, speaking of the droppers, speaking of the tipping, um... I've, I mean, you're gonna find out, I guess, this white crap, so good luck. Uh, but... To try and get them back into the I've been made aware of a cool system that exists 
you think of another gifty as well. I appreciate it. I've been made aware of a cool system that exists. Um, and I think we're going to do it where you guys will be able to tip like you normally do to me with like PayPal uh, but instead it will actually go directly to mods so when those days happen where it's like drop days and you're sitting there and you're like man poor mods uh, you can actually directly tip them there's a lot of work uh, there's things we gotta do to set it up um, but Shout out to Crap for finding it. And, uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta get that going. I, I had some questions about it, because, like, taxes and whatnot, but it seems like everything looks pretty good. So, if you see that pop up in the future, you know what it is. Slide for Azeroth, gets him out of dodge. Maybe the masonry blocks some of that line of sight there. It's hard to say because the sound barrier negated any of the damage coming from Lava's ultimate anyway. So the Aris is dead. That's the way doing all mods except crap. Yeah, that's tough. How I got here. Who was goldfish now? Yeah, there's, there's, there's things we got to figure out with it, but... Yeah. At this point, too, they don't even have to push the bot. They just have to wait, basically, for the rest of the team to come to them because it's overtime. Now, Visor have no choice but to stick to this bot-like glue or they will just simply go home. So Lava going into the Winston here. Needing that extra mobility. Getting sick of being... Can I donate over. to Ruben? You know Ruben streams, right? Just go to his fucking stream, dude. <laughs> and then they disrupt the shot to finish off the kill. He's hunting for the next target now. Virtual Vice, you pick. It won't matter now as Vice it are. Alright, I'm sleeping now. Three eliminated from stage two of our Overwatch <sighs> Champions series. Who is Goldfish? Get themselves a win in this group A. So we really got a chance to see what Who is Goldfish is made of. Huge. For Toronto Defiant loss uh, never feels good, but they did get a chance to show us that maybe Who is Goldfish is them. I'm, I'm liking this team a lot. I really like I I'm glad to like see the dogs a more. Um, also, I'm more of a dog person, but a bit of Sigma as well. Uh, so Winston Sigma definitely seemed to be their go-to here, but when they had to play the Arisa Mirror, it was very reasonable. It definitely wasn't their best look, but I'm still constantly shocked about how this team has come together under such a short amount of time, Zoe. They were very clean. These executions looked good. Yeah, and I mean, and Necro said it during the cast too. Oh, we have Dive a whole squad. The I think there's nine of them, that technically. Is there nine at this point? No, I think there's eight. Really deep there's eight of them. Of just the fundamentals nine with crap, but crap's not an editor. And they seem to have just that. They looked really, really <sighs> good in their match. Although I do have to say, I did love that uh, the first map was on the competitive side. Like it felt like, okay, so now we see... Yeah. The, the real uh, teams are right there oh. since they're unfortunately right. both got three. Probably gonna wrap soon. YouTube, you're gonna be going down first though. So stages. I appreciate now, you for hanging on the YouTube Goldfish side. Uh, but YouTube, you're gonna be going down first. Let's We're gonna be ending here anyways, anyway, so you're not gonna be missing much. But about who YouTube, I will see you again probably well, Tuesday. I, mean, I don't know if I'm gonna YouTube stream tomorrow. We'll see. Both traces, I think, okay, YouTube, see you later. Bye.